Guess what? <laughs> Today is five day. Yeah. And I forgot to do something on my channel. However, in the past two days, including today, so I guess, or three days now, my internet has been absolute shit. I don't know if it's the weather or it's the bunch of changes they are doing at the company, because there's changes, there are like package remodelings and bullshit like that. Uh, I don't know. But I forgot to change something. And apparently my Twitch is bugged out. It's cutting off half the fucking uh, top side. Sometimes it does that. And even reloading it doesn't fix it. You actually have to close the tab and open a new one. I love this site. So good. <laughs> and since my internet is kind of dookie. Well, guess what? You get to suffer with me. Alright, let me change that thing. Because I forgot. I'll add the the links later. Oh well. Uh, the year two. And... And that game. That's right. I'm gonna... Go back into the olden days. And bring back the the multiple game juggling, yes. That's right. That's right. Alright, and I need to go back to my fucking creator dashboard. Honestly, I should what the fuck? You're live, yeah don't No! <laughs> That's actually not where I want to be. Jesus. I should use the uh the what's my call it instead, my mode view. I'm so much more used to the creator dashboard. But I do have the Oh yeah, I do have the uh mode view up as well. I just don't have it loaded in. I think it's open in another tab. Or maybe not. Oh there it is. I think that's it. Or maybe that's BTTV. I have no idea. But it doesn't matter. What mattered is... Oh, Stream Manager is the one I wanted, yeah. Keep forgetting what it's called. Fuck! It's gonna start the video in the background. God damn it. I need some kind of a setting or a, or a browser mod that makes it so that fucking Twitch streams and live videos and like hosted stuff doesn't automatically play because it's annoying. I have it for YouTube, I have a fucking setting for that, but not for Twitch. I don't watch a lot of Twitch. I watch less Twitch now than, la than last year. Even last year I watched only a little bit of Twitch. That's okay. Anyways, hello! It's five time, as I said. We are five today. And... Like... Maybe like two people know what this game signifies. Here too, the shattering. It's an amazingly awesome timing from the devs, by the way. So this red DLC, the Red Tales and More, which is under Magic DLC, uh, this was announced like I don't know over a year ago. When did they announce it? Before the fucking Ukrainian war, right? Yeah, 2021 is when they announced it. May, May 2021. And it, they released it like two days ago. And I was already pl planning on streaming this today. For obvious reasons. Well, it's obvious for me. And if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't need to know. Welcome to the channel. Uh, <laughs> also, the Halloween DLC is turned off by default. I don't know why. I don't remember the Halloween DLC. I remember the pumpkins. You can actually get a pumpkin character for your people but I, I don't know also some of these things are like not check marked or oh, that one i guess I, I i didn't touch this i used to have one 
encounter and turned off. But I don't remember what it was and I don't know what it is in. It might be inside bandit attacks. Apparently there are multiple turned off. I didn't touch this either. This changed. This whole fucking thing changed. The order changed, I think. Last time I played this was in 2020. So it was like three years ago. You can actually check. Because I have I have some saves. So this was when I was just playing around with it. And then I realized that uh, apparently... Uh, this is another Unity game and the... Uh, the uh, GPU optimization is absolute dog shit. So... Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully this game is basically most of the time still images. So we don't need anything from this. And even still images... Uh, I've seen people with high-end PCs, like, alright, high-end PCs back in 2020, I guess, uh, in 2021, writes how fucking fantastic this game is, and by fantastic I mean the fans are going for the fucking GPUs and, and all the system, and I was like, oh no, it's gonna be like Tower of Time, but apparently it's not, it's a lot better than Tower of Time. And you put everything to minimum, and since it's another Unity game, but yeah, 2025 is when I last played this, and I did the uh, the rat uh, rat chosen victory, and the uh, start with kids, and survive for uh, for over a hundred turns uh, achievements, and that's that's when I played last, and around that time was when they stopped uh, frequent updates, I think as well. Because every fucking update broke the saves prior, so I was like, oh my god. But yeah, um... Anyways, uh, there's not a lot of uh, video settings. You have anti-aliasing, super sampling, v-sync. So, <clears throat> obviously v-sync is off because, I mean, why would you have it on ever? And I limit the game for the 30 frames. There's no difference between 30 and uncapped. No difference. Because it's mostly still images. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. If you don't know what this game is, you'll know. Anti-aliasing and super sampling also fucking pointless. Because you can't even tell the difference. You literally can't. Also, at the start of the game, you get to choose between fast or fantastic uh, graphics. I tried both. I scrutinized the map with my eyes. I looked at the moving deer on the fucking map. Looked at the pirate ship bobbing on the water. With, with all the different settings. And all the frames and shit, and I noticed only one thing. And that thing was in my task manager. Whether it was capped GPU or 20% GPU. And I was like, alright, we're gonna go with the, the least bit of things. Unity, right? It's just the way of things. Also, it's one of those, one of the games that don't know what fucking full screen is. I'm on full screen, but, I, but it's borderless. I think the game has like two settings. Uh... Oh yeah, when you start up the game, that's when you can choose the resolution and shit as well. It has window to borderless. And they're the same. Or not window, window or full screen, but both of them are borderless full screen. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Anyways, fucking uh, bad engine aside, it's a fun game, it's a good game. And we're going to start playing soon, as soon as I grab my goddamn stats and look at the uh, temperatures for a little bit ah uh, the temperatures are nice nice and cozy nice and cozy 60 degrees <laughs> hey today is pretty cold anyways so it's fine let's put that down let's put that down I also th thought about the uh, the audio setup I have I thought about for like about it for like two minutes and realized that I can make it better. So I made it better. But... I'm not sure. The world is ready. So I'm going to delete my uh, previous... saves. Because they are... they're done. So... If you don't know what the game this game is, it's a survival game with management. It's apparently also 4x. I don't really know about that. Don't think Stellaris or anything like that. Also, these are from previous builds, so they, they actually break. After the Rat DLC, this save, 
like my my one of my groups that was on water is now on land and there's a pirate ship on land so it clearly breaks the saves or broke the save so these are border basically unplayable still can be loaded loaded up but pointless anyways it's it's a it's a fun little game and also wait oh the previous uh, menu screen can be still seen for like a split second when when you're going back into the menu which was the uh, the oceans dlc give you the uh, better water events and stuff a lot of water events but anyways, it's, it's a god game, where you try to keep some fuckers alive and try to figure out what's what. And this is the second game in the installment. The first game is better, I would have to say. I remember that this game is slower than the first. The pacing is not as good, in my opinion, unless you know what you're doing. And since I played this last, like, three years ago, I don't fucking know what I'm doing. <laughs> I forgot everything. Actually, I know one thing. You want to sacrifice a child to get a fucking ghost because they are super fucking strong. Unless they got nerfed in the three years I haven't touched the game. So, basically, we are shattering instead of awakening. We'll see the uh, the thing. So, first of all, when you start a, a thingy, you need to select the god from your pantheon. And some of the gods return from the previous game, I think. I'm not sure. I think Hordes is one that returns. Lada is one that returns, and she's a lot hotter than in the first game, obviously. The art is very nice, except for one thing, and we'll get into that. But, like, the, the actual custom art, the art the devs made, it's great. Great shit. Look at this motherfucker. Zoria is actually pretty fun, uh, if I remember. I used to play a lot of Zoria and fucking Triglav, because Triglav is just funny. It's the Triglav protector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the gods are based on like more Slavic mythology and shit as well. I think Perun is uh, also here somewhere. Swarog is here. I think Swarog is the father of Perun, right? The son? I don't know my mythology, but yeah. Strebok was the, the, the water DLC, I think. Swarog is also fun. If you just want to craft the shit out of everything, he's your man. Uh... Oh yeah, Mokosh. Mokosh is also one that returns. She wasn't in the game on launch. She came later. I don't think I played with Mokosh in this game more than once. I don't know. Trigger is fun though. As I was saying, uh, I don't know what I was saying. And also they, they have the, the death one. The death one. So, uh, I don't remember most of these. Animal senses. Elves and forest demons. Fuck elves, dude. Elves suck. Oh yeah, this one basically more gathering but less crafting, so it's the opposite of Swarog. This motherfucker is the knight 
night one, where you want to kill things at night. Chosen, chosen can summon a werewolf. Ooh. Increased visibility range, wits, perception, destiny at night. And decrease during the day. Basically, if we want to do a lot of hunting at night, and just want to time your stuff that at night you kill things, enemies are more active and aggressive at night anyway, so this can give you an edge. I don't really like it. Nature, magic, and gets four divan or four neutral. Great. Harmony nature. That is fucking useless, I think, in this one. Oh yeah, it's the it's the loyalty one. Yeah. You get four mental shielding, which is okay in the beginning, but falls off real, real quickly. And you get 30% faster loyalty gain with factions. And also gain uh, loses 30% uh, faster as well. So you can really fuck yourself if you mess up with a faction. Uh, so we don't we don't take her. She sucks. <laughs> this guy is a science guy, I think. Spiritual regen, bonus rituals, attribute, shielding. Immediate access to the moon bridge ritual, which is pretty cool. I have the uh, the building mod. I should actually add mod it to the fucking tags because I I have mods. Not a lot of mods. Modded. Add. Add tag. Thank you. Fucking trash ass. <laughs> I have the building mod, but I'm not using it because I feel like it's a little bit too OP. Like you can, especially towards endgame, you can really fucking boost up your shit. So, unmodded, if you don't have that buildings mod, the Moonbridge is pretty cool because it basically teleports your the group that does the ritual to the closest group. Uh, and I usually do one group plus a settlement, so it would just teleport us back to the settlement, so that uh, could be cool. Intellect, magic, and neutrals. Zoria is the murder motherfucker. She's fun. Every time an enemy character comes into the battlefield, the delay of your character standing in the battlefield is reduced, so you just fucking rush them. You want a bunch of spearmen. Magic and turmoil. Um, this one, faster water, which is fine, especially early on, but I don't know about it later on, because you can get a lot of movement to water anyways. Harmony and light, yuck. This one, extra crafting, more health and sanity, or reduced gathering, and it's for each character. This one is only for like fucking elves, animals, and forest demons, for each main attribute. So you really just want a lot of elves and other bullshit. This one, this this guy doesn't care. Even the elves get the bonus crafting and health and sanity. Oh. Probably it's not all main attributes, which is better, but, you know. 20% crafting and only 10% less gathering. And this one only gives you 10% uh, craft, uh, gathering. Or 10% crafting. So, obviously industry is better than nature. Yeah. Turmoil and light, so you want to fuck up things. I kind of, it's kind of weird that this guy is so light and all that. Like, protect those in need, never back down, never give in, and never again allow, allow darkness to rule over light. That's fine and all, but this game's whole main story is that the light is killing everyone. And we kind of need to figure out what the fuck. There is an ending where you can side with the light. So I guess if you want to go with this guy, it might be easier. Mokosh. Characters get a bonus to physical and mental shielding, but it doesn't tell us how much. Once the gathering and crafting, it doesn't tell us how much. I really hate when descriptions don't tell you how much. As like look at this. It gives you it gives you the fucking numbers, right? It's so open about it. And then it this comes and, and you just don't know. Cannot use jewelry and the research is temp cannot use jewelry. Okay, th that's why I don't use this one. Jewelry is good. Jewelry is very good. Especially if you have the lighter jewelry mod, which is a... I feel like it's a must-have mod, because otherwise jewelry is like... You have jewels that are as heavy as your fucking weapons, like, what the fuck, it's a ring! Get out of here! Uh, and soul re research is never good. Doesn't can increase physical and mental shielding of a selected ally on the battlefield. This is fucking garbage. Although she gets two nature and one turmoil, and three neutral instead of four. Which I think might be the first one to get two of specialized uh, starting card. 
Yeah. I guess that's her thingy. So I can get a bunch of fucking elves in here. You got Triglov. Triglov is a fucking divine commander. Just flat out XP gain every turn. So you just sit in your village and just... And just bulk up. I like that. Especially since this, the start is so much slower in this game than in the first one, I feel. It's one nature and turmoil, a light, and three... Oh, that's why I like this guy. He gets so much fucking variety. This guy, three heads, three options. Good. Triglav man. I like Triglav man. He's, he's, a, he's a Giga Chad. As the kids would say nowadays. And we have the, the death one. Uh, not that yet. If your chosen dies, they become an unliving corpse. Oh yeah, I did this once. And my chosen did die. And turn into a fucking skeleton, which is fucking useless. <laughs> that was one of the saves I uh, deleted, too. That was a child starting, yeah. And the other one where I started as a rat, the rat turned into a bear. Like, whatever, dude. Oh, a chance to die from heavy wound. That's good. Especially if you're doing very high difficulty. I'm not gonna do that because I forgot everything, so yeah. Nature, magic, and intellect, and three domains. So that's also nice. If you want a lot of, like, mystical and a lot of uh, a lot of research and rituals, she's pretty good. But I think I'm gonna go tri go and do Triglav or Swarong. They're more light and four neutral. Ah, they're doing Triglav. Uh, this is this is a better starting card. Even though the crafting would be nice, especially early on, but gathering is much more important early on. The ten percent, yeah, it just slows us down a lot. So we're gonna go with Triglav. Arg! From the scorching glove seeping out to the ash of the ashes of our land, I was forged. Veins of brass pulsate throughout my body with rage and purpose. My, tone, my stone hearts beat in unison. My minds meld into one vision. My fists are driven trifold, trifold, th threefold, all right? I do not know who raised me from the darkness. I do not know why our hearts melt with anger, but I am ready to stand and fight against any who will dare to oppose us. A new force rises to devour Thea once and again, and I will stand in its way. This is why I have risen from fire. Okay. Walk mid me into war. Burn our enemies to the ground. Melt away those who seek to wound us. Crush whoever stands in the path of divine justice and wrath. And you, you are to bow before me and obey. So he wants to kill everybody, and I can get on board with that. So next up is difficulty. So we are we, we can do easy, normal, difficult, and custom. Uh, I was on like one twelve percent. I think that was because I was doing the child thing last, and I, I just it doesn't matter what difficulty you do it on. So I just put it to some fucking easy ass thing and just vent. So you just basically do turn, 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 turn. All right, we're at hundred turn done. Achievement get. <laughs> That's about it. So let's see. I'm gonna do custom. I don't want to make it too difficult, like I don't want to get to 200%. 150 might be good, but I want to tailor it to myself, because some of these I can do without and others I don't like. So, maximum total cost of traits. I don't remember what this fucking means. What is cost of traits? What are traits? What are traits? Are these traits? Ah, there we go. Trade cards. Okay, so the cards are the trades. So you can have seven, seven points. And if we make it four, then we only have four, four points. So if I select this one, I only have two points left. Okay. Uh, I see, I see, I see. I, like, what the fuck is the point of all these starting slots if you can't fill them, right? So we're obviously keeping that on seven. What is eight? Eight plus two free characters? Oh. I mean, these don't make a difference here. So. <laughs> what if I put it to difficult? This makes it 186. This makes it 192. What's the plus two? Because honestly, I might take the easiest fucking thing. I guess it's the group size. Or maybe the two free characters is randomly given. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's go with 7, fuck it. Group carry bonus per character, the lowest, because this doesn't matter. Earth progression, make it normal. 
camp and village hiding. Uh, oh yeah, when you're camping on or 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 have a village, there's like a stealth meter that slowly builds up, and it only gets reduced back to zero percent if you move. I don't need this. Fuck that. Challenge difficulty increase. Like what? Over time? What does this even mean? <laughs> Small. What's the impact on that? 5%. What if I turn it off? It's like 3%. I have no idea what this means. Let's keep it on small. Auto resolve proficiency. Make it normal. I will mostly use auto fight because it's so much faster and I suck at the card game as well. Poor. 81. 75, good, 22. And I could keep it on good, but let's keep it on no. Orflow Gathering halved. Uh, it's 3%. Honestly, this doesn't matter. Uh, I think the final score will give you, like you can have, there's a roguelite element to the game. So if you get a, a bunch of points, you get a bunch of uh, god points where you can get uh, new cards use in the subsequent playthroughs. I don't really care about that. I don't... I kind of want to say no, because I know what this means and it's... I hate it. Early on, this fucking kills things. Like, the, the speed goes so down for uh, progression. However, later on, it doesn't matter. That's why... I guess that's why it's only like a 3% difference, because... This, early on, can piss you off. However, early on, you will barely have overflow gathering. Unless you have really good specialists for gathering. Uh, make it true, fuck it. Is mental resource recovery the worst? Because we'll have so much shit to dismantle. This is fine. Like, what would it give us? Ah, it's only 6% between the two fucking things. It, so, this one is also not very important. Because early on you don't really dismantle things, and later on you will have things you will dismantle in droves. So, yeah. Rogue groups spawn rate. Uh, normal. Resource availability. Normal. Call removed from starting island. I think we need coal to make better resources, but I, I'm trying to remember, or maybe it's needed for jewelry making? It's needed for something pretty important, but I think by the time we mass produce that shit, nah, you know what, we don't need coal on the starting island. So there are obviously multiple islands in this game, opposed to the one big island in the first game, and the islands are basically different tiered uh, locations and I, I don't remember the uh, the order I think the goblin one is the tier two starting one is tier one the frozen is tier three then you go to the I don't know there's elves orcs and dwarves also on separate islands and I don't remember any of them I think the orcs then and then the dwarves and I think the elf island is the strongest I'm not sure but it doesn't matter shit will level up anyways uh, and reinforcements range, same hacks or three hexes or fucking six hexes. Doesn't really matter because, as I said, usually I run one group and one settlement. Let's make it three hexes. Three percent, I don't care. Three hexes because, I mean, if something attacks my uh, away group next to the village, you know, the village can help out. So, you know. And in other and other times it won't matter. Unless there's some kind of friendly random faction running around. I don't know if they help you or not. I'm not sure. Oh shit, there's more shit. Seasons. All seasonal effect. Obviously all seasonal effects. Which means summer will be fucking annoying, so will winter. Starting season. Winter. Why? Why we start in winter? That's disgusting. Autumn or summer. I start in autumn. Or funsies. Ruins are normal. And manual saves are... Oh, 2%. Well, 
Should manual saves be allowed? Yes. I don't remember if the game crashes or not, but... It's basically just save and continue anyways. Because if I say not allowed, it will have auto save on exit, and that's it. Ah, uh, that's... yeah. Whatever. What if I make ruins easy? 3%. It's still... It's still barely above normal. Okay, I'm still not playing on easy. Oh. <laughs> I don't care. Alright. 156 is good enough for me. And now, I also have 20 god points. You use these to unlock god traits. You will get additional points for finished games. Yeah. So basically, that's where the difficulty percentage comes in. So for 1 point, now I get 1.56 and so on. It's nice. And we're going with Trick Love. Because I love him. He's my boy. I don't have everything unlocked, obviously. I haven't played that much. I only played like 200 hours of this game. It's not much. As I said, it's slower than the first. So, Divine Commander is what we have. So, let's see. What can we put in thingy? So, these are characters and these are bonuses. Obviously, bonuses, I don't care about them as much as characters. Characters are what we want. I don't know what my character's size is allowed. I definitely want the hunt, hunter start. So I, I guess I can have like four characters. All right. I want the hunter, 100%. A dwarf child. So with this red DLC, there's more dwarf stuff as well. And the uh, there are new god traits and changed traits. Oh, there they are. Okay, I, I was about to get upset. Because I was like, where's my fucking fighter and crafter? But I was on, on page two. There they are. So I could have a dwarf child. Dwarves could be fucking super good. Although they are slow. Like, they have less movement speed. And I hate that. Uh, I have 20 points. So I could unlock something. Young Berserker. Oh yeah, Berserker is another new uh, new class. I don't know, is this gonna be human? Young Polar Bear, that's another new character they added. Another Gatherer. Young Zerka. Clanless Dwarf Smith. Ooh, 25. Fuck. It costs 5 points to get this guy. <laughs> I could go with this guy and the giant spider. <laughs> just fucking... Just go. An Elf Slave. I mean, that's what Elves are good for. Slaves. Knoll Pup. I think Knolls are also... And also a Baby Rat. I should unlock Baby Rat. I should just go into this DLC. It's kind of sad that I already did the uh, the Rat of Destiny. That would obviously be a fun thing to do with this. There's an entire race of rats now. You can even clothe them in shit. I don't know. I obviously want want the warrior. I usually make my chosen a warrior, but I don't remember what name I used to give them. It's been three years, and those two saves I looked at them, but. One was just called what? Because they turned into a skeleton and they renamed them to what? And the other was called Rat and they turned into a fucking armored bear, so uh sucks because because I liked the name I always gave to my chosen. That's okay though. And I also want the craftsman. That's why I love Trig Love, because it gives you pretty much good things. Now we only need a gatherer to not be fucking useless. And look, I can still have people, and I have one card slot left. Which means, we could add kids. Look, boom, set. And I have another slot, but... I don't have any more card. Actually, these are free! I just realized, because... If I wanted to add the rat... You now it's 8 out of 7, I can't go next. But these are free. Ooh, a pet imp. Ooh, I don't know if a imp or is good or not. That's new as well. Pet Serpent, White Dove, Solar Powered. Regenerate one additional health, sanity and faith during the day. At lose one sanity during the night. No. Especially bad during uh, winter. But just special raft. Mm, five points. Raft is still just a raft though. So I don't care. Wish I had a well. Start with 3050 basic materials. Characters will have plus two shielding. That's good early on. Uh, not too much, but I'll take it. Those in personal carry is increased. Ooh. Characters started plus two wits. Oh, that's nice. Every characters? 
Even the ones that I take on later, because that makes this pretty fucking strong. Although, it's nature, I couldn't put it here. Mokushi's blessing, blessing, physical and mental shielding, Perun's blessing, but I don't have Perun as a god! Maybe I just don't have him unlocked yet, I don't know. Defensive skill spark, target practice. I shouldn't read these because they are not neutral anyways, and I'm not getting rid of these guys. Too valuable. Guess I could do true heroes. Fog of knowledge. In turn one, you will see five hexes for than the normal. In addition, you start with 20 basic materials. Okay. Green is your friend, not food. You start with 10 loyalty points towards goblins. That could be good. Because then I could rush to the goblin island. Not even make a place on the main island. And I could just hang out with the goblins. Drink goblin wine and not fight. That could be cool. An advanced shield, plus 10 loyalty points towards orcs. Ooh, that's also pretty cool. A shitty robe. The advanced getting to us might be good. Start 20 XP points divided equally between all members. That's the... Advanced crafting tool. Basic supplies. Wood filler herbs. This is good. Herbs are cool. Piece of equipment. Basic food, random gems, and a crow pet. Oh, I want that. Advanced piece of jewelry. Oh, this is also pretty good. Camp groups have increased gathering range. Oh, that's OP. Oh, but I want the hunter. What could I have instead of the hunter? So that would free me two points. Craftsman, another warrior, rat. Scoundrel? Uh, baby rat. So this rat is a normal rat, like an animal. But I think these are the fucking humanoid kind of rats. I'm not sure. Oh, pup. Couldn't have an owl slave because it's too expensive. I want the scoundrel. I'm gonna get the crow. I want the crow. Eh. So now, these are the, the characters I, I chose. The hunter, the warrior, the craftsman, the gatherer, and the two kids. Um, there are the pink chores. I wanna see if they add any new ones. There's the bunny motherfucker. Oh, they added new... Really? I think this was the, uh, the only picture for this character. I need one with more tits. I don't know why. Or maybe this used to be the one. Eh. It don't matter. These are only for looks. I'm gonna take wolf. Wolf. Wolf one. Wolf. I don't know names. Wolf. <laughs> Ginger wolf. Um. I think that's new. I don't think I've ever seen this one. I don't remember this one either. This might be new with the Berserkers. I don't remember this either. Oh, there's Bear! <laughs> this is definitely new. I would remember that. <laughs> a little dumb fuck. A spear. That... I need a ruler. I have a ruler handy dandy because I'm an engineer. Always have rulers handy. I think... Okay, it, line up. it lines up. It's just weird. And I'm not an engineer. I lied. Oh look, there are two of them. I remember this guy though. Who should we take? Take school knee. Uh, school pads. <laughs> school pads. Holy fuck, that's definitely new. What is this, the craftsman? Uh, I don't remember this guy either. I do know that guy. 
This might be new as well. Do you remember this? Do you remember that? Wait a minute. One of them I remember. They're basically the same, but older. That might be new. This might be new. This bad man. This might be new. Damn. I just don't remember them. Wait, why is this one called scoop pads? Now all of them are called scoop pads. Oh, God's chosen! I'm stupid! Oh, I thought I'm naming everybody. <laughs> like, why are they all called scoop pads? It's because I'm stupid, that's why. Oh, so I shouldn't even look through these. Because I don't give a fuck. One of them should be male, and one of them should be female. Oh, but, okay, it's just whatever. Alright, I'm definitely making my chosen uh, a fucking warrior. It's my chosen. Just forgot the name. This one used to be my, my chosen every time. Fucking mace. Let's call her mace. Because I don't know what I used to give them. Oh my god, I completely... Oh, what is this? Is this new? I don't remember being able to set a world size. We could have a Pangea. Oh. <clears throat> that would make... Boating fucking pointless. I mean, not necessarily. You could go around difficult terrain with a boat or something. Most of the landmass will. Oh, most of the landmass will be located on a single island, but other smaller islands are likely. One island can have more than one biome, and you may be able to encounter more difficult enemies there. Yeah, because they can obviously go through different biomes if they are connected with land. So, like, I don't know, the fucking orc. Enemies are not contained, and if they are next to the starting zone, they can just immediately come over and fuck you up. Oh, that's fun. I'm not gonna do that now, because I'm relearning the game. So, we're doing islands. Consist of a set of islands. Each island will be a single biome. Creatures from more difficult areas will not cross over. Even the flyers cannot cross. Small, medium, or large. We're going with... I kind of want to go small. Because I know that after like 700 turns, the game will chug like a motherfucker. Are we gonna go with me? And now it's gonna generate. And blow up the entire fucking computer. And blow up my computer. A computer. Also my task manager is bugged. And my internet died. Oh. Well, hello there, ah! Jason. Welcome into the service of the gods. As I am a believer myself, I am happy to be the one to guide you. Is Justin believer? <laughs> we got a fucking cosmic seed. Basically, you need a cosmic seed to make a, a village. I think there are only two cosmic seeds obtainable in the, in the whole playthrough. One you get at the beginning, and one you get later on. Very late. Uh... That's new. I think that's the memorial uh, chamber. You can check who died or who didn't. That's that's a new addition in the game. Uh, which is like fine, I guess. It's like in XCOM, you can see what soldiers of yours died and how. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. It's just it's just for the role plays, you know. Who the? Can I use keyboard? Oh yes. Who are you? But little old me is not relevant here. You are. I am here to tell you of some basic rules and hand over any divine objects that may have been bestowed upon you. First and foremost, the Cosmic Seed. Hmm. Fill me with your Cosmic Seed. Just looking at the fucking audio. I'm nervous. Cosmic Seed! Oh, I can check my group. Oh! Oh no, that's spoilers! Yes, oh. Thea is far from a land of prosperity. Beautiful. Darkness was defeated long ago, but it is not gone. It lurks in the corners and attacks at night. The shattering tears the earth asunder, and a scorching light takes hold of folk without protection. That's not why I asked. What about the seed? Also, basically this, with the darkness and stuff, that's the first game. You wanna beat the beat the darkness or join the darkness. I mean, there are good endings and bad endings and interesting endings in that one. In this one as well, I just don't remember. 
I remembered some big ass fucking snake <laughs> at the end. The seed and others like it is a gift of the divine, a piece of the cosmic tree itself. It can grant great boons, and it allows you to set up a village and provide divine protection there. But if you wish for the life of a traveler, or if you are skilled enough to create another seed one day, this seed can be used to forge divine artifacts, or even bring back a comrade from the clutches of death. Whoa! So one cannot build villages without a seed? Indeed! You oh. catch on fast. Without the seed or different means that other factions may possess, a village attracts the cursed light and is taken by it within days. And if somehow that does not happen, terrors of darkness will drive your folk insane. This is how it has been in fear for many centuries now. It is why we struggle still to survive just another day. Hey! Not safe in the dark, not safe in the light. Damn. I guess the twilight ending is the, uh, the, the canon. <laughs> is there anything else I need to know? Wait, why, why do I, why is it like this? Ask if these, <laughs> ask if there is anything else you need to know. What? It's like, in first person, cosmic seed, how does it relate to the seed? So, one cannot build villages without seed, and then ask if there is anything else you need to know. <laughs> Breaks immersion! I may pop up now and again to tell you things, but for now, you must take your first steps into this hostile land. Remember to oh, check shit. for resources on the map for gathering. Are we done Set here? Set up camp for craft and cooking, and check your inventory to make sure you are well equipped. Here, have some wood, so you may heal when camping. My advice is to explore, <laughs> learn the ropes, and only <laughs> then decide on a settlement. <laughs> Have some wood so you can eat it and heal when camping. If you eat wood in this game, it's basically if you if you're camping, if you don't have uh, fuel source, your people will not make a camp. They just sit on the ground and and suffer. So you know, you need you need wood when you want to make camp. Also, it's gonna pop up. To tell us about his gambling addiction. I, I just know it, I have a feeling. He's a gambling man. Thank him for the advice and- What? So I'm not even talking for myself anymore. There is. Thank you, Theodore. I must take my leave now. Gives us 11 wood. Common timber, suitable mostly for firewood. And veggie tables. Basics of good diet. Pickled, stewed, boiled or fresh. Best seasons for gathering spring and summer. Mm -mm -mm. Three weight, or three value, 1.5 weight each. Three value, 3.5 weight each. And they have 0.5 wood essence that will come in handy when crafting. And also, this is my problem with the art. These, you see, these fucking... These, these icons, these pictures for resources. They're assets. <laughs> I've seen them in other games. And I hate it. I mean, they are, they are nice and they fit. Uh, with the aesthetic of the game, but god damn it! <laughs> he also gave us uh, two research points. Uh, we basically get research and knowledge for uh, for encounters, so he didn't give us this. Research should be good for unlocking resources, recipes, buildings, or rituals. And knowledge is for leveling up our dudes and dudorinos, which is always good. And there we are! Look at the graphics! Yes, this literally doesn't change with the highest setting either. Yes, although if you if you go real close and squint, you can see the uh, the jaggedness of the uh, hunter's cloak and uh, hood. That might be a little better, and also the hair there. That might look a little better with anti aliasing on, but guess what? This is how we play. You can't see that shit. Because there's an icon over it. <laughs> Anyhow, we have bones next to us. So, rundown, quest, seasons, we have 36 turns before fucking winter. We're gonna fucking die. I should have started in summer. I'm gonna die. Turn one, 
this is a full day, so one turn is not an entire day, there are sections. So that will be the dusk, dawn, midday, midnight, you know, all that shit. They were researchers here. It's Path of Exile, but research. So you go from the middle, you get the very basics immediately, and then you can choose uh, second tier, third tier, and then the final awesome sauce things. There's also differences between the uh, essences, so we got wild, which is the strongest of that tier and material, but it's the highest chance of a trash tier when you craft. Improve this is a little less uh, rich in essences, but less chance of uh, making trash products. And there's the normal that doesn't have trash chains, but it's the less, less, less uh, least amount of essence. It's kind of stupid how gold is the highest here. Gold sucks, as everybody with half a brain knows. Gold is not something you want to craft tools and armor out of, but okay. Um, then we got the uh, equipments. Again, thing it. Another mod I, I have is the uh, the one-handed. Oh wait, not this one. Something else. Oh, think it. Oh no, yeah, wands. Wands are one-handed, so it shows two-handed for wands, and uh, I think it even says. Oh, I, I can't check the wand itself, but it, the. The one's description might still say that, you know, they require two hands, but I have a mod that makes ones one-handed, because why the fuck would you hold the wand with two hands? Like, what are you, some kind of fucking heavy spellcaster from a wand? You would have to have a staff for that. There's actually a mod that introduces staves, and it looked interesting, but it's basically the same as the two-handed artifacts. They just have different skill sets and stuff. So they kind of fill a, a niche, but I mean, I don't really care. I usually only use two-handed scrolls, and then one-handed artifacts and uh, ones for the uh, spell people and the mental people. Basically all, all different weapons have their own things, you know, speed and damage differences and stuff. I'll look at them when we start getting uh, researches. Also, food varieties, because variety of... Uh, life is food of spice or something like that. The diff more different foods your people eat, the higher their morale gets, the more bonuses they get. So right now we have the sweet meat unlocked, so we can combine meat, fish, honey and eggs with berries, nuts, spices and herbs to get a lot of different food products, which is pretty good. Yep, it's gonna be decent. And they're... For some reason, the meaty meals cost two. Although, look at that. Second ingredients, basically anything. I don't remember what's the best. Although, it, it really depends on what we find. And then we have the village. So, a lot of people say on the forums that the vanilla village is fucking useless. But I think it's, it's nicely balanced. It provides an HQ, I guess. So we got rituals, more rituals, you know, summoning, healing, and buffs, and our buildings. I don't want to unlock anything yet. And we start in a middle island. Middle island is the basic island. We start in a very shitty fucking corner. So basically, there is one little land bridge that connects us to the main bulk. But otherwise, this is some kind of weird thing. Um, this is the Goblin Island, so I think this is tier 2. Then there is a Snow Place. I think these are both the same tier, but they have different materials. This place has diamonds. I want to come here first. I want to make diamond stuff. There's the Elf Place, and it looks like it's made out of two islands, which sucks. There's the Orcs, which kind of look like someone took this chunk and throw, threw it here. Also sucks. And this is the dwarves, the ashlands, I think. Uh, volcanic, forests, snow, uh, mist lands and bogs and shit, and then ash and stone and stuff. And then lush forests and a bunch of bandits and bees. Also, I have a 
Theopedia, where we can have indexes of things we killed and terrains we visited, and they might provide bonuses if we research them, which is nice. Factions, monsters hate us, obviously. Monsters hate everybody, even themselves, that's why they are monsters. We have the god trade. We got the crow stuff, children gathering crafts, warrior hunter. We got trait and the domains of our dudes. This will come in hand, uh, come into play when we're doing uh, like talking and quests and stuff, you know. And I get bonus uh, options available based on these. And we also kind of want to keep ourselves to these kind of uh, ideologies, you know. We want to kill people. We want to be pure and more nature than not, which can go fuck itself, because we're going to go heavy industry, yeah! Logbook is where we see our quests. Let's see the things, you can make it disappear or reappear. Obviously, domination victory. So, you can get domination victory or you can complete the main story. These are the two ways to win. And the domination victory is pretty lenient as well. You can have different things. Kill things, make uh, friends. Uh, you need three of these, but only one is needed from each row. Have a bunch of people, we are already good. Or have seven different races, so be a multicultural haven. Or have very good buildings. Or have a bunch of people at level 20. This will be very quick, because I also have faster leveling on to make the game a little faster, um, especially on late game. Uh, I, I won't need to farm for two hours just to get level one, the uh, one level up. This would be a lot faster. As the character list, I never look at this. It's pointless. <laughs> and then the memorial grounds, which is new, and it should be empty. Look at that little embers flying up. No one died yet. Got the things we can save. So good. And then there's the bugs, which we will not care about. This will be able to tell us what group we have selected and what they have. Yes, and there's the map and I can toggle the uh, resources. I can toggle them with Q as well. There's the hex. If you don't like the hex grid, you can turn it off. And it reveals this beautiful little flower formation of circles. For some reason, what the hell? Are these the waves? Are these supposed to be the waves? What the fuck is happening? And you can also like, look at the current island, basically, or just the full minimap. I will keep the hack screen on. Alright, and now we start adventuring. Well, though, first, let's look at our dudes. So we got Bogomislav. He's our hunter. Very good hunting. They're good with perception. And they have decent gathering. Although this guy is more crafty than Gallery somehow, for some fucking reason. He's got a shitty leather robe. Gives him defenses for all three things, alright. He's got a crossbow. Crossbow's got a weapon attack, multipliers, its, it's speed, what row it's in, what, what it selects. This will come down when we start killing things. Its weight, its value. How many hands it requires, description, what it's made out of. It's a full iron, it's a hunk of iron, is what he's using. Might be better to just bash people with it. There's a crow. Crow is made out of bones and meat. It's a it's a tier one crow. <laughs> Gives us plus two reach rolls on plus one perception. Well, it immediately goes to him, because he needs perception for his main things. As you can see, the crossbow's weapon attack uses perception for only physical challenges. So, more perception, or murder. So that's nice. You got strain, perception, intelligence, wisdom, mysticism, and destiny. Ooh, you also have the gathering efficiency, and what modifiers are on it. Crafting efficiency, research efficiency, ritual efficiency, and luck, which is just nice. Yes, growing up events, oh yeah, oh, that's, that's gonna be nasty. You get health, sanity, and faith. Obviously, don't you don't want any of these to go to zero. In purple challenges, you lose this. In yellow challenges, you lose this. 
and in physical challenges you lose this. And these are extra shields that immediately refresh after the uh, the challenge or combat ended. But these need time. Level, XP needed. It's very low because I had a faster level up. Uh, skills, you can punch people. So you can be mildly useful in any kind of challenge, but it's very weak. And it, and it uses the main stats and not the secondaries from their colors. He's got outmaneuver. Ooh, you need to use that information to your advantage. You can outmaneuver things and punch people. You can actually use this only in yellow challenges, but it uses perception, so he's actually okay in yellow as well. He's got good luck, increases his luck. Ah, oh, he's a craftsman! He got the craftsman trait! You son of a bitch, why? These, obviously, on level ups, you get a random selection, and it will randomize characters as the, world, the time goes on. There's the equipment, we got that, we got that, you know, we looked at them, and we have the pet crow. And he also gets the extra XP because he's trigger of boy. And he's sad. This life is hard. <laughs> he gets one shielding because he's sad. He can have tags. This will come later, like beautiful or ugly as fuck. Last time I played, I don't think these had any effect. This might be different, and we can also name them. Or, you know, write their own story like. This motherfucker soloed a dragon by shooting it in the eye, and the arrow pierced its eye and went into the brain and killed it. You can just you can just write whatever the fuck you want, you know? It's for roleplay. Some people like it, and others others don't need to click on it ever. So it's it's there if you want to have an extra fun one time. There's his uh, supposed uh, genitalia gender, and then the uh, weight he can carry. So if he would exceed 350, he can't put things on, you see even shows you know, 27 because this thing costs this thing weighs 95 right can, can i shift click can i not do i have to drag and drop everything holy fuck don't tell me i have to drag and drop everything that sucks hey that's our first dude what is this oh character list here we got our first child first child they have outmaneuver. Oh, they have to become a hunter. Child is growing up. In 35 days, this motherfucker will grow up. They have currently reduced capacity or carry capacity and they are a child. Every turn they grow a little more. They can punch people. Outmaneuver. They have a club. I don't like clubs in this game. Kinda iffy. Same uh, effects on them. So they got... Oh, three owls, three destiny, three strained, but they have fucking outmaneuver. Oh, that, this. Oh, apprentice warrior. Oh, no. Stronger than regular children, so you'll probably get. This, this makes it so they have a higher chance of becoming a good warrior when they grow up. If they long live long enough. We get Iowa. What is this one? I cannot say that. Bozicia? Bozicia? Some Slavic fucking name. We got a... We got, we got a craftsperson with medium armor. And a leather artifact. Mm hmm. It can be used both in mental and... And the, the other, the purple fights. Uses the owl and the uh, destiny. Uses wisdom. And destiny. Her wisdom is super high. Oh, that's pretty good starter. Why is it so high? Ah, she's got showing off as well. That that can become good. It stuns enemies. That can be good. For 1.3 turns, it stuns them. That's... We need to level this up, obviously, to make it good. There's the equipment. Why does she have so much... Okay, so she's got 4.5 craft, craft thing. She's very good. Because this affects crafting as well, yeah, wisdom. Affects it a lot. That's a very good wisdom. She's gonna be good. She's like the trinket salesman. We got mace. Mace starts with a spear. Uh, we got 14 physical, 12 physical. 152 weight. 77 weight. I might give this to the craftsperson and give the armor to mace. 
And again, what does Mace have? Uh, pretty mediocre. Parry. That sucks. And brute force, okay. You have weapon. So the spears have the first strike thing. Where you put the, your, this character on the combat zone, they immediately attack. Which is decent, but spears are otherwise pretty weak. Got the extra shield up thing. There's the Triglav's Chosen. Being a Chosen is not an easy task. Triglav, Triglav appreciated that and decided to bestow special ability on his Chosen follower. So we can sacrifice 9 health to get 18 for all 3 uh, shield categories. Which is pretty fucking good. Instant. Target one enemy standing anywhere on the field. Wait, what? So I give them? Caster this damage to his actual health and then applies the damage multiplied by the skill power and attack ignoring enemy armor. Oh, okay, so I completely misinterpreted that. So you sacrifice your own health to deal armor piercing damage to the enemy. Why the hell does it have the 18 armor thing? Maybe that's the all that's what it can pierce? And beyond that it can't pierce? Not sure. It's probably not very good. Not sure. I don't remember it. Yeah, the chosen. Immune to mental death and less likely to be kidnapped, but if they die your time is up. Oh yeah. Okay, so some of these tags have, have meaning. This one for example. They are the chosen. Okay. Kinda mediocre. I don't like starting with a spear. You got Slavko as an apprentice hunter. Got a bow. Take that off, you stupid fuck. They got... Poison throwing dagger. Great. I throw poison dagger. They got no outstanding skills. At least their perception is better than the strain. Alright, let's see. What's better? 1.310. 1.2. Okay, so crossbow is worse. Although the bone bow is slower. 3.0, 3.0. They sit at the same speed. Yeah, get this. It's, it's not most fuck can get the crossbow. Can barely hold it. There. And full iron crossbow. Have fun. Got a chicken. Chicken. And we got Zadra and uh, together. Swift hands and sharp eyes make them proficient at harvesting resources. Also got a crossbow. Uh, it's an amber crossbow. It's 1.2 as well, so it can suck it. Wait a minute. Fuck. Let's see. Okay, so the positioning is the same. It's got leather robes. Right? Gives everything armor. It's got... Master Gatherer, good. And she also has craftsmen. Everybody has fucking craftsmen. Except this asshole. And the kids. Which is good. But it's also not that good. And she's a Master Gatherer. Oh, it has a little star. That's good. What about the craftsperson? Do they have... Oh, they have a star. They are Master Craftsmen. 4.5 for Tier 1. And this is only 3.0. Oh, that's that's good. I don't remember it being like this. That might be new. They also have brute force. Everybody has brute force, so you can punch even if you don't have equipment. Weapon armor. Same old, same old. No tags. So that's our party. Let's look at our inventory. So we have our, our everything, our people, equipment, resources, and food. Uh, let's see. We got a... Some seaweed, some mushrooms, fruits and veggies, some meat, topaz, steel, sandstone, and wood. We got 14 turns worth of food and 11 turns worth of fuel. And we are almost 50%, actually, one third, one third full. We have only four movement speed, what the fuck? Who's slow? Five? Oh, the kids! Fucking children. How do I check our... 
But we need to make camp to be able to check that. I don't want to make camp for that. That we waste our movement. Oh, actually, let's start the game. So, we just want to explore. Oh, found sandstone, bone, clay, gold. Oh, and wood. I'm going to build a settlement. I definitely want to build a settlement somewhere where there's at least one fuel source and two different food sources. Otherwise, it's gonna be shit. Got some leather. We got a, a ruin. Now we faster. So, as tradition has it, your god sent me to guide your first steps on this new and bewildering island. Cut those to fucking nails! Started, check what resources you have near you. There's a toggle right next to the mini map. Let me get it now. Cook him some food, right? It will be done. Basically, he wants us to go around, look at shit, and then bring, make him some food. What are you doing that much? Struggling with the controls. Oh, shadow bones. I like shadow bones. That's nice. Got a terrain artifact. I can check. I think we have to sit next to it and then actually gather it. And then once we gathered it, we can research it. Steel and gold. Oh, wow. <laughs> Steel and gold. Steel is shit. So gold would obviously be best. Shadowbone is the wild card here. Yeah. I like the wild resources, obviously, more because they have more essence. And once you have enough craftsman skills, you don't really care about the trash uh, quality. So, so far we find a lot of bones and love of metals. And gold and shadow bone being immediately available, which is pretty nice. But there's no food! There's no fucking food! Yummy! Well done! And here, one must have a good drink too! They don't make now, food yet. What? The same way you cooked, you can also craft equipment and later buildings in your village. You can also design recipes to see how they will turn out. Is this bugged? I didn't make the food yet. Oh well, I don't mind. Oh, he gave us some nothing. And if you make special food, you need to save for something. Or, more likely, you gather good wood or better food, and you do not want it eaten or burnt. Make sure to exclude them. You will find a looking glass icon in your camp, on the top left side. You don't want to burn that good wood. <laughs> That's right, Theodore. Good woods not to be burned. What the fuck, my internet? Not today. No, and it's, don't it's forget to spend your research points. You can see your research tree at the top right corner. So, now that you have this sorted, I know of an abandoned house you can explore. Who knows what mysteries you will uncover there? Fuck you. Remember to check your inventory before you venture out. I'm not going to the abandoned house. It's the ghost bitch, I think. Oh, look! My archer leveled up. Oh, so this is basically what we see. This will be a lot longer at some point. Level up, pick an attribute. So Bogomis level levels up from 1 to 2. I can give him 2 perception. That's a pretty obvious yes. 1.5 mysticism? Oh, this might be new. I remember it being, you know, either one, either 2 or 1 plus. Not 1.5. Oh, that's, that's good though. Obviously, plus two perception, because he's a fucking hunter. I want him to be absolutely amazing at it. Although, he's uh, outmaneuver... Oh, it's, it's also based on perception. Never mind. It's just in yellow. So yeah, perception all the way, mister. What's my character screen? Is it E? E! Yeah, we got a 10 perception, baby! Pretty good, pretty good. Oh fuck, I pressed C, so now we camping. Actually, that's alright. So there's the Theodore quest where he wants us to go. So now we can actually check information. So there's this hiding stat, but I turned it off, so this will always be 0%. So all the enemies will always see us on the map. It can go up to 95%. So, you know, enemies will only have 5% chance per turn to see us and aggro on us, but this is off, so 0, obviously. So we can research, a little bit of research, it shows how much points you get based on whatever stats they are uh, modifying this. 
shows you how much you need to get uh, one research. This if I put Mace here, she'll need 11 turns to make one research, which is fucking atrocious. Um, this guy is the best at research, how? How the fuck are you the best, weird ass? Here's our rituals. You only know the spiritual healing, but we don't want to do that. Also, we don't really have... Actually, we, yeah, we don't have anything for it. We don't have enough. Actually, we can do it with... No, actually, we can't. We don't have enough fucking wood. Obviously, it's best to do it with herbs. But we don't need it. We can also cook. That's why you make foods. You can put the meat here. And the thing here, and we can make roulades. Nice, tasty fucking things. Fucking love it. The foods in this stay very good traditional Slavic meals and such, you know. And also some made up shit like, you know, tree jelly and goblin wine and shit like that. But you know, I would eat all the foods in this fucking game, except the seafood. Fuck the seafood. You can also craft, you can also build. I could maybe, uh, you know, gather up some wood. And build the shittiest fucking uh, tower. I'm not doing that. There's also equipment. I could also make the uh, the one ring to rule them all if I had stuff, but I don't have stuff. And did they change that? Now you need mithril. Uh, now you need at least tier three materials. That's actually not bad because you can't accidentally fuck up your uh, tree seed. I think on release you could actually make it out of like this fucking iron. Like iron and the tree seed, and then you fuck yourself because you can't reclaim that. <laughs> um. And also, this is what he was talking about, the, uh, the group info. So we can... If we gather up some new type of uh, fuel, they won't burn it. So they only burn what I tell them to burn. It obviously tells you what you get. There's the morale bonuses. Here's the morale bonus uh, chart. It's pretty good. We obviously want to get a hundred, later on it will be super easy to get that, right now. We're just not gonna have that, because we are not going to gather... And this is what we can gather, so we need 800 to gather the fucking... Oh, actually, I can just click on these and it puts the highest number in, right? Yeah. So next it will put the 49 in, and then the fucking 27, 25, 7. So that's good, at least you don't need to drag and drop twos, because that can be a bit less. But we don't want to stay here. So break camp. Actually, it didn't eat my movement speed, or movement point, so that's good. Oh, dark wood as well, oh, that's amazing. But no food yet. We want food. Let's go down to the shore. Holy fuck, not even fish. You're gonna starve to death. How much food do we have? 14 turns. Uh... Oh! Food! Oh my god, three types! Oh shit, but there's no wood. Just my fucking luck. That's usually how it goes. But the island is big. Uh, we're gonna fight. We gotta fight. We got two giant crows. I can auto-resolve it, forfeit, and get beaten by giant crows. Which are giant crows. Seen as heralds of wisdom, but also twisted by darkness. Giant crows can be a real menace. They have brute force, they can bite us with those jagged ass teeth. Oh, I would not want to be bitten by those. Like, look at that. That's nasty. They can show off that they are crows. They can dive attack because they are terrorists. And they can also corrupt us, which does fucking poison. Gross. Hmm. So let's let's do a normal fight. Just so you can see. It's basically like the Gwent game. From Witcher, but better. This Gwen sucks. Um, so enemy have has two cards. None in the deck, none in the corpse pile. We have six cards. Same thing here. Available action points. I have one action point. So I don't remember this at all. I, I, I don't fucking... So these are the preparation phases where everybody puts them out. And then two fight phases. And then it goes back to preparation if things are still alive. I think it does another round and then it automatically ends the, the game, right? Or the fight. So four fight phases in total, I think. So obviously I'm going to play the child. <laughs> no. 
I'm gonna put out my uh, my archer. I'm gonna use their archery. So they go. This is a target on battlefield in range row. Yes. They will have 6.2 initiation or initiative. I only have one thingy, so let's, let's put them here. Now we end turn, and then uh, the fucking crows put some shit out. Obviously, they put them, don't put themselves in front of my dude. And they could play both of the cards because they had two resource points. What is that? They're both going to attack my dude. What is that? How do I see that? I can't check what that fucking railgun beam is or whatever. Although, from now on, I can play everybody. These can't play anything, so let's just put out my, my spear one. Weapon attack or brute force. I'm gonna do the weapon attack because it has the uh, vertical slash. If I play it here, it punches those two. If I play it here, it only punches one, so, you know, it's a vertical thingy. I'm gonna do it on... It's 8.59. I'm gonna put it on this guy. And since it's a spear, it immediately does a little attack. Because it has first strike. Deals damage to the enemy standing directly opposite when played onto the battlefield. Yeah. I got one more resource point. These cost two now, because they're already on the field, so... You know, the more you play them, the more expensive they'll get. Play the archer. How strong are you? Four. You are six. Next turn, this guy can't do shit. Oh, of course they can! Of course you can replay the card! It's just... It's the duplicate. So if one dies, the other one dies as well. I, it's coming back to me! It's coming back. This guy has a lot of damage, so I can also duplicate him. He's basically what we want to use for murder. Play out this guy. Here. Should have put it here to protect the ranged guy, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah, duplicate your boy again. Oh, you don't have points. Now it's battle time. So. He comes first, and I can choose who to attack. He's going to deal 13 damage. I can just end this fucking bird. But if I do so, this guy can't attack anything, and that will be wasted. Let's just attack on this fucking... Attack this guy. Pew! Then, my archer comes. She says she wants to deal 8 damage. Or 6 damage. Yeah, just kill that one. Oh no, but we have the, the shielding, so we don't care about that yet. Now the archer comes again. Yay, we will kill the, kill the fucking birds and got some eggs. Yay. Scrambled, boiled, pushed, all yummy. Sure. That's an ugly fucking wolf. Research material acquired. So now we got the giant chrome material, and if you research that, we get extra bonus... Uh, damage against it during fights, I think. 15% power bonus to auto-resolve challenge versus this creature. Oh. Which will come in handy because I plan to just auto-resolve everything. As, as, you, as you've seen, the first ever battle, which was super fucking easy. Uh, I, I just kinda... I'm slow at that, so yeah. But look, everybody leveled up. To two. Obviously, we're giving the, uh, the meat... Meat of our party, more meat. The craftsperson. Speed, destiny. Do you need destiny? What the fuck are you using again? Artifacts. Artifact does use destiny and wisdom. You got intelligence. What the fuck does intelligence give? Primary mental affects research and crafting and sanity. But how much? What's the, what's the crafting multiplier here? It's probably more multiplier than wisdom. Intelligence gives 0 0.8. Or intelligence gives 0 0.8. I 
And four and ten wisdom gives four. Okay, so wisdom is better at crafting. Apparently. I might give her destiny. So she can be better at uh, purple fights. Well, it's only 1.2 or 1.5. Which is nasty. I don't like this 1.5 system. Because now it's not going to be a flat fucking full number, right? A round number. It's going to be 1.5. Ah! Who decided this? Ah, get intelligence. You're going to craft craft the world, I guess. A gatherer. A gatherer needs... What does a gatherer need? A gatherer is not going to have a fucking crossbow later on. They also have... They either have a wand or a, an artifact. Gathering likes perception, wisdom, and destiny. Perception. Obviously, we want more yellow. Yellow. So, intelligence doesn't uh, modify gathering. Oh, it's plus two, so it's still better now. This child is the warrior child, so they get. Oh, wait! They're gonna get wits! Because if they have high enough wits, they could, they could become a bandit. Bandits are super cool. They're fast as fuck. They are a little weaker than the warriors, but they're fast as fuck. So, yeah. He's gonna try to become a bandit. And we have our archer. Archer boy. He'll obviously try to become another archer. I usually just have one archer in one group, so they might just sit in the village after that. But that's about it. So we found a lot of food, right? But we need, we need some wood or something. Oh my god, even more food! We have four types of food so close together. If I put a village here, I can get all three of these. I'm gonna check. If there is wood here, I'm just putting some shit down here. I don't even care. I only need one fuel source. It's fine. Alternatively, I could maybe put, put a thing here. Because that's two hexes away, and that's two hexes away. Although, that would be one wood, one food source. Later on it can be increased, the gathering range, but... Ugh. No! It's fucking useless. Okay, now we need food, though. So we're gonna sit, sit our ass down here and collect. So also these circles. So you can see, the best season for gathering is spring and summer for the fruits. That's why the gathering is going to take a hit, because we're in autumn. But the food is all year round, it's, it's pretty good. We have green. Green, green, green. Ugh. But if we start gathering, we're gonna need fuel as well. And it's getting nighttime. Basically the early early part of the game is the uh obviously the worst. And now we can research the creature for four hundo. How long are we going to stay here though? <laughs> the kids. The kids are gonna research the creature in twelve turns? Suck my dick. Eight turns. We only need one more to get another research point. You need three turns for ten berries and one turn for the meat, which is good. So now we gather. When you gather stuff, it also shows up on the side. But now, since we have a camp, we're using the fuel. You're gonna wait until we have like five fuel. You're slowly gaining more food, which is nice. Now the berries come in as well. I think during nighttime we use an extra fuel. Or is it just winter? No, it's just winter. And since we gain the passive passive XP th thanks to Triglav, we can do this. So he's not getting marksman, that's for sure. He's getting more outmaneuver. That's good. Because he can be decent in yellow fights. And basically that's the game. We just do this. It's a chill, chillaxing, relaxing game. I just sit around. Which means... I can put on some music. Yes. Yes! Music! Mm. I'm gonna move here because then more people can gather wood. That's good. 
So if you have a village, it opens more gathering slots, but if you only have camp people, you only have the two slots, so... Ooh, some leather. It's got death essence. <laughs> I think that's leather essence. Oh yeah, it says it right there. Uh, sure, every four turns we get nine leather, sure. Although I could research bones. Let's do that. I'd like to gather bones. Uh, what do we do? Gathering is one. Two hundred and eighty. Oh. Every four turns. Sure. So we don't need a lot of wood. Every turn we're gonna get six. And every turn we only use one. So every turn we get five. That's good enough. Let's get some leather and bones. Bones. Well, now we're gonna lose food again. There's an achievement for winning the game the main story. Without making a city or a village or settlement. I haven't done it yet. But you know, I might. Ah oh, shit. No. Uh Although it's strained. Strained for thingy. Strength and intelligence. What's your intelligence? Garbage. What is this one? This is only intelligence. Ah. Uh, sucks. I guess we're gonna give her the throwing dagger. Yuck. Yuck! A craftsperson could get gathering or better showing off. Obviously, better showing off. A gatherer could get better gathering, obviously. This is a warrior in training. Stronger outmaneuver. Sure. And our archer in training. Stronger poison dagger. I don't want the crafts and crafting. Fuck crafting. Ah, these rolls are bad. Alright, just keep keep turning it over. These turn things take so long, I don't know why. Oh no, back of beasts. Alright, I'll have to resolve that. So it also shows you the likelihood of winning or losing. I'm gonna perfect victory this. I accept. And you can, you know, go back and be like, oh no, it's gonna be total defeat. Let me resolve manually. And there are times when it gives you like a, a very bad outcome. And you do resolve manually and you fucking beat the enemy like without a scratch. It happened. <laughs> it can happen to you too. But eggs. Alright, 25 what's my colleague is good enough. Uh, this needs three more turns to get wood a uh, bone, so I don't I don't I'm not I don't wanna sit here for three more turns. Although, redistribute, make it two turns. Get some more bones. Because we're going to have to get something to build the uh, shrine. The shrine can take bones as well. And if we design the shrine, there's all the uh, materials we will be able to get. If we do a bone shrine. Where's the fucking seed? gonna get us to ah uh, almost almost nine uh, halfway to tier three tier three gets us the plus two gathering range which would be which would allow me to get better share so obviously I would want granite uh, it barely puts us up I guess a tier two is not going to get us to rank three I'd have to have shit like diamonds yeah Uh, I'm not gonna fucking run around like a, a dick shit on this glaive shaped island until I can get to the diamonds. Because if I had the extra gathering range, I could put it here. At both the wood and both these food sources. And two food sources are already good enough. Because you can research food that allows you to combine those in better ways. 
It should. It should be sweet meat, which we already have. And then I guess we could get Goblin Dish. That would be another one. Grandma Streets is another one. Ah, that sucks. Both of them are secondary here, so that sucks. And berries. Only meat. Only meat! Meat with meat! Strong! Alright. Let's do one more turn, so at least we don't have to run around at night. And 30 wood will be nice. Oh, actually, it's still night. Guess we get the bones. Eight bones! Alright. So the search for our settlement location continues, sadly. These are just one fucking tile too far. If these berries were... Actually, what the fuck is here? Oh, it's iron. That's garbage. If the berries were here, I could do this. Uh, they're here. That sucks. Oh, well. Let's leave. Oh, no. Crow's nest. You find a beast lair. Clear this lair or... Animal kin or hunter. We have a hunter. You know how to handle beasts. Smoke them out. Maybe leave less, less loot, but they'll be gone. Smoke them. So now this is a mental challenge. Which decreases our yellow. We need to beat a brain, a book, and two magnifying glasses. Concepts. Fucking auto results. Yay! Beasts abandon the lair. So you should have some peace now. Great. Get some fucking things. Cleaned it up real good. What's a turn ending? Wonder if there's a hotkey for that. There might be something here. Oh. Not a research point. Very nice. Kind of want to check what's here. Fish! Fish, seaweed, and fur leather. Bones, more fish, but no fucking wood. As you camp by the water, flesh flood rises unexpectedly. Ooh, this is new. I haven't seen this before. Looks nice. Try to find higher ground. You run up towards a hill that will protect you. That you have to drop some things to escape the flood. Are you fucking kidding me? My food? Oh, fuck. Nine turns of food. But for some reason we get dried wood for it. What? Oh, some debris washes on the shore afterwards. I mean, dried wood is pretty, pretty swell. But fuck me! Now we have to go back and get a and get a food. Or we can sit here and get a fish. Although there's just one spot. The camps only have a gathering range of one. <laughs> Upsetting. This is what I meant by slow start. You just wait. Ah! I have to beeline it to the food because I don't want starvation to set in. Because everybody's gonna just fucking suicide. They do that, by the way. If they go very sad and depressed, they can just kill themselves. Or wander into the distance at night and never come back. It's kinda like Rimworld in that regard. These motherfuckers can commit atrocities to themselves real quickly, so... You know. <laughs> oh no, the birds! Okay, it's, not, it's daytime so they don't care. Oh, a couple of your folk found themselves a child in the cabbage patch. We don't have a settlement. What cabbage patch? I think this is broken. Basically, Mesa and Iva had some sex and uh, they made Nina. Nina. A Joyce, I guess. New child. And I get some blessing for two turns. Great. Child. Child! They have Hunter's Mark! Oh my god! Hunter's Mark! They will have to become a hunter! Otherwise this will suck! Another fucking hunter! No! Oh. I mean, too many hunters is not a thing. Hunters are awesome. Ooh, uh... I mean, strength is also kinda needed so he can wear equipment. Six strains, though. 
I don't know. Secondary physical, gathering luck and health. But I'm only 1.5. I hate the 1.5. Hate it. With a passion. I don't think if that that's how it was before, but... Even one would be better, because then it would be nicer. Gotta go back to the food. Oops. Wait, what? Oh, the bears are there. I'm stupid. Oh, no, the birds. They want to kill us. They die and give us some food. Six turns of food. We're gonna have to sit here all fucking night long. Sucks. I guess we could gather some iron by the way, right? Yeah, This kid. Oh, they didn't finish this site reset. Or maybe I never. Oh my god, 29 turns. Let's get out of here. Child, what will you do? What will you do? So, what if I design. What if I get enough dryad wood? Trash. Yeah, just sit there. I don't want to spend 18 turns here. I want to go to the other side. I guess I could have started a uh, sped up my start by taking less people. Oh shit. The rats. Observe the rats. Seems odd that they do not attack you. Rats seem single-mindedly obsessed with carrying objects deeper into the tunnel. Thinking things like branches, stones, pieces of bodies, bones, and equipment. They also may have spotted a person being carried away by the swarm. The rats being tugging begin tugging at your feet, as if to carry you too. But for now, they judge it too hard to, for of a task. Follow the rats. Farther into the tunnel, you see an obese rat slumped on a throne made of rat droppings, bones, and odd bits. Smaller rats swarm around the seat and add new layers. Rats to the red throne. Kill it. Kill the rats. Rats. How to resolve the rats. Rat kills. We lost some health. That's okay. Rat nest is mostly a pile of dung and debris, but you may be able to salvage some goods. I would not take food from the fucking rat pile. Gather what you can and leave. We got six food, one bone. It's probably rat meat, rat meat and rat bones. We got eight more meat. Two wands! Bone wands. A bone wood and a bone iron. Which is just a lot heavier. 1.5, 1.4. Okay, so that's better. And we got some rat material. And level up. Because we are speeding like a motherfucker. Strained, obviously. Craftsperson. Craftsperson is gonna get strained, definitely. Because fucking crafting uh, anvil is pretty heavy. I think the crafting tools can be very heavy, so... You'll need some strain to be able to build that. Motherfucker. Get wisdom. Fuck you. This one is the warrior in training. More of its... Oh my god. Six. Six should be enough for, for a bandit. And the uh, archer in training. Ah, oh, fuck me. Archer in training. And I got some wands. So wands use destiny. Destiny and everything. What is this little feat? Normal damage. No feat. Times two. What does it mean? I can't... What does that mean? <laughs> is it like times two damage against summons? I have no fucking clue what that means. It won't tell me. Anyways, it's destiny based. Everybody's destiny is absolute shit. Uh, we, ne we need scrolls and artifacts for our gatherers and the craftsperson. Craftsperson actually has one. Destiny and wisdom. Oh yeah, they have very good wisdom. 
Keep gathering, fuckers. Got no bats. They're probably coming from a nest. Now they're going to attack us. Bats. They got crushed. Oh, they gave us some enchanted leather. That's nice. Ah, the black cat. This fucker. Black cat causes your path. Stand still until another living being crosses the path. It's the only sure way to avoid the bad luck. Or this could be a demon in cat form. A small offering of food on the road. Cat comes to you, it will be good luck. If it walks on, well, fuck me, I guess. Sometimes it's just a fucking cat. But sometimes it is a demon in cat form. You'll give it food because we are gathering food currently, so it can cat walk towards you. Expect luck to come to your way soon. Wait a minute. Wait, it doesn't actually use food anymore? Oh, that's easy. Leave. Huh. Oh, there's the cat. Your home is visited by a black cat. We don't have a home! This shouldn't even be triggering! Dude, what the fuck? Someone you know you met this one before. It purrs and lingers in your household, avoiding their contact yet observing you constantly. Observe the cat to make sure it doesn't do anything bad. The cat sits by a person who was unwell and in the morning they feel much better. Give the cat some food in thanks. But it doesn't actually use food anymore. Oh, they, they, they buffed at this. You don't have to give it food. It, it usually used food if I remember correctly. I don't know, it's, it's been like three years. Random child, this one has no specializations, but they have the hunter's mark. What is this fucking... You don't want to get more banditry, hell yeah. <laughs> Bandits. So it's gonna be a bandit. Yee. Alright, 14 turns, let's get a little more. And then we can fuck off. There's food here as well, I don't know 16, let's get some more. War! I want, I want 18 turns worth of shit. That's good. Run. I could do the Theodore hut, but I really want to find the place. And we have more than enough uh, inventory space still as well. Fucking love tree glove. Oh yes, hunter's mark. Ooh, good luck. Plus two luck. I'll get hunter's mark on this guy. What a deuce. Fucking bugs. Get out of here. No, bugs. It was honey. Oh, beetle jelly, not even honey. Yum! I don't even know what this is. Rats! Yum! <laughs> Gross. Hell yeah, Triglav. Oh my god, crafting? I mean, having an extra crafts person is not bad. Sure. I have more, more options to have stuff. Rats and bats. Oh, wood and food right next to each other. Okay, we need to get more vision here. This might be good. Oh no! The traumatic events of the last few days made clear child is child no more. And I face the time of the croppings, the rite of passage into adulthood. But this path is never easy. When I choose what journey your young one will take before God's willing, this music is so loud! Like my fucking headset is on like the lowest fucking volume. If I turn it lower, it just turns off. Damn. I'll have to up the browser source, the browser music a little bit, so it's little loud. It's, it's louder than the uh, what's call it game music. But I want to turn off the game music because that will be in the VOD, right? I don't want the VOD to be just dead silence. With me just babbling about shit. Look at that. That dude had such an unfortunate life. He got beat up so many times. His eyebrow just fucking grew an eyebrow on itself. 
Damn. Anyways. <laughs> they all may return to you as an adult. Or they will fucking die. They get a physical blessing because they are the warrior in training. And we got the extra strength. Or chance. That the child is strong. They all follow the path of warrior. So they get a good chance of completing that. Or we have no bonuses for this. These two are always uh, available. So you can either go for a craftsman. Or a gatherer. But even another soldier. Trials for a fighter are tough and dangerous. The child must prove their mantle in the wild and hold its own against stronger challenges. It's already been like 30 turns. Holy shit. Begin the trials. Yes! Bandit! Bandit! I think that's a bandit. Child is youth no more to join the proud ranks of the warrior. Oh no, it's a warrior. I thought this was a bandit icon. Oh no, they're a fucking warrior. They had six fucking wits go! Oh, well, I guess they're strong. Oh, they're attractive. Ooh, they can actually fuck orcs now. <laughs> Rejoice! Shaken in your sleep, you wake to find yourself fallen from a hammock onto dry, brittle soil. Oh, it's the divine. Divine quest starts now. The longer I look at this, the more my eyes hurt. It's like it's moving, but it's not. Ah, uh, it's blurry. What hammock? <laughs> look around. Stand up, ready for trouble, because we're a warrior. You stand ready for battle, but realize your body is weak and worn out. The land beneath your feet is scorched, and the air heavy with a dark mist. But there is a dim light flickering ahead. Follow the light. You walk towards the light, and with every step, the shadows part beneath your feet, and a path is revealed. Walk it! The path no leads pussy. into a lone island upon a sea of white sand. The island is only small enough to hold one tiny tree sapling, barely grown from the evergreen soil beneath its long silver roots. And yet, its presence is overwhelming as it tugs at the very fabric of your being. I saw! Six Ouch. stones lie before you, floating in the air. One is smooth and black, with a single rune glowing on it. One is rough, uncut, woven with green vine. One is made of red ruby and shaped into a heart. Where's the red ruby? One is square and seems to have rows of words written upon it. One is sharp, hot and red with blood. One is made of glass that reflects a single ray of sunlight, even here. You know each stone speaks to the divine domains, and you know approaching them will guide you to your deity. Turmoil, nature and light for Truglov. Yes. So basically touch everything, yeah? <laughs> you smell molten lava and taste ash on your teeth. Nice. You feel rage fill you up and hear the roar of many warriors. Chosen. Oh, shit. Confirm. I felt I was made for something more. Yes, good. You are no misguided weakling, you know. You were born to serve my might. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Now you must be my axe amongst axe. the lands of the living. He said that the tool we will use, axe. Everybody's gonna wield axes from now on. Even the magic people. Axes. Accept the calling. The mark of three is not for cowards. Yeah. You were called to heed my fury. Feed my fires and do my bidding. If you fail, all shall burn. You must be my weapon, for the land will soon shatter into oblivion. And only I can decide if such fate is to be. I don't remember this being voice acted. But I'm glad it is. Because it's decent. It's better than what I would have done. <laughs> uh, accept the bidding. Yeah, I'm not asking. I'm not one to ask. I'm here to just nod and, and feed the fire. The shattering that split our land so long ago. We slowed it, but it grows. It lingers. And I fear that from the depths of the chasms comes a new danger. What the fuck is wrong with your voice? Only one head, please, please. Why do you need me, gods? Why? The gods fight with forces beyond your reach or understanding. But we believe the real fight awaits below, with you. Hmm. Marked by the Pantheon, you and those who will join you will find the truth that is clouded from our divine sight. What's the danger? 
The voice of all gods speaks to you with sadness. It is something old, something hidden, something that beckons me to its grasp. Fires burn ever brighter, the sun grows stronger, and yet it feels wrong. Our time here grows short. I know not what path you need to take, but I will guide your steps as you will guide my sight. Go, live, grow. But, but do, do not, not forget, forget your purpose. Sun grows stronger, and yet it feels wrong. Yeah, it's called environmental pollution. Air pollution. The ozone layer is gone. <laughs> We're cooking. The greenhouse effect. <laughs> not defiantly. <clears throat> Ask what of the other gods, other chosen, who feel here with you. Now, I just need an acceptance. You will find signs. You will see the wrongs of this land. In time, your true purpose will become clear to you. Be well, my children. Wake. It's some XP and the light bringers is now active. Need to kill the fucking light jisms. Yeah. The tendrils of calm. <laughs> Climb this mountain, fuck. Oh my god, nothing. No wood, it's just empty. Oh, actually there's wood, but... Oh wait! Wait! There is fucking... Leaks! I just noticed there's leaks under the beds. There's the two food source and the wood source. We're putting us down here, I don't even care. I just... Whatever, I don't, I don't fucking care. It's fine. Traumatic events of the last few days. Yes, this child is no child. So this is the apprentice hunter. Supposedly, they're kind of sad still. That's fine. Strength or chance, they will be warrior. No, they have a very high uh, strength though. Perception for hunting. Yes, that's what I should do. Craft to gather. No child. Always been different. Allowed fate to guide the path. Oh, this never ends well. <laughs> they come back as a wretch or some shit. I mean, they have decent destiny, I think. Uh, I don't want the fucking wretch though, I want the fucking witch or a ghost. Intelligence. Child is learned. Play maybe they can become a healer. Three intelligence? Get out of here. Perception. Journey of the hunter is dark and filled with danger lurking at every corner. Begin. Yes! The bunny man! He's the bunny man. I think. God is youth no more, and he's a beautiful. Oh, we have an attractive warrior and a beautiful hunter. Slavko. Sexy fuck. Oh shit, it's winter! Turns 37. No! Spear points are doubled for our characters. Enemies are aggressive during the night. Monsters nest spawn chances higher. Camps and villages eat two fuel per turn instead of one. Recovering health, sanity, or faith requires a fuel camp or village. Yeah, so normally sanity and faith goes up just normally. Now it needs fuel as well as health. Getting food and crafting resources is more difficult. And we get shit. We get snow, this is movement and visibility. Snowstorm, which is even worse. Wind, that reduces our sanity and faith. This can fuck us. We get scorch, which is kind of weird how we get scorched in the winter, but I guess it's there and we can get darkness. Villagers lose faith and they start making ropes and hanging themselves, which is always a bad thing, so. We don't want that. We have sticks! <laughs> but look at that, two wood! And look, there's the veggie tables. I didn't see the veggie tables because the fucking rats were blocking it. Pieces of shit. Oh god, we already have low senate, low faith alert. Who's dying? Oh no. They wanna die. They're, oh my god, this child is going to kill themselves. <laughs> He's the bunny man. Bunny man. Bunny man. Can we dual wield fucking... Oh. Sucks. Wait, when... Oh yeah, it's it's Nina. We found her in the fucking cabbage patch. Here, have a wand. <laughs> have a wand. Don't kill yourself. I'm gonna have to make the town out of the shittiest resources, though. For that, we need to get rid of this fucking nest. Ah! There's a third food source! Yeah, baby! 
This is where we live. And it's grain, and grain is pretty fucking good. Grain and meat and veggies. I think all three of them are pretty good in things. So, I put myself here. This is okay, and this is the second. So, one, two. One, two. Okay, so the grain should also be in range, right? This grain. This is not, and this is not. We need to put our shit here. Must. Obviously, we need some wood. Some veggies. Who's our craftsperson? Are you the craftsperson? You're the craftsperson, right? We need to craft shit. So we can make crafting tools, but not gathering tools, because gathering tools need more wood. Sucks. I can't make my alidol yet, because I need even more wood. I want to make it out of... Man, I should have st stayed there a little longer, because if I make it out of fucking bone... It's plus two sight range. If I make it out of the shittiest shit... Uh, I mean, we have to. Don't really have a choice. Don't have source for this. I don't want to go back. It's gonna be made out of wood. However, okay, they are not burning the dried wood. That's good. Running out of food source as well. So basically, every sing every different food gives plus one more up per, per turn. So obviously, I'm gonna feed them. Feed them. So I guess we're not crafting yet, we need to get the, uh, the wood. Get the wood. Why is it only one wood, though? Oh, because, of course, camps only have one. Which means, we should stand up, move over here, then we could gather all the things. And once we have enough wood, we move back here and just do our, do our shit. Gotta kill some snakes. And a royal snake, oh, that might, that might rape us. I mean, <clears throat> It didn't, but, you know. Oh, a scaled letter. You come to a place torn up by tremors. Surrounded by deep chasms in the ground lies a small patch of swamp. Within sits what looks like a very large toad perched on a water lily leaf. It croaks a sad melody. This was definitely not voiced three years ago. They made voice acting for more things. That's cool. That's very nice. Yeah, I approve. Approach carefully. The creature turns to you and speaks, his voice surprisingly clear and melodic. Oh, oh, you see me. Oh no, but then maybe you could. What the fuck are you? A chmu I am. Chmu! I have no name, I think. Not that I can recall. Although now that you mention it, it seems like I should. Hmm. Have you seen my swamp? I lost it. Join me, Chmu. Chmu can become pets. They are pretty decent, if I recall. How can you lose a swamp? The earth shook, the holes came, oh. and the swamp was gone. Then everyone left, only me, alone here. And I cannot stomp on dry land, you see. But I know someone who can help. Will you carry me to her? Yes, I need a chmu. Great, it isn't far, only there. And because you were so kind, here. I hear my spit is good for healing. Yeah, spit and on me. <laughs> the toad-like creature croaks. Spit it's, it's a green, smelly ball of goo. And hands it to you. Yeah, spit. Uh, I love spit. I lick that spit up. Give me your spit, you sexy beast. Oh shit, the light bringers are right there. Oh, that sucks. Maybe he's level up. Yes, finally, fucking toughness. Definitely giving it to you. Her faith and health. Uh, you're the crafter, right? But you should also get crap fucking toughness. You don't fucking suicide from low faith. You're the gatherer. You're gonna get luck. I don't need your crafting fire. Then again, I should actually, you know what? Let's rush crafting. Although, if I get toughness, it might it might have a higher chance of getting uh, or giving it as an option later on. Let's unlock it for her. 
Positio. Positia. She's a warrior. A very fast, decently strong warrior. Uh, she's gonna get the 1.2. Bunny Man is gonna get the 1.2 eye stuff. Alright, made it. Start gathering wood. More wood. Veggie tables. Seven? You suck. What do I need for gathering tools? Ah, wood. That's gonna be heavy gathering tools, but we need to do it. We're gonna sit here for a while. Gather some sustenance. Try not to die from faith loss. We discovered the ruins of an ancient human cemetery. One where burial was clearly the custom. There are gravestones with faded markings and even some large stone crypts. Search it. I really hope we're gonna run into a werewolf and die early on. We're ambushed by a lone befuddler. Seems very out of place here, yet angry and clearly determined to take it out on you. Uh, I think our strength is higher than our yellow mental stuff. And this is only tier 1 difficulty, and this is 2, so we're just gonna defend ourselves. It's a lightstick befuddler! It's a fish man! Kill it. Yeah, it's fine. Kill it. You defeat your enemy and search the rest of the side in peace. We got some ember, some skin, and fish. Bunnyman got hit a little bit, but that's fine. Bunnyman likes it. As the sun rises high, you feel its gentle warmth on your skin and rejoice at the growing strength of the light over darkness. But as you do so, you begin to feel uneasy. The warmth becomes ever more constant, unrelenting, the air stale and oppressive. You know what? It might have been voice acted even back then. I just always had the, vo the volume completely turned off. <laughs> I think. Oh no, the light, lighter harmony. Focus your domain trying to find out what's happening. Intellect or nature. We do have nature. We have turmoil and we also have light. So we can, that's why all of them will just show up. And usually is the norm in Thea and thus one must not panic. Try to move away calmly. This light is burning you alive. Try to find some source so you can defeat it. Oh, let's, let's, be, let's be calm about it. As you slowly move away, you soon see that the sun's rays are full of odd creatures. These light wisps are trying to attach themselves to you with their tentacles, and they are burning through your body and spirit. Ah! Your domain remains neutral to this assault, which allows you greater clarity of mind to resist the attack. Resist physically and move away. Use your connection to the domain. We don't have a lot of purple left in our party. We're kind of low in purple. We have good physicals and decent... What are these? What is the sanity? Sanity ones, I guess. Senators. Mentals. Your will will not be broken. Your mind will repel these fiends. As I'm gonna use my mind lasers. You remain strong and balanced, committed to neither light nor darkness in your domain. So yeah. the wisps seem unable to reach you. Seeing their failure. The wisps flicker away towards the sun and disappear. You see burnt carcasses of bugs and small critters around you, but you also spot a small pack of oddly paired beings moving away in unison, as if trying to follow the wisps. Oddly paired beings? What does that even mean? Got some fucking dragon bones, which is pretty good. I think dragon bones are on the uh, goblin island. They're pretty decent, albeit heavy. And we got fucking mental blessing, yay! No one got hurt, yay! Level ups, yay! Yay! Oh yes, that's definitely good. Showing off for intelligence, I mean, you got decent -ish intelligence. Or luck, luck is good. Luck is just good, right? What does luck do? XP gain, chance rolling groups. Growing up events. Okay, so you don't need luck anymore. Fuck luck. Bunny man. Oh, both of these are good. 
But let's give out maneuvers so he can be better at yellow attacks. Uh, hunters are fucking good. Good for strained, good for Vel. And this motherfucker, what will this motherfucker be? I mean, always go for the num highest number. It's a child with no specialty, so I don't care. Sadly, it's not getting any destiny and fucking... Uh... Oh, fuck, I fucked up. Not getting any destiny and mysticism rolls. I have to put everybody back on gathering. Oh. Fuck! Just pressed C on accident. Because I want to press C for, you know, inventory. Oh, we loan fuel. Across a small hamlet and as you approach, you see bloody bodies of many werewolves. Oh shit. I spot a group of villagers huddled around the building, lamenting and screaming at someone. Stop! Please stop! These beasts are dead! You can stop! Approach? The janitor sees you coming and speaks up. You! You're of the Chosen Elk, no? I heard of you. Oh, thank the Lady Lada for such fortune. Please aid us, Ulfred. He, he saved us from the wolves, but now he rages on. He locked himself in the house, but he didn't know that our children hid in the basement there. They surely killed them. Please help. That's why a man who saved them will now kill their children. He's an outlander. We took him in months ago. He said his ship sank and he rushed to settle away from the cold. Wished to settle away from the cold. He's a good man, though silent and kind. But a Rolch Varnus, <laughs> he felt the mark of turmoil so strong on him. Hey, you're gonna recruit his ass. Anyway, our Tosia got the werewolves riled up, silly girl. So they came, a full pack, ten of them. He had no chance. And then Ulfred, he said he would kill them, but begged us to keep away from him after. He, he changed, some folks swear he's a wolfman himself, but I saw him. He's more like a bear. Or a madman, foaming at the mouth, raging. Kill the wolves, yes. Then killed two of ours, but they did not heed his warning. He ran into the building and barricaded himself. Is the wall here? Perception. Agree to help, but going quietly and try to assess the situation. Yes. Perception is high on us. We're going through the back and peer into the main hall of the hut. The place is wrecked. The stove is turned over. The fireplace shattered into rubble. Tables and beds now mere splinters. You see a large figure hunched over the latch door to the basement. The figure is grunting and growling and trying to scratch away at the obstacle. There's a faint aura of magic clearly protecting it, for now. I guess the wall is in the basement with the children. Try to talk to this man, perhaps we can soothe his rage, so... Attacking you, it would fuck us. It's level 4 physical. Just leave. Say that as much as you would like. Their troubles seem beyond your reach. <laughs> no, nah, you try to talk to this man. It's Pasha! Pasha the Berserker! Berserkers come from a foreign land in the north. They are fierce warriors who embrace their destiny and allow the spirit of the bear to guide them into battle. But enraged, they can hurt both friend and foe. Holy shit, look at his skills, he's level 6! Holy fuck! I'm glad we chose fucking Sanity or Will challenge, he doesn't have a lot. Physical would have ended us. Look at him! He got brute force, he got salt air, which is pretty fucking good. Why does he have salt? Oh, because he's strength and destiny. Oh, that's a good fucking class. I like so far. Berserker Rage. When battle starts and blood is spilled, the Berserker Rage takes over and the need of friend or foe is safe from it. What does that even mean? Does it just trigger on damage? Subskill effects are triggered when a character is dealt damage. Targets the attacker. Eh. Berserker Strength. Every enemy that enters the battlefield, the Berserker becomes stronger. Summons a bear. Oh yeah, look, summon. Summon creature. So I'm guessing the thing that has the summon, the little paw crossed out, is extra damage to summons. Poison dagger, line charge, ooh. And headbot. And line charge is from innate skill and not a fucking equipment, ooh. He's got a club and a shield and a pendant. Oh, can we recruit this man? I wanna recruit this man. Oh, that's easy. Let's go. Look, it's Pasha. You can see your words calming the man. His breathing becomes more regular and it almost seems like he becomes smaller in stature. 
Through gritted teeth, he speaks. Oh, that's too much. I'll try to stop it now. Whatever happens. Thank you. See the man drink a foul-smelling potion. Ah, oh, Bozetia was like, fuck this. This is driving me crazy. A little bit. Just a little crazy. It's fine. Wait for the result. The man convulses. His body twists and turns into white bear. The animal seems unable to speak, but he could to follow you. The latch of the basement opens and an old vogel appears. Oh, wonderful. Hope it is well alive. I got a bear! A bear made out of dragon bones and eggs. Trained polar bear. Well, as trained as the bear can be. You cannot fucking train a polar bear. Polar bear fucking kills you. A polar bear knows you exist before you know it's even on the same continent as you are. Polar bear knows. It smells you. Look, there's a polar bear there. It's gonna fucking eat everybody. Wait, so he's a fucking berserker. And instead of joining us as a human, he joins us as a fucking permanent bear? A pet bear? Not even a bear companion or a character, just a pet. Which gives us the ability to summon a bear. That's fucking ass, although it's high value. But we won't know how good it is until we summon it in a fight. And since I mostly auto-resolve, I will never, never see this. The one copy of this character is permitted on the battlefield at any time. I'm in the pet bear into me free melee spot. I don't know how strong it will be. I guess I have to do a manual fight. Next. Are the children well? Yes, thanks to you. I suppose Ulfrid did not go with you. As crazy as it may seem, I have learned the ways of the berserkers from Ulfrid. Since the intellect may now be somewhat stunted, his intellect, the bear growls at him. I will pass on this knowledge to you. Should you ever decide to use it, remember to stay and stay weary. Weary, you say? What is a berserker? A warrior is a fierce power, but doomed by a blood curse. Yes, a family curse. <laughs> they seem to call upon the spirit of the bear. Perhaps the spirit takes them by force? Mm -hmm. Unconsensual bear transformation. They can be an asset, but also a menace. Where do they come from? Your ass! They seem to hear from the cold lands far in the north where our gods do not rule. I believe he meant the lands of Perun's brother, Odin. After the shattering, I should imagine the gods fa god fares well with all the seas. And it is not surprising their people should appear to our at our shores. They are known to favor travel. Yes, he's a viking. We get it. Good. Your young ones will not be able to undergo the trials of the bears that are with their crop cropping scums. With a destiny strong enough. Ah, that's a good hint. So we need high destiny and we get to take the berserker role. Although, I mean, if we have high destiny, we might as well try for the fucking... fucking Volvas and, and Magicians, but... Oh well. It's a new class. And it fills a, a niche role. Because while uh, archers or hunters can fill physical and uh, will, these motherfuckers can feel physical and uh, faith. Oh, and that's good. Be well, friends. Leave. Yeah, and it's snowing now. Yeah. Snow. That's okay. Let's sit here. And our gatherer got some shit. What influence is gathering most again? Wisdom. Okay, so we need wisdom, perception, and uh, destiny. Which is basically both the secondary, or all the secondaries. I know they're snowing. Oh, wisdom or perception. What should we do? Let's go wisdom because that will make it a fucking round number. Make it eight. Plus, wait a minute, plus, she's not gonna have a fucking crossbow later on. She'll have a fucking artifact, and I think artifact is. Is wisdom and intelligence, I think. So. Wisdom. wisdom. Wisdom bestowed. If you know what that's from, good for you. It's an old game. All I have are game references. Also, we have three goddamn points. We shall be spend once I have the, the village up. Sit around a little more when the fucking snowing stops. Bees! 
Oh, wait a minute. I should put the fucking bear somewhere. And more bees. But these were bees. Ooh, blood bone. I don't care about blood bone. Ah, polar bear. It literally just gives us a summon. A bit too because she she suffered some uh, sanity loss during the fight, so now she got a polar bear. Plus she's got a fucking club, and clubs suck. I don't like the clubs. Shitty. Yes, Triglav. And the uh, faster level up mod, they just make us OP in the beginning, which is fine. Uh, what is this, the crafter? The crafter needs intelligence. The crafter gets intelligence, right? Intelligence and wisdom are both good. Destiny and wisdom. Wait a minute. Get wisdom. What is this? Guess you're gonna get some, uh, some bits. You're not as slow. Alright, how much wood do we have? 26. How much do we need to make a, a place? 30. Wait, need to sit. I should have started in summer. I fucked up. I fucked up! Ah! It's okay, we will be stronger for it because we get a lot more XP. In the winter? Oh look, the child can learn to shout. What's ready is possible only if warriors follow the orders of their commander. You're not a commander. Increase that. You need some wits as well. Three is very low. And as a warrior you get strength. Or bees. Bees just don't stop. At least food is nicely accumulating. Or maybe not. What the fuck? Food is going down. <laughs> Please. Just wanna make a village. Gathering. Actually gathering is better for him than crafting, because Plus he would be faster with gathering now. Twenty nine. Every turn we get wood now. Good. I really need that. I need more. More wood. Weary from your travels, you come across a small hamlet, and you are invited to rest and eat with the family. They also offer their stables as a place to camp if you need to. How come this is voiced? With the family. It's the family. It's not just a random family, it's D family. The family in the... The family with their fucking stables. It's the stable family. Let's go. You get a warm meal and are invited to listen to folk tales from the Good old draw. Baba. The children ask you many questions about the wider world and you are somewhat relieved when it is time to sleep. However... Woken by a distant tremor, you rise from the gravel and dust that surrounds you. Mere steps away from you, a deep gash has swallowed the farmhouse that gave you refuge the night before. Dust and debris are all that remains. Oh no, the light is coming. Everybody's turning into ghoul. You search the debris for other survivors. There was a family of six. The little girl gave you her doll to keep you safe at night. Keep looking. There must be someone who survived. There are no signs of life. Ah! In fact, you realize that it is very quiet and still here as if time itself has halted. You look down the chasm to check for bodies, but instead of the darkness you expected, you are blinded by a ray of bright light. Oh no, it's the core of the planet. The light dims, no. and before you stands the family. Their bodies are twisted and broken from the shattering, but they seem unhindered by it, their eyes white and focused, yet empty. Their limbs are loose, unnaturally relaxed even. At first, you assume they are now unliving, 
but you can see blood still pumping in their veins and their hearts beating slowly. How can I see that? They walk away from you without a word, moving together in unnerving unison. I've mined. <laughs> Look at that fucking fox. <laughs> Rabbit as fuck. Natural inter is still vigilant. Observe. Observe them. An oppressive emanation of light and order pushes against your very being. This light seeks to stifle any magic or darkness, and the order seeks to diminish all turmoil. Your bones twist and your blood boils from the assault. Nasty. Stay back. Observe. They continue to walk, occasionally trying to turn to you and reach out with the oppressive light. Your divine bond protects you, and eventually the enemy moves away, blindly following some unheard call. I didn't want to do a fucking level 4 physical. Screw that noise. Okay, how are we with wood? Do we have 30? 46. Okay, so we could make the village, but then we would have fucking 7 turns of... or 8 turns of thingy. Should, should be enough. Although, if we come back here, they'll only be able to collect vegetables and wood. Although, the rest of them could be put into research and crafting. If I put them here. One, two. Both of the grains would be... Only one grain is needed, though. I don't know what's here, though. Could be something good. There could be gold here. Or bones. Also, there's, like, more here. You see, there's... All this, a lot of wood, probably not a lot of food though. However, this could be a nice place. And what's down here? And not much here. Obviously, it's best to explore the entire place first, but I kind of want to move on with the fucking exploration. Put down some rooties. And we just have a the distance of two. By default. If I put it here. Yeah, I can get the... Uh, grain. And I can get the meat still. Fuck! Sudden storm catches you off guard. Lightning bolts cut through the sky and gusts of wind steep, sweep you off your feet. Expect the nature and seek shelter as fast as you can, or... In the name of Turmoil's raging power, embrace the storm, ask for the thunder's blessing, hell yeah. Lightning strikes at your feet and you smell your own burnt skin and hair. Yum! We got... We got blasted. It was worth a shot. Put our buttholes down. Gathering person, get on wood. Crafting person. Not building the worst... Well, not, actually, not the worst, because the worst possible uh, thing would be the 29 bone. It should be 2.2 fucking things. This is at least 2.6. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! This would have been 6.0, man! What the fuck? The buildings can be upgraded, though. Just as a thing. There's a replacement, uh, an idle replacement ritual we can do, so... I can go back, get the fucking bones, and just replace it. So it's not a biggie, biggie deal, but... Yeah, plus we lose. That's okay. We needs it. One turn? That's okay. It can take two turns to build it. That's fine with me. Who's good with research? One. I mean, this guy's actually good with research. 41 research. 72 crafting. 98 gathering. This guy is the actual chosen. Look, single handed he gathers fucking. Wait, what? It is 98. Oh, but this one has a uh, lowered thing in the winter. You see, it's just one. One fourth. Even wood is lower gathering stuff. But well, that sucks. Alright, like this, and these two fuckers can just. Work on the creature. Why are they... Oh, those are the trees. But they were still standing. We're gonna make a village. Ooh, shit. Name of... An armed group? What the fuck? 
Yan, a craftsperson. He's definitely getting blasted. I've got Petcher. He's decent-ish. And we're still wounded. What the fuck? Get out of here. They killed them for their loot. Oh, they gave us a bone archer back. That's good. Leveled up. So gatherer gets more gathering. What is this shit? Counterattack. Each enemy that deals damage to you will also receive damage. Intelligence. Line charge. Line charge is nice. And bunny man. Even better hunter's mark or some gathering. Let's give him gathering. It's good to have the hunters with gathering. Because their perception is already high. And that modifies gathering. So that's nice. That's nice. And. This motherfucker. Get the fucking bone artifact. Which is. A little better for her. The shield. Medium armor. Which one is heavier? They're both kinda. So you get the worse one. Bunnyman gets the better one. Bunnyman has shittier armor. Amber crossbow. Club and the wand. Club is worse than the fucking spear. Actually stronger, but it doesn't have the uh, first first strike and it's very slow. Kid is going to stay with that. Keep him though. And village has appeared. Come on. Be all abroad. Sure. Yay, we crafted. We can make a crafting tool first. Make it out of... Wait, we can't make it. Why does the game tell me that I can actually craft it? I don't have resources for it to craft it. 18, 16, 14, 11. I... What? I can't make that. I only have 13. Why does it let me do this? This needs 23. I need 10 more. This shouldn't be allowed. So 18% increase to crafting, or a flat 1.8. Or 1.4 research for 10% increased crafting and increased sanity regeneration. Yeah, you see, it can't be done. Video game, you're, you're drunk. You're fucking drunk. This is impossible. I could make... This, which is almost at tier 2, 2.6, 25, research, or actually reach all. Group carry multiplier, oh that's nice. Obviously the forager aid is good for later on. Early on you want the uh, flat numbers. But I don't want to burn all my fucking wood on this shit now. Or I should, because gathering I want to make it out of normal wood. See this? Now we have three food sources and two wood sources. Because we are cool, and now we can have three people on thingies. We got our village. And our village gives us 2.6 gathering and crafting as well, so that's nice. Oh yeah, and also we get Bogdan. Bogdan, our little house, house bitch. The divine shkchak. Divine shkchak. The house demon and the such. It can have mischievous nature. He's also known to do the bidding of the gods from time to time. He's got fucking soul tear. Counter attack. Guardian demon. Gets XP. It's village bound so we can't take it. He's got the energy scattering which is fucking dope. And he can punch. Increase crafting. And gathering from the village. And tree glove. Hello? Who the fuck are you?
my cat. Yes, cat. My cat turned seven. Seven a couple of days ago. A beautiful seven year old cat. So fluffy. It is. <laughs> seven fucking years of cat. So it's basically going to die next year. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Meat. And I also have a mod for the house demon. Which lets me equip shit on the house demon. Because normally I think house demon could only equip gathering tool and trinket. But with this mod, okay, house demon can have a armor and a shield. Yes. Please. Why? It's your offhand. It's got a fucking fork, I guess. Fork, fork. Bogdan. Let's call him something. Yeah. Let's call him... Blubber. Because <laughs> I want to call it Blubber. So now everybody's doing that. Actually, there's some people researching. How good is Blubber with research? I think these are usually pretty good with research, yeah. Research. Let's take the child off of there and this asshole. This, you know... It's 40, it's 35, it's basically the same fucking thing. Unless they have negatives, okay. The research doesn't have negative uh, in the winter. Which is good. But that's essentially the same. A little worse. But look at them, they they are... They more than make up for it. So now we get some... Some grain, some meat, some vegetables and shit. You can also look at the cooking. Can't make spicy shit because we need <gasps> we need fucking fruits or spices. Mmm. This might get tears up the fucking everything, I guess. Which means research, not this research, this research, advancement, which is in R. Can I access? Can I access that even if I'm here? Like if I press R, it does nothing. Great. I have to be on the map. Food. So we have meat, grain, and leeks. Which is not good here, because only meat is good here. Here is also not good, because the primary is not done. Here is also not good, because we don't have a primary. Okay, we have the meat. So we can have one, we can have two types. Because we have, we can have the veggies and meat, and grains and meat. That's two types of food. Plus the three types of raw food. That's five types of food already. That's good. Yes. This one. What is this one? Oh, this one. Look at that. One, two, three, four types. Because we can have double veggie, double grain. And one of each. They're grain veggie or veggie grain. Plus the raw foods. Seven types. And now I can't see my screen because the cat just suddenly decided to jump up. Be a giant fucking brick. In my face. The big cat. Tall cat. Fluffy cat. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. <laughs> I can't see. Ah! Pussy! <laughs> I can't see. I guess the. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> the vegetarian choice is what we should do. I could fucking look at my screen. And we have the... We have the meaty meat. <laughs> Get away from me. That would be three. Three different stuff, but it also costs us two research points. Which we're not going to do. So we're going to do with this. Yes. Five, three, three. Four. Now we have foods that we can make. Which is nice. And we have... Do we have research points? We have two more research points. Uh, you should look at the buildings. Oh my fucking god. What is this? The replace has to be research! Bollocks. I need to leave now. 
No, <laughs> so cute. Go, go, child, go. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so the replacement stuff needs research. She's poopy. I could have a lumber mill, provides wood. Useful if there is no forest growing nearby, but we don't need this because we have wood. Minerals. That would be good. Well, gives not only. Oh, actually, I want the fucking uh, herbalist. This one. Because this one gives us. Uh, it lowers the chance of dying and it gives us herbs. So that's definitely good. And the witch hot because I want fucking. Uh, Spellcaster ch children. Spellcasting children. Although, the thing is... How do I go into this fucking thing? Can I even build these? Like, do I have the materials that they require? Oh my god, I don't have anything of these. I can't... I, I have wood. So we'll need to get out and get the... Uh, the evil bones. And making it out of evil bone can increase our healing read, uh, rate, or... Actually, I think my music stopped. Yeah. Next! Good. Some regal theater. Or funsies. And then we'll go into some other shit, I guess. Funny smell, oh yeah. Or we can make it less healing rate by 0.5, but decreases chance of death by 0.8.4. Doesn't, where the fuck, where the fuck is the herbs? Okay, so the, uh, this is the gem essence. And make the uh, normal, but stronger. What other essences are there? It's more bone. Leather essence? Leather essence doesn't give us that. The oh, fuck? What? Increases sanity? It doesn't give herbs anymore? Suck my penis. This only works on people that are in the village. Oh. Suck the blood. Well, I can't make it either way. What about the witch hut? Oh my fucking god, it's the same old, same old. We need the bones. Oh, the witch hut gives herbs, herbs, or increases maximum faith. Gives extra rituals and ritual slots. You can slap metal in there, does nothing extra. Ladder, which does nothing extra. Gems, which give nothing extra. And rocks. Rock Essence. Rock Essence would give also extra slot and guaranteed herbs. Basically like this, but better. Well, we will have the bones, because we have the uh, shadow bones. So we'll have extra ritual, no extra slot, and extra faith. Or herbs, and that's what we want. Flat herb production without needing to put anyone on it. We can also use herbs in food production as well. But I think herbs can't be eaten by themselves, but they can be used in certain foods. So that's nice. Because they're basically spices. Spicy. So I fucked myself because I can't build any of these. Which means I have to venture out. Uh, craftsperson. I see toughness is uh, offered again because we unlocked it. But we want the crafting to be higher. Definitely want to just stay in here for the entire winter. Just gather up a fuck ton of shit. Hi there, chosen of the gods! I am your very own divine house demon. Because apparently this is not voiced. Hey, this is the old Theodore. What the fuck? This is from Thea 1. It's also another DLC pack. Can have some Thea 1 stuff. You to aid your home and all that. I shall fight for you. Oh, actually, no, that's actually 
that's not Theodore. It's just the old Theodore looking thing, but it's 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 blubber. That's blubber. But you the demon blubber. I'm gonna end my cat. Blubber. I shall fight for you in the village. Sometimes I'll join you when you are challenged close to the settlement. Please do not put me in your party when you leave the village, for I cannot le ever leave, and with me neither will you. <laughs> He's a slave. Ah, he looked like Theodore. Well spotted, yes. The gods seem to favor your kind. I'm not sure if you should be flattered or pissed off. I'm a shkak. But one given the honor to be bound forever to your lovely home without a choice? <laughs> anyway, all good. Welcome, carry on. Bro. Experience madness. Ooh, parry. Extra shielding, just a flat shielding. I like to make my chosen a fucking tank, because once they die, it's game over. <laughs> So, we gotta go tanking. Fuck, Nina. Nina's gonna have even more perception. Nina's gonna, <laughs> Nina's gonna turn into a fucking other, another hunter. <laughs> Ooh, will drain. Drain's full. Leaving an empty shell. <laughs> that was the thing the crows had. They have true damage. Oh no, it's actually life leech. 40% of the damage dealt is hit point. Or better guardian demon. So guardian demon would become... I don't even know, but let's give him more guardian demon. It gives more XP. Speed in. Speed in more. I'm gonna go to the uh, Theodore Heart as well. And Seaweed is also pretty close by. How close is that? One, two, three, four. I don't think we can get... Four. Or, damn, I should have put the, the village on the vegetables. Because that would be 1, 2, 3 for the grain, but 1, 2, 3 for the seaweed. And we'd max that shit. I could have gotten seaweed, the grain, and everything. Because as a starter, two food sources would have been enough. Oh, I didn't see the seaweed there. Shit. That's okay. What the hell? Blue bees! And red bees as well. They're just coming. They wanna go. Dragon bees. Fuck them. Ooh, they gave us malachite and gave us research material. Fuck! Nina! Nina is leveling up. Is Nina a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Nina, what the fuck? Nina is a crossdresser. Become a hunter. Oh, I kind of wanna. I kind of wanna just not. You know, I kind of wanna just not make it into a hunter. But they already have pretty good perception, and hunters are still okay at gathering. So. Uh. Ooh, Nina became the lizard man. Child is no more. It's a hunter. It's a lizard man. Lizard man. We got bunny man and we got lizard man. Lizard man. <laughs> got a fucking wand and everything. Now they got a crossbow. Shitty ass fucking wands. What is what is lizard man doing? Oh, lizard man is collecting grain. That's cool. And I should have started in the summer. It would have been so much ahead. Fuck! For an extra 5% uh, endgame score, I fucked myself. Because we're already on turn 55. You know what? We would be on a turn 55 in the first game, halfway through the fucking game. 
I think the first game like ends at around like 100, 150 turns if you know what you're doing, 200 turns if you don't. And this one, uh, you know, you can just sit. Just sit, <laughs> don't do shit. It's just like, eh, spiders and ants and bees and shit, I don't care. I'm just sitting, collecting garbage. Because I screwed myself for starting in the winter. Because even during the day, they just attack. They don't leave us alone. <sighs> At least they bring some embers. I can craft with that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. This guy should get some wits. This guy has five, but... Look at them. They are... <sighs> the hunters. Hunters, man. They're gonna be strong. I should... Research some hunting uh, weapons. I like the uh, the javelins. Oh look, blubber, blubber leveled up. Blubber is going to get himself some strength, so he doesn't die. What is that? Meat. Oh my god, more meat. Interesting. Did I turn? I didn't turn. Fucking bees. Bees nuts. You should actually not eat the uh, the the beetle jelly, because that's a resource we are not gathering, but it can be used in food production later on to make it better. So let's not eat that. Uh. Now we can make some wooden gathering objects, which are extremely garbage. As you can see, it's not even enough essence to make this one. It's going to be super heavy, super bad. But that's all I can do. Man, I'm, I'm borked. What about crafting tools? Oh yeah, we don't get anything that's good for crafting. We don't even have iron. I'm gonna make some of these. Make two. How do I increase the number? Oh, that's the priority. Ah, there. It's the number. So I'm gonna make two of that. So where's my crafter? Oh, crafter. Are you the crafter? Iva. Sure. Eva. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Boom. One turn. Both of them. Gonna be done. It's good. Slowly building up our shit. We got two research points because they're done with the heart. Oh, yeah. Full strength. Let's go. Now, research. Let's look at the buildings we could build. Rushing well needs wood and wood. If we have that, we have wood. We'd make a wishing well. What is the crop field? Crop field ones. We don't have any of this. But we do have grains. I think grains are the best. But I think if you use herbs, it might attract goblins or some shit. Grains are for like humans. Not sure. Guard tower. Gives us defense. Valing is good for morale increase, and we could make the, the worst kind. Although well, the worst kind would be 50 ladder and 25 shit, but still. It's basically all tier 1, so it's fine. School. Research. Provides research points each turn. Oh, could build it. Oh, this would be nice, but we can't build it. Forge. Craft speed. Armor. Or how I mean warehouse, Jesus. Increases gathering attribute. Ooh. This should be something to build. The trading boss. I don't think I've ever used this. Should hmm. also go into I should unlock gold because I've seen gold on this place. But there's gold. Right next to the thingy, so I can plop my boys and girls here. They could gather Shadowborn and gold at the same time. Gold is better than steel. There's also gold here. So next to clay, we could get that. Is clay the wild resource? No, clay is the basic. That's shit. We need, we need granite. The granite is super heavy. Obviously, that's for buildings and not like... We could make two-handed granite greatswords. They would be 
so heavy we could not wield them. But that's fine. Is that fur leather? Fur leather is the uh, basic here as well. I mean, we got lucky with, with the bones. Bones are very good, the shadow bones. Early on. Gold. There's silver. It's not as good as thingy. We have blood bone as well. Oh, we have dark wood. Dark wood is the poisonous stuff. I should look at the rest of the main land mass first before getting uh, too many things, but I think gold should be a winner because of this. I can put them here. They can get wood, shadowbone, and gold. So that's gonna be pretty dope. Let's go. Let's get gold. Yes. And also, where are the these other things? I like thrown spears. I think I like thrown spears more than bows. Where are crossbows then? Are crossbows just the form, I guess? Increase your proficiency in crafting thrown spears. You will be able to use additional primary, secondary, 10% bonus essence. So bows have low speed, low damage, can target any enemy. Thrown spears are very low speed, but medium damage. They can't target anyone. And ones are very low speed, medium damage, contain special speed drop skills. Yeah, these are, these are not physical thing. I think there's a mod that makes them physical as well. I don't have that. I think it would be nice. 28 books I don't need yet, because I don't have mages. I don't ever use scrolls, or one-handed scrolls, because they suck. Oh, I actually have to unlock the first tier as well. Fuck, I just realized. I should just go into ranged weapons. Swords! Very high speed, low damage. Hatchet. High speed, medium damage. Uh -huh. Club. Low speed, low damage. Why the fuck would you ever use a club? Polearm. Spears. Medium speed, low damage. Wait, medium speed, low damage. High speed, medium damage. So, yeah, axes and swords are what we're gonna do. Mostly axes. One-handed axes with fucking awesome shields is what I like to do. So they have different skills, right? Like, you know, spears have the uh, first strike. I don't ever use pole arms, but I think they can attack like two things standing next to each other. I don't remember. But I like the high-speed axe things. Axe murdering. I like being an axe murderer, you know, it's just something up my alley. Let's unlock ranged weapon. Because we have like three hunters, so might as well be able to craft some shit for them. Javelins. I can't make javelins, we need bones and metal or stone. Sucks. I can make wands, but we don't have anyone who needs wands. I can make bows. The worst bows. Worst ever bows. 1.3 and lighter than the crossbow. It's 2.6 attack and 3.0. 2.6, Yeah, that's basically the same thing. Yes, it's a little slower, but no. we don't really need it. This guy has the uh, the two point four as well, the same damage. We are okay with that. Should have went shields or light armor. That's okay. That's okay. Oh wait, the research guys—they're doing something else. Oh, is is there? Oh yeah, I have two more creatures, and it gives fifteen. It gives a full research point every time. That's good. I can sit there and do that. I'm gonna wait for the uh, crafting equipment. It should be this turn. Although now it's fucking snowstorm. Oh my god! The first purples! Bunny man! Why, bunny man? Why? Why you? Got nothing for that. But poison and strength and intelligence for poison. 
is attractive and beautiful. What the fuck? Damn. This man is so fuckable, it's beyond reason. And look, he's, he's actually... He's okay now. Look at that. Their morale is going up. Damn, I st I'm still gonna give him the perception, but... This arrived so too late. If he if he would have gotten these when he was a child, maybe I would have had a chance to turn him into a fucking ghost or a scoundrel or something. Or a wizard. A wizard, and then I would have named him Harry. Harry Pooter. A wizard. Ah, too bad. Did I unlock a building? No, I didn't. Fuck. Yeah, I don't want to make more of this because we need the wood to burn. We don't die. So I got two crafting things. So who's got high crafting? 13, 12. 18. You definitely got one because you're together. And I guess the 13 guy. Bowman gets one. Hell yeah. What are these Ember Clubs? What's the difference? Okay, what she has is a little better. Although, it's not better enough. You can see a little more sliver in the Essence Bar, but... But how come? They're made from the same thing. <clears throat> they have the same value as well. Interesting. Oh well. I'm gonna break this fucking thing. Fuck the clubs. Alright, now we need to leave and take our highest gatherers with us. Start gathering shit. Because we are going, not going to, going to do pussy mode, so. Yeah. The low end can't uh, stay. So Bogomislav Zandra and Bonnie Man will leave. The rest of them will stay in here. Actually, oh yeah, this guy stays, obviously. That's all the people I have. Seven? That sucks. Oh well. Let's make an expedition. So Bogomislav comes. The dragon drop, goddamn. We take Zadra and we get Bunny Man. They need some fuel source as well, so they're gonna get 20 wood. They need food as well. Got 50 of that. 20 of that. All of that. Okay. But now. This needs two, a little over two turns for meat. This needs a lot of turns for. Oh god, okay, so. I don't want to run out of wood. Let's do this. Every two turns we get some meat. Hopefully they will not run out of stuff. What's their uh, turns? So they got 29 turns of food, 6 turns of fuel. I could double that if we go into emergency mode, but it should be okay. So group one, this we just hike it back to Theodore, but not actually do this. Instead, just sit down here. What is that iron? We don't need that. New. I'm actually gonna have to put them here and actually and gather wood first. I only gave them 10 turns worth of fucking wood. 12 more turns of winter, too. I could have waited. But I don't wanna just sit here looking at the snow. You're a craftsperson. You're weak, though. So you're gonna get some strain so you can actually carry things. Oh, well, fuck. We moved on to a burn's nest. Kill it. Kill it! Yeah. 
Thanks to Bogomislav being so goddamn strong and sexy, he can just kill everything. Look at all that seaweed there, holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh my god! Wait, this is the fucking away party. They made a child. A Bravoya. A Bravoya is a child now, but she's outside. Now we have to take this bitch back. <sighs> Rejoice, I guess. Fuck. Fuck, why why you do this? Why you do this to me? And it's night time. I don't want the child out here. Because they their sanity will or or their faith will go down and they will just die. Path you were on seems so insane, but you need us too late. You stepped into quicksand. Scout a safe way. If you have a bunch of scouting people, you wanna take it because you get even more perception. Ah, <laughs> oh, I remember certain things of this game. And we got some shadow wood, nice. And the path you discover remains of a less fortunate soul, made out of wood and berries. Gather their things and scavenge the shit out of them. This guy. Lizard man. Got some luck. I'm gonna take back the child and the wood. I'm actually gonna burn the wood because I don't like shadow wood. Well, it's still better than normal wood, but... Eh, we do have a thing here. Ah, I don't know. Oh shit, we're getting attacked by things. I don't know what they are. The giant spider is sitting atop at a child. It looks as if the child is struggling. Run to kill the spider. Oh, this is not actually killing it. Oh well. Try a weapon and prepare to fight, but the boy shouts around at the spider. No, no, don't kill my mom. We're only playing. The spider turns to face you and stands protectively between you and the boy. Disgusting. Uh... Let's give the arrow okay. Yeah, we're okay, only you see my mom is ill and we're trying to retrieve a magical herb for her from that cave there. But there's some kind of force guarding it. Many brothers and sisters died already trying to get in. Offer to see if you can get in. Oh shit, that looks nasty. Try to enter the cave and indeed some force keeps you at bay. Force, oh my god, four physical? I think we might fail this. Concepts, but we don't actually take like lasting dam damage in this. I think a fucking child might die, but it's okay. Child's gonna get shredded by the force field. We're gonna throw the child at the force field. They're just gonna get pancaked on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have tried to resolve manually. Oh fuck, fuck. They're not that strong. However, during uh, actual concept challenges, you can't use your weapons. You can only use your skills. And, oh, he doesn't have good physical skills. He only has brute force. And it's shit. Because it uses strength. It's level one. Same here. Yeah, we're gonna fail this no matter what. I can't fucking... Oh. I'm not smart at this thing, so I, I don't know. I mean, they got Hunter's Mark, but what the fuck am I gonna do with that? We got a child with one damage. Meh. Go. Oh my god, they have 20 fucking life leech. Oh no, poison. Dude, they're gonna one hit us. Saunter's Mark, actually. What is this? Source combat attributes increases delay. 2.5, 3.0. That's some poison damage. Yes, poison dagger. I can put this guy up with the delay. This guy. Hey, only 16 damage. Nice. But I still have four more cards that can just play out. Oh my god, we are all fear. We're fucked. They're all poison damage. Why? What's your damage? Five. Yours is six. Guess we're just gonna pump you out. 
but you know, that's a duplicate already, so... And the rock enters the fucking play. They still have one card left in there. That'll be one damage. Ten health. And <laughs> one shot the child. I can keep weakening them. Weaken the shit out of this one. Zatori has, has a duplicate out. But now this guy costs three, and we're done, actually. It's resolving battle now. We're dead. Uh, who's who's this? Poison Dagger Man? Try to kill this. And then Poison Dagger Man again. Oh, the other Poison Dagger Man. You can only attack this? Why? Sure. Oh my god. God. No! We forfeit. Uh, you fail to help the spider and the boy and they'll tell you to go away while, I keep, while they keep trying. Uh, that's alright. We still got some stuff for it. That was a very high garbage. Oh no! The fucking... The purity faction is coming. They are the ones attacking. Fucking sun. Beat the monologue of great importance. A beautiful song or a seductive lyric. A someone is trying to entrance you with their silver tongues. Resist their entrancing charms. Try to intimidate them instead. The Sviatakos are coming to just sing us into sexing them. Ah, look, they are uh, three hexes away, so they can actually do this. That's an easy fight, though. We can auto resolve that. Look at that blessing. Material gained. They are. They. They still try. They keep trying. Fuck off. God damn it. Child. Ch child, get out. The dark wood can get out. The shit can get out. Oh, they can keep that. They can eat it. Give them a little more wood of this. They got 20. Make it 30. Got 15 turns of wood. They just keep going back. Ooh, we could get netting. Which is poison damage. The target has less than maximum health. Damage is plus 60%. It's a good finisher. Give it that. Uh, gathering. Oh! Yes! Ooh, wait, maybe if I make them strong enough, I could get a healer. A healer would be extremely vital. One healer in each group is kinda needed. Maybe Dobrovoya can become a healer. Or maybe I could have just done the uh try to make it into a bandit again. <laughs> uh didn't work last time though. It didn't even offer me the bandit. I think I should have chanced it, and that would have given me a bandit. But I clearly didn't do it, so. Hell yeah, it would. And it's not snowing, they can quickly traverse this terrain. Oh shit, it's eating our shit, it's Theodore, it's his gambling addiction. He's back. Told you he's gonna come back. You wake at night to discover skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
tooth. Also, I'm so, so sorry for stealing your stuff. Wasn't my idea, I swear. Whose idea was it, Dan? Uh, I'm not allowed to say that directly. Demon laws. But I can tell you this story of mine. Kill it anyway. We can just end the story here. Fine, listen. I was playing a game of Kurve with a couple of mates, a Holic, a Pinconet, and a Tooth Fairy fell. Well, you likely do not know this, but them Tooth Fairies, they are real bullies. So me and Frex, the Holic, we decided to, you know, teach the bully a lesson, treat him the, the game, uh, beat him at the game, and all well and good. He cheated? Uh, cheat, is, cheat is such a mortal word. We demons, when us demon play, it is more uh, who cheats best. But yeah, we tried to cheat more, he would say, and together. Oh, together cheating. Only things went wrong. Well, they found you out and made you steal things. What? Mm, nah, two fairies are only good for pulling them teeth out. I got plenty. That was not the real issue. Fix. But I can't. The sh shark stunts to choke violently and puffs up. Well, you feel for him. But what does it all have to do with you? You see, I'm a pawn now. But those who play, I think you may be the target. Uh, so, even if you kill me, you'll likely just get jinxed by them a lot. And you can't say more. I can't say more. I'm already spilling more beans than I should. And only because he pissed me off that he chokes again. So you help me and I help you, I swear. Kill this thing. <laughs> that would be the Triglav way, though. Just kill it. Fucking nasty ass piece of shit. How exactly will this affect me? Are you gonna steal from me more? Yeah, and worse, depending on how the games go. They'll want to make you angry, swear a lot. Then they get points. So making you sick, stealing from you, making you trip, stepped on nail, all sorts. Anyway, can't say more. The demon law will burn my tongue. How can I sort this out? Well, only a demon can enter the curve game, and even then, only one with an invite. I could be two mates who can get you in. One's a schmuck. Schmuck. So he's a shy fella, and it will take some time, uh, some skill to seek him out. The other is a fucking Dola. We go with the Dola, obviously. It's a cat! Not a typical sort of to deal in games, but she knows things. So I'm sure she can get you in. Will you come with us? Wish I could, bound by laws, you see. And if I happen to do some, some do nasty shit to your friend before we sort this out, I'm truly sorry, and please don't kill me. Green fuck appears around the sh and he disappears. His face slightly panicked, but he leaves behind a map that has an inscription. Choose your friend, you will visit. Dola. Here. Wish I could, bind by laws. Oh yeah, choose your friend, we choose the Dola, we level up, we have fun. Oh, the two flying daggers. Double toss, this would have been great in the physical fight. What? We didn't have it. <laughs> Sit here. I could sit here, do the fucking research in the wood, but we got 15 rounds worth, so it's fine. Let's gather. So every two turns we can get 11 gold. Every two turns we can get 8 boners. So, what does. Ugh. What does benefit us more? What do we need? We need bones for this, and we need bones for that. We need metals for this. And wood. Leather for that. We're gonna get the bones. And this child needs to be put to work. Child labor. A lot of research. Research would be nice, but I would like to keep gathering. 20 to wood. We'll get Easy wood. But the child can help us. Oh! Ten meat every turn. Okay, that's that's good. I might also take fucking... What's his face? Out of research. Since this place doesn't go anywhere, this will stay like this. Actually... Uh, I could put him here, or keep him here for now. For one turn, he'll get us research. So we're gonna get bones. And then six with every two turns, that's good. That can actually sustain us. Good. So now we are bound by food. 24 turns. 
And we needed like four turns to come back. Or to come here, so... There's food here, too. We got a research done. That's nice. Oh, 72! I'm gonna get some veggie tables for us. Oh, protective word. Or, yeah, word. Oh, protection. One you're able to be reasonable. Think rationally or take cover from danger. And it's the child. Child goes into purple. Yes. Who's this? The gatherer? That's definitely going for luck. Because luck increases gathering, right? I don't know, it doesn't. It doesn't do shit. Pointless. Pointless. Lucky is fucking useless. Craftsman. Well, this is useless for her as well. Pointless. Uh, this guy is the, ga the, the crafter. Has enough strength for now. I don't think they need the fucking... Oh, they actually do need destiny. Because that's what the artifacts use. What would intelligence give? Research and crafting. Say no more. We need the bones. How many bones do we need? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I've never seen this before. Bay there. Is that an? Is it a B or an H? I think that should be an H, but I'm not sure. Hey there. You look like you're looking for love. No, everyone is. Oh, this is the dating game. That's also new. Introduced in the latest DSE. Two or three days ago. Actually, I think it was two days ago. My cat was seven. Don't have to answer now. But come and join us at the Thea Dating Game. An invitation will allow one lucky person entry into the love den. But they are sure to find the one. That's why I force is meddling in such things. Dating game. So you can get a fucking Nurgle, Nurgle Golem looking ass motherfucker. Some dude with a sword. Or... Some body horror creature. <laughs> nice! I want the body horror creature. Or the Nurgle Golem. I definitely don't want the dude. It's probably an elf too. Or maybe a vampire. Hmm? What is this about? A fucking tooth fairy. Disgusting creature. Squish his head. Bah! I go where the, it's business to be had. I double as the tooth fairy. But them folks these days, they see a demon flying into their child's bed and they tend to shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah, the love business is safer. Anyway, off I go. Get it, it's to find. Love to spread. May Lada bless your path. I accept to go into the love den. The dating game. As you recover from yet another oh, it's this fucker. and look around in the debris for useful resources, you spot an odd-looking man sitting behind a table. Surrounded by all sorts of strange contraptions, scrolls, files, and tools. <laughs> Attack! No, we, we, this is the guy who's... Who's gonna... Make us go fight Bear. And Bear is going to beat our bush in. You approach the man, and he looks up our at bush. you, puzzled. Then looks around for a bit, and mumbles, Damn mercs, one tremor and they've run off. What? I mean, how can I help you? Why is this so quiet, man? That's what he's doing here in the aftermath of a tremor with all this equipment. Who are you? I'm the alchemist, or so they call me. In mm. truth, alchemy is but one of my many talents. A renaissance scholar, that's what I am. Shortest possible account of what the fuck is happening here. I'm looking for the beginning of it all. The catalyst or the culprit, whatever I find. And I am close, but I need to take measurements from within a cave. And it seems occupied by bandits. A large cohort, uninterested in the fate of the world, you see. What needs to be done? Well, the way I see it, there are a few ways to deal with it. One, try to parley with a lot. An awful idea if you ask me, but who knows. Second's obvious, but not my cup of tea. Brute force. And then there's always other ways. Like I heard the scavengers who live nearby hate the bandits. The feud amongst rabble, hey? Perhaps use that. Hey, where are you? You need to get rid of the bandits from the cave or convince them to get the fuck out of there somehow. Yes, your grasp of the finer details is impressive. I should also say I tried asking them. 
Got myself robbed, beaten, and barely escaped with my life. Just so you know the sort you're dealing with, if you choose to help, that is. Yeah, I'll help. Light bringers. They're everywhere. And the song is over. Now we go into some different genres. Some, some shit. Some chill shit. Real chill shit. Let's be put the fucking voiceover cranky crank. Cranky crank. Mace leveled up. Oh, Mace gets some speed. Yes, speedy fucker. So how much how much shit do we need? I'm struggling with the controls. Let's put both of these things on the thing. So we need 105 bones. And they like decreased chance to die. And we need another 105. So we need 210 boners. Increased faith or herbs? Definitely herbs. Definitely herbs. Cool. 40% chance that it's trash. That's one thing that kind of irks me. I don't have masterwork buildings, but you can have trash buildings. It sucks. The building uh, overhaul mod gets rid of that, but it's still kind of no, overpowered. I'm not gonna use that. The building seems to have appeared close to your location. Sure. Ah, the Smith's Legacy. So the Smith's Legacy is also turned off by default, but I turned it back on because I don't understand why it would be turned off. So I turned it on because it's a one-off quest that quest uh, chain anyways. And it's not that big of a deal, so... And we might get a dwarf! <coughs> dwarf, dwarf! I dwarf, yeah. Every turn we get eight fucking bones. Oh my god, a spider! One big spitting spider. Stupid fuck. And we're gonna eat it. <clears throat> oh shit, okay, that's the main place. Main place can handle that. And then eat the bugs. The bug ass juice. I like some ass juice. It's spring! Time to fuck! I mean, increased health, sanity, and faith recovery. And we get some rain, some sunny day, nice. Some wind, some scorching, and some darkness. These, these are basically always here. Wind loses our sanity and faith. People don't like wind, I guess. Sunny day would be nice. Springage. And, guess what? Gathering of these is also 100%. And gathering of uh, these is also 100%. Not the grain. Grain is autumn and summer. They're starting in the summer. <laughs> Holy fuck, why would you get destiny? Okay, this is always perception. This uses mysticism. Yeah, it doesn't need destiny. Wits might be good, but I'm gonna give him the 1.5 strain. Get some life on his ass. I don't know what I want to research yet. I could research armor, actually. Just flat out armor. Is always good. It's just the tier 1 stuff. But that will help us with things. We could craft some, some armor. We need wood and. Well, I can't make heavy armor. I can't make medium armor. And I can't make light armor because I don't have anything but wood. Uh... Yeah, this is not a good place. Because ideally you want at least two. F uh, food sources, two different types of food sources. At least one wood so uh, fuel source, and then some kind of other type of material. I don't have that. I have a lot of food, but just wood. Sucks. Although I could build, you know, the wishing well and other garbage that we need stuff, but. Eh. Our children goes missing at night. No, not Dobrovoya! 
Cannot find them anywhere. Hunter on perception search for any tracks. Aslan's company and seems shifted. Question them. Give them time. No, search, search, search. You have so many fucking hunters, although only one in here. Not the Bravoya. My witch to be. They stole her. Stole my child. That's that's my child. Uh, uh, we need the child. I'm gonna go and fucking get the child back. I'm gonna get the child with fucking murderous intent. I'm gonna bring a bunch of meat so we don't die. We don't need wood because we're not going to settle down. Give us a child. Find your child sleeping peacefully under a tree by a small pond. There's a spot of Watnik sitting on a stone in the water, watching the youth pondering. Attack! Speak to Robotnik, ask why he's watching your child. Oh, hello there. I was merely mesmerized by the perfect peacefulness of this child's sleep. Alone, surrounded by so many friends, but not a care in the world. I'm feeling whimsical today, so I tell you what. Answer my riddle, and I'll bestow a blessing on the child, eh? Refuse and take it home. As oh my god, I, I didn't take my craftsperson. My, my yellow is bad. Why to refuse and take the child? But if if they give, if you can get a blessing, she might become a witch. Ugh. Oh, actually, it gives us fucking good auto resolve. You are clever, wonderful. Well, here it goes. He claps his hands three times and disappears in the pond. Thank him and accept the blessing for your child. Take them home. Flat out, five point five maximum health. Uh, Dobro warrior, meaty. Actually, I think, yeah, that's one, two. It was like two hexes apart, so the... The settlement did help. No, oh, wait, I have to tell them to gather and shit again. Blah, blah, blah. It's gonna go back into research. All right, how many bones do we have? Not nearly enough. Two hundred and ten. Nineteen turns left. We have forty-nine wood. Okay, we don't need more wood. Get the fuck out of the wood wood game. Get on the gold. Yeah, burn that. Yeah, good. It, it's just weighing us down. But he's gonna get some gold. Oh shit, someone got married! Come across a small hamlet that looks run down and has many old occult signs scattered around. Oh no, cannibals. Look, look at the behind. Look, look, what the fuck are those? You hear music and cheering from the barn. Oh, it's a fucking. Uh, Summer solstice bullshit, huh? Later they are celebrating. A stocky bald man who introduces himself as the chief comes out to greet you. Oh, guest blessed be Lada. You must come and join us. As you both be cursed, eh? Hell yeah. We need 25 value of food in there. Is, you know, we bring, we bring in food. A good thing. Ah, oh, fuck! Dance, drinking, and enjoy as you feel ill in the morning, but it wouldn't be a good wedding if you felt well. There's a lingering feeling of ill spirits here too, but it may not affect you. The hosts are overjoyed with your presence and they even give you a parting gift. Syphilis! 70% <laughs> so, decrease to faith, sanity, health. 45% decrease to gathering and crafting. And, and this is the away party. Oh my god, these are the gatherers. I need some movement points. For how long? Four turns? Okay, that's not bad. What is the 2.0? Because it's... 
It's a second level of illness. They got the fucking runs. Thank them. Oh, they give us a fucking carrier gold. Nice. 120%, a 20 flat increase carry limit. Okay, that's cool. And some nut tincture. Mmm, nutty. Oh, but we got fucking cursed! No! We got so per cursed. Holy shit. I'm destiny and mysticism. That's not that bad for these two, but... I'm uh, gonna have to get rid of that. And this introduces the witch. Witch hut walks over to you on its chicken foot and voice booms from within. I smell sweet darkness clutching your souls. And where there is demand, I bring supply. Pay, my dearies, and your curses shall be good. Agreed to pay. Dirty, pay up and let's do it. Pay for one curse, pay for more than one curse. 50 balance. And I have to give them... That's only for one? The value is 1260. It's just for one? Bitch. Well, I guess we're gonna pay up with our wood. I'm gonna give 30 over wood. Actually, we're gonna give most of our wood. And just gather that back. And then finish it off with some... Uh, some bones. Thank you. Thank you, witch. And then that should put the witch's hut somewhere on the map, right? There's the dating game. Where we can sex up a body horror creature. Yeah. That's what I like to do on my weekends. Find creatures of darkness and then date them. <laughs> oh shit, we need, we need fuel. Forgot. You yeah, get that. I'm gonna split up. Split into metal as well. Hear a scheme? This is the one! This is the one where we can sacrifice a child and get a ghost. I think this is the one. And we have a child. Ooh! Hear <laughs> a scheme coming from the Banya. Which is not the mine for any Hungarians out there. And not not a even not a witch. Which is Banya, for any Hungarians, but it's the Banya, which is basically the sauna, I think. Like, sauna-esque thing. I don't know. Anyways, it's not a mine, it's not an old woman. We run into the bathhouse. There you go, bathhouse. It's, it's like that. <laughs> you see a midget old man with an oversized head, wet streaky hair, and elongated arms. He seems busy cleaning the place. Take a closer loose, uh, look to determine what this thing is. Try to speak to it. Chase it, attack it. I don't remember what we need to do, but I, actually, it not it might not be the one. Man, I I, I got really excited because getting a ghost early on would be super cool because then they would start leveling up, right? And oh my god, they are so goddamn strong. The ghost, I would gladly trade a child away to get a ghost. It is clearly a bannock, a house demon of sorts, particularly fond of bathhouses. Of course, it's a special bathhouse demon. <laughs> if you allow it to stay, you will <clears throat> have to leave it water for bathing every third time the baths are used. Never disturb it. Otherwise, the bannock may get angry and drown someone. <coughs> what? Just kill it. In exchange, it will keep your bathhouse clean and safe and may even foretell the future. Sure. Future is nice. Allow the bannock to remain and try to keep up, keep out of its way when it occupies the baths. In return, you find the bathhouse always clean, fresh and filled with vitality. Some folk become healthier, some have their future foretold, and there's even a chance that other good demons are attracted here. Thank the demon. Get back to the village. Plus 1.1 max health to Mace! Hey, nice. Mace. Are we getting wood from here, or are we fucked? Like how, how long does it take for us? It takes for us three turns to get wood. Let's put it like this, so it's only two turns to get wood. Only while we get, you know, enough. Do not have to worry about that. Ooh, showing off would be nice. Because that would make her not completely useless in yellow fights. But line charge is so strong. Strength! This motherfucker is going to get... 
plus twos, honestly, doesn't matter. Oh wait, Expedition 1 traded most of their food away as well. Oh fuck, it's raining. That's okay, that's just visibility. Expedition 1 needs to sit up, stand up and... Oh, but they can't collect both wood and food at the same time. It's two turns, it's three turns. Okay, for two turns we're gonna sit here, gather a bunch of wood. And then we hop onto the food wagon. That's how the beginning of the game goes. Yes. Slow. Ruin of a town. Search the place. And tracks of all people in one direction. Oh, I'm going in one direction from this place. This prince. Uh, just search the place. I don't need to fucking... Oh, we get shitty sandstone. But, the more you linger, well, we linger here, the more the light wants to take a hold of us. Resist it. No, it's curses. Meh, meh, meh. Okay. I'm gonna put them there and gather gold and uh, meat. A sudden gust of wind heralds the coming of a dirt storm. Try to find shelter. Shelter from the dirt. Yay, Zadra got plus 1.1 crafting, but she's not a craftsperson. We've got some remains for you to loot. Get her to loot. Clothing and food? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and we have the fucking goat, too. Wait, he's got a bird. Oh, yeah, we started with the crow, of course. Also, this is a, a custom image. I have the, uh, the wolf and crow image mod. That makes them look better, because the vanilla crow and vanilla wolf images are fucking dumb looking. <laughs> it's a visual mod. 320 extra carry weight for the party. Ah. We've got some clothing, some 4.6 and a 5.2 for everything. 5.2 everything as well, but it's a little lighter. What do you have? 4.0. Get the 5.2. I'm gonna break this shit. We got some wood! I do camp in. Camp! Should get our fruit because fruit is not available at our settlement. If we can bring some fruit back, that's nice. And I don't care about iron at all. We have gold. How much... How much shit did we gather? 66. Oh, because I had to give away some shit for the curse removal. Of course. Just when you think you're, you're done, game throws some shit at you and tells you that no. You're gonna sit. Sit here. Keep collecting shit. God damn it. Ooh. Owl thing. Does he need the owl thing? He does not need it. He needs perception only. Look, he's happy! Oh, he's happy in the rain, so he's gonna get some perception. Although, that strain could be good for extra health and... Uh... Well, this also gives some health. And it's better for his attack. But he doesn't give carry weight. And I don't know what his carry weight is. I can't check it here. Sucks. And Bunnyman. Bunnyman could use some speed. Oh, actually, it's this guy who could use some speed. Bunnyman is fine. He's got five. Five is okay. But he doesn't need intelligence. He doesn't need destiny. I'm gonna get speed. <laughs> I'm gonna be super fast. You're gonna be so fast. Fast as fuck, boy. Also, I want to... This can provide food and a chance for pad. This can provide children bonuses. Which would be nice because I could set it up with I think with bones. 
to set it up to be uh, mysticism focused so we can get rich. The school would provide research. Uh, sure. Alright, we can make a wooden school. <laughs> the shittiest fucking thing. What is what is it? I barely ha I don't have enough food! Bra. 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 I could make a javelin. Actually I couldn't. How could I make a javelin? Game, please. Oh, I can actually make a javelin. Look at that. Iron and this bone. Make a pretty decent javelin. But I want to keep the bones for the building. I got 23 here and 60 something back in the other place. We're close for one close to one building. That's nice. Uh gathering, where are they? So they're getting a lot of veggies. Searching. We're not even cooking yet. So what I usually do is I I set up the things for infinite cooking. So we're gonna set up pickles for infinite because these are the uh, things we produce, right? Bread. Look at that beautiful bread. The eyes too. I usually from the equipment or for the from the resources I make. In the village, I just set it up for infinite things. And this, even though it makes pickles, since they are made out of different resources, this count as two different food sources, which is nice. Now we're gonna make it backwards. It's gonna be a sandwich. Enough said. It's a sandwich. It's just bread, bread, and just a slice of onion or some salad or some shit. That don't don't be fooled by that meat-looking thing. That's carrots. <laughs> it's a carrot. Thinly sliced carrots or some... Or yam or some shit. So we have four types plus two raw plus a third raw. That's already pretty good. Problem is, I can't use the meat in anything yet. Yeah, because the, uh, the beetle jelly is also constituted... Uh, it counts as meat. This is veggie. But so far that's good enough. There's only a lot of different types. You know, a lot of different types just makes your morale go up faster. But you only need one type of food to keep the morale where it's at. And it will still increase it by one, so it's, it's fine. It's just nice to mass produce a fuck ton of pickles and shit. It's fun. Go out venturing with like 200 barrels of pickles. Pickled anything, really. Because you can pickle anything. Now we're gonna have a bunch of shit just show up to the side. Which is fine. What the fuck is that? Oh, no, grape into oh my god, the light is coming. Oh, these guys? Oh shit. Oh fuck, they're actually hurting. They just came down here from from here. Just light bring. Although there's light bringers there too, which is a faction. Uh, faction. We don't know them yet though. Oh, level up. The Bravoya leveled up. Oh, she's gonna get intelligence. I want to make her into a healer at least. There's some someone. Drawing dagger is good. I think it uses yeah uses perception, so that's good. And, pff, yeah, plus two strength so she can actually carry items and, you know, armor and stuff later on. What do we have? 40 turns of food and 29 turns of whatever, so break camp and get back into bone gathering. Like that. Oh, look at that. Super speedy now. All, all spring, we're gonna just sit here and gather bones. Children's playground. And that also needs like 50 fucking bones. 53 bones. So I need 53 more bones. Oh wait, did I set up the... Uh, the school? 
schoolhouse. Oh, because they didn't have enough wood for the fucking schoolhouse. You need 105 wood. We have enough. Yeah. Basic schoolhouse. 1.2 research. Increase for everybody. No research. 0 0.1 extra research point per turns. I shouldn't even build this. This is fucking useless. I mean, I guess it increases research by 1.2, which is 12 extra speed, I think. Because this asshole has, what? 30, actually, no, 39. This would be 1.2 more. <laughs> hey, it puts him to 40, so 10 turns for one thingy. Uh, uh. Yeah. of meat production build me a house in five turns oh wait it has masterwork quality chance okay five percent chance yeah let's be just set i should have used the other place honestly Oh shit, what the fuck? An enormous bat is trying to nestle atop of your house. It has squeezed life- Oh, it squeezed itself half a side, but it is too large to go further. It looks perplexed, but also agitated. It is no bat, it must be a demon, like the smock. Try talking to it. Whatever it is, kill it. <laughs> Leave it be and hope for the bat now. What the fuck is this picture? Wisdom. I'm a smock. House smock. No smock. No. I'm a house demon. So you give me things, and I stay here and, uh, yes. Brightly a wisdom, the smoke is a night creature that feeds on spirit. Offer it some to leave you be. I did point out that it's way too big for a house demon. Smoke. Oh my god. That's horrifying looking. Oh my god, look at the fucking numbers on it. It's gonna harvard us. Or not. The harvard the dead. Well, I, my streak of mistress gone. No purpose, no fun. She was fun. Uh, no said likely many night people. Oh, no said like many night people. Us demons get to do naughty things. Me, I must be bloody and scary. Ah, oh, he doesn't like being bloody and scary. Attack the smoke. He says that being a night demon is better, for house demons are the lowliest of all. Tell him he should soar the skies proudly. Yeah, fuck off. No! No, no, no! Too big, too big! The creature stretches its wings and trashes about, damaging your house and much of what is within. Thick fog of pure darkness is unleashed and leaves you petrified, but the smoke does fly away. Aww. Thrashed our fucking sanity. Or faith. Yeah. Reflects your inner integrity. We wanna just fucking die. <laughs> Gave us research though, that's nice. It smoked us. Haha! <laughs> Man, I don't remember this fucking... Oh, it's wind, great. I don't remember this... The early turns taking this long. Alright, who's low on sanity? It's probably the other place. Oh my god, the hut. Oh my god, the child! No oh, child, why? And the fucking archer, they wanna kill themselves. Quick! Let's make a ritual. Spiritual healing. Uh. Yeah, so you can make it out of wood, any type of wood, or dried wood specifically. Look at that, Look at that dried wood, baby. I don't want to use it up though. We just use five shit bones, because we can gather that. All right, people, we need some uh, ritualistic sacrifice. Uh, that's not fast enough. We need, we need faster ritualist. Fuck. Keep going to the wrong goddamn menu. Child, you're good at ritualistic sacrifice. Oh, you're not. Not good at all. You, you must be good at it. 
You can survive two turns, right? Perfect. Child! I can become a healer. They have, they have extreme intelligence. They have 5.5 intelligence. Let's go. What else do they have that it's high? Nothing. If I chance this, they will become a fucking wretch or just die. They don't have enough strength for Swordsman. Or Warrior. Yeah, strive for intelligence. Path to healer is not physically challenging, yet not many have the wisdom or persistence to succeed. Like, she doesn't have wisdom, she has intelligence. Whoops. But it says intelligence. What the fuck? Yes! Child is used no more. They are a healer. Yay, double boy is a healer now. That's amazing. Because now they are better at the... Uh, what's my card? Ritual. Look at that, 18. Actually, they're not better at all. Have a wand. On the house. 1.5, 1.4, sure. A bone wand with iron. It's got destiny, destiny, and destiny. So it's not good for her. She needs artifacts. What are her skills? So she's a master healer, can do group healing and decreases the chance of death passively. Protective word, yes. And completely safe pill. Here, this is refresh your breath. 100% poison free, approved by professional herbalists. Disclaimer for a full list of possible side effects, consult your local health practitioner. Never. What? Never exceed the recommended dose. Holy fuck. I could barely fucking read that. I mean, I could go... Uh, could have just gone closer, but... Uh, I like to suffer. Is she also beautiful? No. She's got a weapon. She's got a zap wand. She, she's, she's okay. She's got outmaneuver, but that's not going to be useful at all. It's a life leech. Oh no, it's a poison. I think if it was a life leech, it would be like an outline, but like an empty inside. That's the life leech. It's a ranged poison damage. Just gives them a candy and he's like, oh, that's safe. Here, take, uh, take this. It's cyanide. <laughs> the enemy just fucking dies. And spiritual healing is going to fix our moon. Our moon. Yay! Ooh. Spiritual succeed. Look at that. It restored so many things. I think she completely... No, not, not her. Her. These are the same fucking people. She got completely healed, I think, uh, when she uh, turned into a child. Uh, healer, not a child. Herbs and basic medicine. Me, me, me. Alright, let's go back to crafting, or gathering, I guess. Sit on... Sit on wood. So I quickly gather up a bunch, so we don't need to care about that. 33, 34... 114, okay, we can make the witch hut. But nothing else. You know what, we're gonna do that. Break camp, move our assholes back. Then I'm gonna take more people out and do the Theodore stuff, then I clean up this rat nest, do the light bringer. I don't like the light bringer thing right next to my fucking Biolobrod. <laughs> Biolobrod, what the fuck is that name? Already a better game than we cheer. You don't have a lot of perception, but a new skill is a new skill, and it's a not bad skill. Throwing daggers is pretty okay. You can also do the Smith's Legacy. Or just sit in here and craft up a bunch of food. Also, crafted food is lighter than raw food. I think meats are the, the heaviest. The berries are the lightest. I think there's that. Expedition 1. Yay! Rejoication! 
Anyone with no clothing? There, some clothes. They rejoicationed, so now we can craft up one of these buildings. I'd like the witch heart to be crafted up. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just be my crafts person. Well, which one is the crafts person? This one? Yeah, Eva. Eva. I'm gonna craft up this fucking witch's heart. Five percent chance. Six turns, ten turns. Five turns. Yeah, five turns. It's good. Fuck. Ninety-five gathering. I craft up the witch heart. It's gonna allow us to not really do much, but after that we're gonna do some questing and stuff. Maybe explore the place more. Kill these fucking bees. Some food. Oh, it's this guy. The old man finds his way into your village. He's clearly in a pain, in pain, and complains of a backache. He looks at your homes. I see you are building a home for yourself, good. But you youngsters, some of us don't know how to build properly. He's only fought down in a blink of an eye. Mark my words, it's a shame to see much effort just wasted. If you're so smart, it's going to teach you how to do it better. Ah, why should I waste my old breath on you? Hey, my back aches. I need to get to a healer. I have no time to spare. But we have a healer that I can offer to help with his back in exchange for some wisdom. Oh, yes, yes, that could be nice. Well, I'll be damned to be under to, uh, to the underworld, as good as new. Mr. Anks, I'll tell you what's what and how's how. That's not how you use a hammer. And, and, and do you call this a proper foundation? Pfft. Bah, back in my day, we used our feces for a hammer and our piss as foundation. That your continues for quite a while, but you are indeed learning new things. Great, my fucking gatherer got more crafting and my... My warrior got a bunch of crafting. Thank you. Cut the fuck out. Why did these people learn? Why didn't... I guess my craftsperson was actually building something. Not just fucking about on the fields. Ma'am. Oh look, they leveled up. To get more crafting. Look at that, they get 2.5. 2. 2.5. 2. Your makes more toughness on you. Damn, these turns take a long time. What the fuck? I know we are scorching. Uh, smart person getting more smarts. What does the... What does she actually... Okay, this goes up with intelligence. Protection doesn't level up with anything outside of itself and this is not going to get better okay so intelligence is good for her but it's nice just two more turns and we get our witch's hood It's gonna be night time when we venture out, which is not good because we can't see shit, but I wanna do something. Hey what? Why don't we have it the witch's hut yet? Oh we already have the witch's hut. Huh. Forest edge, small hut on a chicken leg. It provides bonus to rituals, attribute, and some extra depending on resources used for construction. One to two herbs. Yay! So we should have herbs. Herbs! We have herbs. Very nice herbs. The herbs can be used for food as well. Oh, and I can make this. Grilled meat with herbs. Since herbs are also a resource we just passively make, this can be added to the infinite pile. Although I'm not going to make this much, because the herbs are a good thing to just have. The herbs can be used here as well, so guess what? Grochovka! Oh, some bean soup! Best. Oh, bean soup. I fucking love bean soup! 
Oh, I also love bean stew. Oh my god, beans are so good. I fucking love beans. And bean bear! Dwarf moonshine. If you ain't a dwarf, you best think twice before you drink it. Bean bear. <laughs> Look at that. An extra three types of food just added to the pile. Yes, but for now we're still going to eat raw shit. Can we craft anything interesting quickly before we head out? Can we make medium armor? No. Oh, we can. Shit or th thingy bones and shit stone. 18. Ooh, legendary. Elemental. Wow, 18.9 physical. Very heavy. I don't mean. I don't want to use up my shadow bone, though. Suck my ass. Ooh. I could not make the shadows. Ooh. 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 Ah, still not good enough. Golden jabbers. Super slow. A soldier. Oh, these are the uh, true damage and life leech. Look at that. They have the cool shit. 1x true damage. Or 1.4 normal damage. It would be 40% weaker, but it would be true damage, which goes through 150% uh, if the target has armor. can be used to bring down nasty shit. Alright. Music. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to use my shadow bone, me. I should research the artifacts, actually. Or shields. Do I have a research point? No. Alright, you know what? Get the fuck out of here and make, make some progress. So, I'm gonna take... Who's the bestest archer? Oh, it's Bogumisla. I'm gonna take the gathering person. I'm gonna take Mace. Oh, the Mace is not as strong as fucking Ozetia. But Mace is our main. Has more tanking. I'm gonna take the healer as well, because these guys have a... Oh no, they have a school of wood. They don't have a uh the Hebrew's thought because everybody's thought needs bone Oh fuck. Shit. So children playground. Set that up as well. Increase children's mysticism and shit. 126. 7. 1.3 for everything, or 0.6 for everything, plus 27% for these. I think this would sh still be better. Children usually come with two fucking mysticism and destiny. So 20, 30% is not going to increase that by much. Definitely not by point, point 0.7. So normal would be better. We don't have anything better. Yes, gold, but gold is less. 1.1, get out of here. Yeah, Shadow One is super good early on. But we don't got it. We don't got any. We don't got enough. Collect. Collect the crap ton of wood. It didn't give these guys any wood. Take 20. Good. And I can venture out into the world. Let's also do a save.
Let's stop the Smith's legacy. Come across an impressive stone-built smithy, standing proudly in the middle of nowhere. You'd say you passed here, by here before and did not spot it. Outside stands a young dwar shaven dwarf. Inside you see the outline of an older, bulkier fellow, hammering away at an anvil. Also spot a large pile of rocks by the entrance. Attack! Look at that, they would eat us. Accept the job. <laughs> Let's just skip the story. Approach and speak. Ah, visitors, splendid. I am Bodan, master of uh, Master Smith. Say, I haven't seen a couple of wee girls hiding somewhere, or maybe doing some mischief. Nah. Ah well. How would you feel about getting hired for to find them? Hey. Sure. Looking for dwarven girls? Ah, uh, they're more Rusakas. Although I always say Anya has my chin, she does, and Eva has that strong arm and Smith as any smith should have. In any case, they be two human-looking lasses. But I bet ye they went to the caves, missed the swamp, or that blighted lake over there. So we had children with a Rusaka? It isn't what you call conventional, sure, but you know how rare dwarf eyes are. Well, I don't. Not till you lived as long as me. In any case, yes, I am married to me, Ariana. Well, I mean, she was tricked into it by ba and bound by demon law at first. But then we made it work. It's past now. But that daughter is me greatest treasure. You mean your daughter's... What? And her wee ones too. Oh. But her daughter is me greatest... Oh, these are the granddaughters. Uh, of course. Aren't you going to look? Uh, my leg is partially turned to stone. Because I'm a dwarf, of course. And we turn to stone. Like I said, I am not as sprightly as I look. Me and my wife, he, we met back in the awakening days, long, long ago. I am slowly turning back to the stone I was carved from, nature. I didn't need my grandbaby safe. I reward you well. He's turning back into stone, man. He lived for thousands of years. It was in the awakening days, man. How come they are not using guns yet? What the fuck? Agree to look. You see his legs and they're partly turned to stone. Oh yeah, we agree to look. So, <clears throat> they could be here, or they could be there. Or they could be fucking dead! The misty swamps, would that be on the swamplands? No. Never gives the third location. It's always the caves or the, or the pond. Well, it's, it's this way, so... Look at these fucking light bringers. Oh, the light bringers are there. Oh, there's the pond. So let's go to the pond first, I guess. Oh, look, Iron. A veteran warrior visits your village and offers his services as a trainer. I can teach those who are willing, but I am not cheap. Or, if one of you is strong enough to show me your physical prowess, I may teach you a trick or two for free. So I'm always looking for talent. One strained. Pfft, yeah. Oh look, it's Mace. Mace just beats this shit alone. Yes, I see your talent, let us begin. Warrior stays with you for a time and puts you through rigorous training before moving on. Plus one strength and perception, plus 2.2 health. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, master. Cool. Look at all this shit. Ooh, plus one herb. Herb. Strained? Sure, plus the strain so you can wear heavier armor later on. This guy's gonna get out maneuver. He's not useless in a yellow fight. Because we don't have good yellow fighters yet. We need like old people and more crafters and gatherers, but old people really are good. Oh, skeletons! What? Find the lake where Bowden's granddaughters may be hiding. Search. Oh, there they are. They hiding. See several women dancing in a circle by the lake. There is a child sitting inside the circle, staring up in awe. The sweet melody of their song draws you in. Osaka's song is beautiful, but luckily it doesn't affect females as much. Walk up to them. Females, it says. What the fuck? Female. They have the female tag. Walk to the girls and two of them... Turn to you, startled. Third one continues her song and dance unperturbed. 
One of the two speaks up. Hey, you're not supposed to disturb us. Do we have to stop now? She asks if the other... She asks the other. Shrugs and looks to the third, who is still ignoring the whole thing. I see they are Eva and Anya, Bowden's granddaughters. Oh crap, Grandpa sent you? Tell him to leave us be. We're exploring our roots, finding our true identity. You can't stop us, you know. It is none of your business, but he seemed old and worried. It would probably be nice to go tell him they are okay. Yeah, well, both mom and him, they treat us like babies. All the time. They're like so old and grumpy. Just don't get us. Anya's sister nods vigorously. Third Rusaka frowns and whispers something to the two sisters. Anya turns to you again. Ah, oh, we have to go now. Let's finish this dance properly, like. You best go. What are you doing here? And does it have to do anything with the child in the middle? Well, we met this nice demon lady here and she said that because we're hot breeds, we need to prove that we can be Rusakas. Or was you no better than a befuddler bastard? Whatever that means. So I have to try to make this child into one of us. Beat them up and take them back to Borden. Fuck you! Uh, why the mother hasn't... Ask why the mother hasn't done this herself. How 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 do you make it one of you? That's for soccer business, you know. Why didn't your mother do this? Ah, um, mom, more of a dwarf wife than Rusaka, you know. She's like the dwarven heritage teaches us to respect life and work with light, fear things, and the demon world is dark and dangerous and seductive. She never even took us to the lake. Lame. My sister nods vigorously again, but looks a bit unsure, if expect as if expecting her granddad or mom to pop out at any minute to scold her. Her mom is a dwarf. Oh, it's not. We know that it's not. What the fuck? Holy shit, these are... Hi. Your dad's sick. Go back. Granddad, actually. Yeah, she's got some muscle on her. Wow. She's the one with the, uh, the smith's arm. <laughs> Follow the nature, step away and... Let them do... Beat them up. Or perception. You see that Eva, the quiet sister, looks unsure about what is happening. Pick her directly and ask what the fuck she wants. Or it would be greater to go back to Bodan and do the right things the right way. That's gonna be easy. She's alone and she's light sick. She's weakened by the light and we got like... Super... Super cool yellows. These two. For that. 29, 34... They can take this. I think... Yeah, he's got out maneuver too. And take this. Yeah. Oh shit, do you accept? Victory with serious injuries, that's fine, it's yellow. You're not gonna die from this. Right? Not gonna die from this? Yeah. Oh look, serious injury, my dickhole. This time even the quiet sister speaks up. I suppose grandpa would feel really hurt. His honor is already wounded. We can do this another time. I thank you for reminding us. We'll go back now. Tugs at her sister. Look at the other sister she follows. I nods and follows the sister. Third Rosaka looks rather perplexed at all of this, but she shrugs and also starts to leave. The child remains confused and about to cry. Sister look, the sisters look ashamed to the, of themselves. Come on, kid, I take you back to your mama before Grandpa whoops our asses for this. Damn, we didn't get anything. This mission legacy. No oh, skeletons. One. Unliving corpse. This is what my chosen turned into when they died. At that one time. Kill it. Ooh, we got one mushroom out of his body. Devil across the plains, you hear a screeching sound from near a patch of shrubbery. What the hell? Come closer to see a small furry creature with yellow eyes and sharp teeth. But he torn up and trapped in some orc meat snares. If orcs left the snares, they may get angry at your meddling. Kill it. Help it. Orcs don't live on this island. Fuck him. Help it. Get it free of the snares, but its sons are clearly infected with some nasty poisons. Its wounds. Toxic green stuff is spreading fast and the creature doesn't even cry out anymore. This could be contagious. Skilled medics and wise men try to heal it. Your best to help this creature. So these would be the uh, men, the, the veil challenges. So only skills would be allowed. No weapons. These are the outlined ones. But you can have it on two difficulty or one difficulty. Obviously, we're gonna do it with one difficulty and kill it because it's close enough to the camp. 
Managed to cure the poison and patch up the wounds, and the creature perks up within minutes. Gosh, that was a close one. Oh, thank you, my dears. I thank you profoundly. Now, to read tradition to offer a pint service is a house demon, for I am a shakshak. But alas, I am otherwise engaged. Still, that sold are a bruise on one's ego. So here, directions to a lair where valuable gifts await for your rescue. Now, so long, friends. And with that, the shakshak disappears. And gave us one permanent intelligence increase to this one. And that's pretty fucking good. Her murder medicine is pretty strong, man. Thank you. Anybody level up? Oh, more protecting ward or word. Kind of, kind of would have liked something better, but this asshole. More luck or more crafting? Fuck. Neither of them are kind of useful. What does luck do again? Keep forgetting. It's just XP points and chance for chance rolls in growing up events. He's already grown. Look at him. He's a grown baby man. XP. How, how did this multiplier XP? Normal mode. 110%. Eh. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Interesting. Whatever. Thank you, Huck. Because the other thing is kind of useless on him. Crafting. I'm the girls wanted to become true to stalkers by drowning a child. Uh, I didn't know they were drowning a child. Convince them otherwise. Got some nasty fucking holes in his face. I heard running little children just like their grandma. Oh, uh, well. I'll be glad to know I am. To knock some sense into them bastards. There'll be no Rusaka business under my roof. Right here, your reward is promised. Ask if perhaps someone should teach them about their heritage. Just maybe in a safer environment. What? Nice way to be a water demon, eh? There ain't one. The grandma drowned three of our wee ones before I thought some sense into her. I swore to my daughter, Deuce. Deuce on will stay away from their rubbish. I need to be done with the silliness. Learn to live like oddities we are. That is all. That is that. Now, excuse me. I need to knock some sense into them. Right. Holy fuck! Holy shit! Where did that? Where did the stuff go? It went into the village. No, the village. It's like super cool shit. Ooh, that's for a crafter. Two-handed ox. Ox. A quartz bottle battle axe. 2.3 damage. Yes. She will quartz battle axe it up. A bunch of fucking armor. Yeah, look at her. Oh, that's also a crafting tool. Whoops. Hey, shield. Got two crafting tools. I got a wooden spear. If anybody wants a wooden spear, do you want a wooden spear? Wooden spear? Wooden spear is for strength. Wooden spear is not going to be used. Um, crafting though. Who's got good crafting? This one has 11 crafting, but she's a gatherer. Um, this guy has... 8 crafting, 8.6, 20 obviously she's gonna get the best one, 28% or 31% increase, hmm, 8 point something, 8.6, 8.5, it's a crafting thing now, spear, one and it's spear, weaker but it has the first strike, It's a little faster, too. I really don't like clubs. Okay! Crafting! So, what does... They still have enough food and, and wood, so they can just keep on going. 
What is that thing? Oh, that's the that's the valuables, right? Okay, I guess we can also go to the. Oh shit! So if you enjoy some time together, perhaps your friends, perhaps more. But they were vigilant that slightly over enthusiastic Stark is spotted nearby, and the sure as death a child is brought to you soon after. Stark is like, oh shit, they're having sex. Here, have a child. We got Botley Boga. You see, they come with two stats. So yeah, normal playground would be better. Lizard Man and Eva got some uh, loving, and they got some physical blessing. No STDs, no STIs. Joyce, close. Get a child. Hopefully it's not in the expedition team. Good. The expedition team can just keep moving on. They're about to set up camp. A group of goblin travelers approaches, asking for shelter. Welcome them to your camp. And get deadly toxin. Great. Minus four health every turn for three turns. We can survive that, right? Everybody has more than fucking... Child. Child, no. Child might die. Thanks. Goblins sit by the fire and share stories with you. The past around the stream. Weed. So you see visions of... Wait, why did the fucking newborn take weed? Realize, however, that the stuff they shed was pretty strong if you're ready. Yeah. Child, 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 you stupid fuck. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, child. Have a wand before you die. Oh, you got a protective word already. Hmm. 36 turns. Growing up. Dying. Toxin with an with an E. It's four damage. Oh, that sucks. Before you die, help us help us with some research, huh? <laughs> Nothing I can do about that, I think. Can I build a building though? Maybe out of wood. Maybe a wishing well. Would be nice. A warehouse that would increase gathering. Although we don't really need that. A dwelling would be nice. Better morale. Although the crop field would be nice as well. Could make a golden crop field. Ooh. Go for the wishing well. Let's make a wooden wishing well. Shitty. Wood and wishing will. One random tier one resource every turn. Yay. Ooh, spiritual healing increase. This would be better. It's tier one resource. Oh, well, you're gonna make it out of shit wood. We got some gold, though. I could get some special... Nah. I wanna keep the gold for the, uh... The, the food patch. Cabbage patch. One resource per turn. Actually, you're a crafter as well. Got one turn. Child is the first to die. No, child! One of her people has been acting oddly over the last few days. They seem weak, they sweat more. Sometimes you catch them speaking to themselves. Zerka's wisdom. Observe them further to try and determine what is wrong. They seem suspicious. Give them a good beating just in case. Miss Beale, try to cure them. Shit. Try your best to cure a friend and think you did it. They start acting normal again and even feel stronger for it. Ooh, plus five health and plus one strength for the crafter. Nice. Good, I guess. As the child still is dying. 
probably go for the plus twos with this guy, I think. Destiny, intelligence, wisdom, and perception are needed. And strength as well. Basically, almost everything. And this one is a soldier. That's strength. All the strength. We got the uh, well done. These two can go back in together. A bunch of meat. Oh, there's some wood. Find a small abandoned house. Most of it has collapsed. You see signs that someone tried to move the debris. But they failed. Move the debris yourself, because you're strong. Okay. Get what you can. Much of the queen has rotted away, so are salvageable. Maybe it was a bandit hideout, maybe not. Ooh. It's a bone battle axe. Scrap that. Sandstone javelin. Ooh. A uh, master crafted wooden spear. Ooh. Crafting tool, gold and silver. Whoops, suppressed C. Crafting tool, 1.9 crafting. We got a cool spear. Sandstone javelin. It's not as good as the fucking Bombo. God damn it. And it's a lot slower. Look at that. 9.5 turn instead of 3.0. Unless I'm interpreting it wrongly. That's 9 point delay. Position and queue during a challenge based on wits, phase, and selected skill. Yeah. But a higher diverse. Yeah. This is 3.0 plus 2.6. Still just 5.6. This is fucking 9. This is 12.7. All together. Oh yeah, because he's got 3.2. This is 6.2. Plus the 2.6, I guess. I don't, I don't know how that works. I auto-resolve. I don't care. Ruins of Ancient Human Cemetery. Cemetery is quite an empty, but there's a chest. An unburied body clutching the chest. Take the stash and bury the corpse. Try to bury the corpse, but clearly you have offended its spirit somehow. It feels anger reaching from beyond and cursing you. Oh shit, physical curse. Oh, that's bad. I need the witch again. Where's the witch? Wait, why is the smith's legacy still up? Do we look at that? I need curse removal. I think there's a curse removal we can unlock. But I'd rather find the witch. Gather gets more fucking crafting. Oh, fuck off, dude. Stupid crafting. That's some faith. Summon shit. Summon a boat. Summon a pet. Vision, there's a moon bridge. Ah, curse removal. It was one level of a random curse from all characters in the group. Yeah. Ah, I need. So we need research. Kill some bees. Clean them. Oh, dragon bee, nice. I guess we can look at this, but they're already not there. I mean, even the smithy's thing is gone. Oh, well, we can clean this up. Oh, quartz. Hey, what the fuck? Did my stream die? Oh, my stream died. And restarted. Yeah, internet's been absolute fucking shit nowadays. What can you do? What can you do, eh? Plus two intelligence, yes sir, thank you sir. The smith is like- Ah, fuck! 
Got some quartz. Quartz is the improved version of the stone. Oh shit, it's the Excalibur guy. See a man clad in worn-out armor with insignia unknown to these lands. He's standing by a rock, clearly deep in thought, as he doesn't see your approach. When you look closer, see he's looking at a sword half embedded in the rock. Yes. Attack the man! No, approach the man. What are you doing, man? And jumps, started by a voice. He grabs the hilt of the sword, but does not draw it. Takes a few steps back and speaks. How dare you disturb the king's moment of peace? I mean, I am sorry. Old habits. I know king, not anymore. But you, my friends, look like, well, potentially that is me, I mean. Could maybe be called knights, right? Knights, king? What the fuck? My name is Arathor. I've traveled here from afar in the west, led by an ancient guest from my forefathers. I was led to believe that this sword will help me to build my kingdom and save us from the darkness. Alas, I lost all of my knights just getting here, and now that I am in face with the sword, those blasted demons cursed me with weakness, unable to fill my, fulfill my destiny. Ah, uh, just kill him and take the sword, lol. So is this sword powerful enough to defeat the darkness? Sword is my test, my burden and my fate. It will not serve any other. My time is running out, I must return to my kingdom soon, all shall be lost. Ah, uh, the sword is for, my, for me to claim, but as king I can appoint you my knights. You could claim it in my stead. Huh? You can pull it out for me and then give it to me. Haha, <laughs> lol, haha. <laughs> Magic binding the weapon in stone will permit it, I think. You become my knights. Sure, but I don't know much about knights. Knights! Oh well, a knight is a brave warrior sworn to serve their king and god. Uphold the law. Is it a man? Oh, I'm um, sorry, well, I suppose in my kingdom we only appoint men, but desperate, ta desperate times, haha. <laughs> So, it's the person who is righteous and honorable. Now, I solemnly swear I will release you from my service once the deed I ask is done. And hold the sword in my hand. Do you accept? Attack! Accept, but how do you know we are good for this? Wonderful. I knew fate would provide my salvation. It's only three. We, we can easily do that. They don't know if your hearts are pure enough. But your agreement to serve my purpose, with no promises of a reward, proves that you are indeed the ones I seek. Now by the power of a rightfully appointed Knight of Cumroth, I pronounce you Knights of Cumroth. I command you to take the sword for me. Do my bidding, pussy. Alright, easy. I look together and pull the sword out from the stone. It looks like an ordinary sword, except it seems undamaged from its unusual sheath. When you hold it in your hands, Harry, you feel a surge of strange power coursing through your veins, and it feels really good. Keep it. <laughs> I'll give it to Arathor. It's like a tier 2 or 3 sword. I don't care. King drops down on one knee and he accepts, as he accepts the sword for you. From you. He speaks and his voice becomes more forceful and clear than before. Guess what? It's Proteus from Tower of Time, and he's here to kill us. Well done, my knights. You have passed the test of loyalty and purity of soul, for this sword is known to lead its keepers astray. It's a cursed sword. The ancient bloodline runs in my veins that, uh, that one that has in the past both failed and succeeded in the very test. It has always been my fate to hold this blade and see what I am made of. And since I do not heed the urge to cleave you where you stand, I am hopeful that I too have passed. I realize you from your oaths, release you from your oaths, kings of Cumroth. May the fates bring you strength and prosperity. I also give you this map, it will lead you to a bridge where you will be tasked with a test. And if you pass, a treasure will reveal itself to you. I meant to find it myself, but it seems fate had other plans, so go forth and seek it out. What will he do now? I will travel back to my lands, I will try to reclaim my kingdom and kill the darkness. I wish I could tell you more, but it seems other lands are in peril. It's a knight's duty to protect and defend. Plus I am also king, and I must first... Right the wrongs of my own people. Your great destiny within you. Hope you will succeed in your own quest one day. Farewell. He bows and teleports away with the sword. Magic. We got nothing. And it wasted our turn. Go in the cave. I may be hiding. Yeah, but they're not here. The cave was abandoned. No recent activity. Hidden chamber with some loot, yes. Ooh, a topaz artifact and its trash quality. Hmm. Hmm. Topaz, an enchanted boo-boo. Enchanted boo-boo. Did a child not die? Is the child alive? Child. 
child. Oh, the child lives. And it's growing so fast. The child needs that fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, they don't have it yet. need <laughs> research points. The child is researching, however, so that's good. Why can't we see anything, man? Uh, ooh, ooh, granite malachite. Dude, what? Well, this could have been a better place, huh? Well, oh, there's malachite. We could, although I think that's the basic region. Right. And a knife falls over Theo and restless souls of the Nen seek the living in envy and anger. You can almost feel the approaching wave of these infernal wraiths seeking to burden your souls. But this night, a vacant guest is seen in the shadows. A lapiduk, spirit catcher, is a looking creature resembling an overgrown toad with long claws, yellow warts, and a long row of razor sharp teeth. Actually, a humble servant of the Vales. In old days, tasked with the hunting of favorite souls and misbehaved wraiths. But now, hopelessly overfed, they are busy with this task of devouring evil spirits. I'm gonna go and devour, devour an evil spirit myself. Aha! Bruh. That cat's an evil spirit. Ugh. Leave it. Look, it gives us some spiritual blessing. Sleep well and Morovit touches us. Nice. I like being touched by Morovit. Bruh. Oh! Got coal. Oh yeah, coal is random tier 1 resource. Hold on, we don't want to burn the coal. Don't burn coal. Okay, they're not burning anything new. They're not eating... Ooh, don't eat the seaweed either. That's... Hey. Can the wishing well give us random tier 1 food as well? All food is tier 1, I think, so... Ah! Huh. Interesting. Although that's not very useful. Just one seaweed randomly just sped out from the well. But I guess if it has to be, then it has to be, right? Stupid child. Got a research point. Malachite is the normal stuff. So, I don't know if I... Oh, fuck! I don't know if I want to... <clears throat> do that. I would like to find granite. Or... Oh wait, Darkwood is the wild and not Elmenwood. Uh... And dried wood. Oh, ancient wood is the good one, not dried wood. What? Dried wood is just a shit one. So dark wood should be a thing. Uh, blah. blah blah blah. That's okay. Let's keep going around. Explorationing. What is this thing? Oh, it's a cemetery. Oh no! So you enter the burial ground, you feel the earth shift and bony, bony hands coming out of the ground. Oh no. Unliving defy the lore of nature. Find a way to destroy them. Unliving abomination mocks the laws of nature. You should try to relieve their eternal suffering. Look, I can do a tier 4 spirit stuff. Oh wait, I can bind it to my surface? <gasps> or I can have an easier attack than before. I don't think we have enough purple. You don't have any purple in our party. 
And we have enough purple here, but we don't have purple to attack with anyways. We cannot bind these fucking things. And it's tier 4. Just kill him. Yay! The bones are dead. They give us a elven mallet. It's a two-handed hammer. Two X. Uh, Elven wood and silver. Uh, that's nice. Bats and bats. Wait, I can get the uh, curse removal. Or, alternatively, I can say fuck you, curse removal, and I can get the um, crop field. Make a golden crop field. Because I'm cool like that. We got some bling in our crop fields, you know? You know what I mean? Do I even have enough gold? Oh, easy. 15 gold. Boom, look at that. One, two vegetables and a seasonal pat. 1.4% chance that we just get a random pat of that season. Oh, at the start of each season. 1.4% chance that we get a pat per season. That is fucking trash. That is super bad. Look at that. That's cute, though. It's a giant potato. No, it's an onion. But still, it's a potato. I could use this. I don't think these do anything but, you know, increase or lower the... Uh... Actually, they don't do anything. Let's just put fucking grains, grains in there. What would the rock do? Same thing. What would the... Uh... Do... Same thing. Oh, let's make a... Wait, it only gives vegetables. That's it. That's all it does. Ah, uh, crop field is shit. Oh, well, we're gonna have a golden crop field. It's a gro golden field of... of grains and and the even the fences are made of gold it's like it's wealth you just flex and hell yeah flex the shit out of this feet especially if she makes it out into a eight percent chance for masterwork hell yeah shiny golden fences i'm gonna shoot some cats though Super bra. Shot some cats. Oh shit! More speed. Do I dare more speed? Now let's give her, give her purple. Tankiness. Tankiness is the name of the game. The island goes all the way down here. Clear this shit out. Give some research. Can't take this for granted. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Bears! Young bears. You just murder some bears. Ooh, monster bones. Those are heavy. And the fucking fur is heavy too. Should do this Lightbringer shit, actually. It's summer. We get plus 0.5 XP each turn. We get the same thing. As spring. What the fuck? They're following us. Get away from us. Oh my god. Four types of fucking food source. Gem. Metal. Stone close by. If there's wood on these tiles, any of these tiles, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. Because we can't pack this up and move it. I think. Can we? Please tell me I can. Please tell me I can just 
dismantle the sh kill kill blubber and then take the fucking please please and that's why you explore the entire fucking island of your choosing i should have just went to the goblin island and just made some buildings there because it's totally viable you've done it before i think uh, don't get rid of the idol! Ring. That sucks. Big time. Ooh, child! No! It doesn't get any... Ooh, this is powder. Mass lullaby. <coughs> Targets one closest enemy and up to two enemies standing to their left and right. Increased delay of the character on the battlefield, so they will act slower. Uh, Master Healer it just increases or the decrease of death chance by 1%. Uh, child, child, child. We're gonna give you fucking wisdom then. You'll become a craftsperson. I guess. Well, what can you do? Man, that's this is such a good place. Cause I could put it on the iron, immediately get the seaweed and everything. I could put in the malachite. Still get three types of food. Later on, even the seaweed, and I would get the granite, the malachite, the iron. Man, I mean, I won't. Oh, my fucking god! I'm losing my shit. And there's another food source. I want to kill myself. Ooh. Sedge. Sedge is what they call me. Super Sedge. <laughs> the fuck are these things doing here? Get away. This is my land. Leave. <laughs> Quoting fucking black and white because I'm losing my shit. Ah! Look at this. If I put it on a malachite, one, two, three, three. So after upgrades, I could have one, two, three, four, five different food sources. There's the wood. And look at that. Uh, apart from the bone, every fucking resource have a tier one. Sure, they are the medium. Actually, this is the wild resource, the granite. The... Unbelievable. And only iron and wood are the uh, tier zeros. The others are the higher tier. Granite and malachite. Shit! Oh, my cat did exactly that. Hold on.
I also some exceptionally stinky pooters. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Damn. Exceptionally stinky. But uh, what can you do? What can you do? Cat cats will do their thing and humans will do it too. Look, these ones have already five uh, movement's points. This one's only four. They are getting assailed by all sorts of nasty shit. That's why we need to destroy all the fucking surrounding spawners. But I'm just upset that I... Oh my god, Dryad Word. Hear the sound of a fire in the torchlight? And see torchlight up ahead. Like a small smettlement. Oh, it's the... It's the people. I think. Fucking... Oh shit! Now that one is an actual faction. Oh boy. Volk curse. Eh? Okay, they have a dude. I'm let you hear terrible cries from one of them. You see a child sitting outside covering their ears. What the hell is going on? Sorry, it's Uncle Tobias again. He's our hunter, but he's really weird. He lost his bunny again. Ah, it's the bunny man! He cries and shouts all day. He told me to watch him. I'm really sick of it. Can you help him stop or leave? Tell him to stop or leave. We all had enough. He attacked my da. He thought that the stupid bunny was at our place. Oh, I'll speak. I'll... I'll find the bunny. Thank you. Small, like this. White and fluffy, like scarrots, and got lost. I found this odd drawing of a tree. The man is in no state to accompany you, so I, I think I just skipped the meat of this. How oh, do you recognize this tree? Pass it on your way here, mark it on your map, and leave. Inspect your snares set up in fields. You discover a large rat trying to wiggle free. Oh shit, it's, is this a new red DLC? The eyes are greenish and it has spores on its fur. Leave it. It's nasty. Kill it. Because it's nastier. Examine the rat. Closer inspection. You see the creature is no rat, but more likely a spore. A benevolent, good-natured spirit of fertility and prosperity. Often takes on the form of a snake, rat, or frog. All seen as servants of witches and as such. Thus it can frequently be mistaken as an evil spirit. A spore <coughs> can actually turn nasty and create poisonous clouds when it feels threatened. Release it. You approach the trap carefully and gently dismantle it. Right, I'm gonna let you go, Raphael. Don't go on monsters on us now, okay? Creature looks terrifying and poisonous spores appear on its skin, puffing out clouds of green smoke. The thing runs away. There's little more to do now. Leave. Ah. The child with. Oh my god, minus six for four turns. The child. Why did the child get spored? Why was the child out hunting? The child is learning to be a craftsperson, not a fucking hunter. Child. Child's gonna die. Ooh, two flying daggers? Or better out maneuvering? Better Hopping. Absolute fucking trash, though. Wait, I should do the walkers. Whoops. Oh, the bunny man is right there, too. This is so upsetting. Look at this beautiful fucking... Ah. Sadness grips at my heart. <laughs> oh no, they're attacking. Look at these ugly things walking around. Yeah. Child is going to die! I can't do anything about it. Oh, look! I got a boar. But a child's got zero. <laughs> no, child. Maybe the boar can... Uh, boar can give plus one movement points. You can summon a boar. Who wants to summon a boar? You want to summon a boar. Oh, the child's gonna fucking die. This way. Oh, shit. This is the faction place. Goodbye, child. Oh shit, the unliving. They come. Oh, well. 
Group of folk take them by light, scourge approach you. Light bringers as they are known. They do not speak, they seek only to bring you into their commune with their light mind. Face them with your spirit. That's gonna be difficult. Oh no! The human. An enlightened human. Oh no! <laughs> we can't win this! They're purple! We don't have purple! Holy shit. Oh my god, energy disturb is going to fuck us. They have like so much. Oh my god, poison dust. Vill drain, they can heal themselves. 38, what kind of powers do you have? Toughness, light connection. Yeah, that's nothing. They have fucking demon. This creature is a demon. What? And it fucks us with energy to disturb. Look at that. Oh my god. We, sh we uh. We're fucking dead. Here. Or fit. Ah! It's okay, it barely hurt. Run! No, now they hate us! Black cat spotted you rummaging through the barn, and it is caught. It runs off. It seems to want you to follow it. Black cats are most commonly familiar with witches, but there are several house demons to pro protective demons who can take up this form. Like a dola. There's a guardian spirit or a trasher who can protect your family's trashing. Your farm's trashing and bring good fortune. Follow the cat. Follow the cat. Outside leads you into a patch of brambles where you're pushed by a witch. Luckily, she's very old and crooked. Kill her! Kill this witch! Oh my god, she's got a bunch of shit. Ah! Ah! Eat the old witch and you find some herbs as well as an old book about rituals. Nice! Scaled Codex, that's nice. Random Blast. Random Blast 2. Eat Ice Spike. Uh huh. Nice, 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 nice. Mass Lullaby. Mm. Look at that, an Amber Wand. Yeah. Alright, you're okay. Just, just... Oh, Bunny Man got 3.0 rituals. Crazy creature. Trader Kevin approaches. Hey there, fellow travelers, I am Monero, a traveling salesman like no other. I have for you a rare treat. Robes weaved from the most delicate spider silk. Spider silk? Yeah, in times of old, our one could harvest silk. Really, and weave the most wonderful clothes from it. Alas, the long term effect on the darkness changed our dear spiders, and now their silk is too rare to harvest reliably. I found a stash of it, it had, and had it crafted into these lovely robes. Please note that you will not be able to salvage the silk. Weaving technique is such that it can only be used once. Such exotic stock, I can assure you that you will get <clears throat> at least a strong robe, perhaps even rare if you're lucky. What do you mean? Just let me look at your stock. Don't just roll me a rare or a common. I'll match the design for you once you pay me. I don't know if I know, but take it or leave it. I have my clients. I doubt it. Like what? He found a stock. But he'll only match the design for me once we pay him. How much does he want for a robe? 3500 Get out of here. What a shitty spider sick robe. Spider sick was like, oh, are those herbs? Oh, these need to die. Spider sick was like a tier 2 resource in tier 1. We need to fucking leave. We are not supposed to be here. The child leveled up before he dies. Protection for everything, protection for just two stew. But I want this one to become some... It's dead. It's dead next turn. It's dead. Oh yes. All the fucking eyes. Child is dead. We are, di we are gonna die if we stay here. Because our spirit is going to get sucked. Sucked out. Running. I'm gonna go to the bunny man. Fucking dead. Child is dead. Can you not make goddamn healers fucking. No. 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 Oh, so you're not doing anything. What the fuck? Research. Up the child with the research before the child dies. Oh no, the light is coming for the child. Ah! 
Oh, we need to. Oh my god, the skeletons. Oh no. Striga bats and shit. They're easy. Striga bat. Something. Oh my god, a bunch of skeletons. Need to go back. When a young girl crying out for help notices you and looks up with hope. Leave. <laughs> what the hell is happening? I'm sorry. I'm looking for the bad man who killed my family. Mama was crying babies. I mean, babies and my sisters too, but they were all killed and sliced and burned after. I don't even have bodies to mourn. Man went that way, but I'm too small to kill them myself. Will you help me, please? Offer her a place by your side instead. Yes, revenge. Triglave. Good, I'll show you where they are. I'll follow you to see revenge done. It's not real, though. I think this child is an asshole. Oh. Child. Oh my god, my fucking blubber died. They weren't even on zero he health. What the fuck? Fucking child died. That that was kind of obvious, but Blubber died. Oh my god, now we have to revive Blubber. Uh, fuckhead Blubber. And this is better because it uses... It's better for yellows, the leather artifact. But the other one... For red and yellow, it uses Ice Spike with Intelligence. Who has a lot of Intelligence? Oh, she has a lot of Intelligence. And it can use Random Blast, but that's fucking mysticism, and she don't have mysticism. Fucking... Trash ass piece of shit, and I don't have the research done for the fucking revival of the sh stupid fucking... Adds one revive token to Guardian Demon or revives it if it's dead. Yeah, we need to replace idol thing. Fuck. Fucking Guardian. Bruh. But this is where you replace the material. They are too short of fucking bone. Great. Too short. I guess you're gonna remake it out of wood. I just wanna revive the fucking thing. Hey, uh... You could do this. Ten turns. Because I think it's gonna be level zero again, so... I really need that fucking healer's heart. Someone is still dying, what the fuck? Who's low health? Holy shit. Don't you dare. Start dying off, I'm ending it. Hunter! Yeah, if we hunt, we get better stuff. Than just killing him. Resist the entrancing thing. Yes. Oh, blessings. Who's one arrow again? Oh, that's the uh, spider set guy. We don't care about him. But let's see how this looks now. Oh, no. Wait, Dobrovoya died? On turn 74? What? They didn't die. They grew up. The boy is here. What? What the fuck, game? That's a lie. They didn't die as a child. They died. <laughs> Blubber. This motherfucker grew up to be a healer. This is fucking fake. Fake, I tell you. <laughs> Stupid shit. Bugged. <laughs> Look at that onslaught. Spiders and undead men. Fucking Utopia. Oh my god, we're fucking losing. Everybody's dying. You know why it's bad that if everybody dies? Because getting you people takes long. <laughs> From 8 health they died. They weren't even mortally wounded. 
Suck my wiener. These fuckers need to go back and just sit. Welcome them to the camp. Great, this fucking goblins poisoned us again. Well, now the spiders will finish off the rest of the fucking team. Great. I think this is game over because I, I refuse to take this. Find shelter because that gives us crafting bonus. Great. Guaranteed crafting bonus increase. All of them died. Our village is empty. Which means if you don't get back, you lose it. I think. Oh. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I, I can rebuild it now. I mean, I can't because I don't have the seed, but I mean, if I could rebuild it, I, yeah. <laughs> I lost. This is done by four people. I mean, these four are okay. Give the creature. It's a fucking. It's another. It's a lapidoc. It's, it's, it helps us. Good. Fuck off. He disappeared. It's gone. It's fucking gone. <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh. I mean, we got a decent getter. We got a decent tanky motherfucker for physical. With decent damage as well. We got a good archer. <laughs> I had like three and I have one. <laughs> it's good for uh, physical and uh, will as well. He's got outmaneuver for will and he's got his bow. I can't remove the physical curse though anymore because I lost my fucking village. I cannot do. Can I do. I, I can do rituals. Oh, but I didn't get the, uh, the curse removal upgrade. I got the. Fucking totem replace. And then everybody died. <laughs> Let's just look at the dating game, I guess. Uh, this is game over, dude. Game over, man. Game over. That was very fucking unlucky. I, this never happened. I don't know what went wrong. They suddenly just kind of... Shracked everybody. It just ended. It's done. That's how it goes, though, sometimes. I mean, yeah. It's, it's kind of part of the game. You think you're doing okay, but then suddenly, nah. You're far behind the curve a little bit and you're fucked. <laughs> I was too slow. I started in the fucking autumn for some stupid reason. I started in the summer. I think that would have made all the difference, because... Made everything slower in the winter. Uh, welcome to the dating game. Once you enter, there will be three candidates hidden behind the screen. You will ask them a th series of questions and then choose your partner. Oh, what person we had there? So if you come here with a group, they'll choose the lucky one randomly. This quest does not have a, the catchment area, but they can have the rest of the group stand nearby and they will not join the event. Ah, I, I understand. You enter with just one character, unless you stand on the same hex. So... Gonna grab Mace. Mace is gonna grab some food, so she doesn't die. And Mace is going to... Go into the party dating game. Enter! Enter the enchanted room filled with sweet scents and pleasant things. You sit on a tall stool and see a heart shaped screen next to you. On the screen, you see vague silhouettes of three persons. People! Her, per, why? You also not decide what sort of person it will try to woo. 
We get a mental blessing, it's already worth it, because she's actually she's not low. Random female, random male, random other. Let's woo. This is I, I really hope this is the female, right? Who's female? Although these might just be random pictures and not even in the fucking thing. It would be cool to get a buddy horror looking ass thing. Seek? You will ask a series of three questions. After each, you will choose whose answer you like best. The tiebreaker question will resolve any uncertainties. How would you try to impress me? Well, folk call me old fashioned by lady. My lady, but I'd cook a hearty meal for us. I would not need to impress you. It is you who will be impressed at the very sight of my prowess and vigor. Ooh. I would show him my wares, of course. <laughs> Thank them for the answers. Question two. Who you take on first date? Who you take me? I believe strongly in the importance of one's home and hearth. I would therefore insist you take me to your own home so you may see if you can instead indeed provide for my hefty means. Oh, that's definitely this guy. He needs food. Although he's the hearty meal. Number two. I'm keen on outdoor activities, sports and other... Oh, this is an elf. Adversarial pursuits. So will you join me and dare to shed some sweat and blood? It's a vampire! It's a vampire! <laughs> Bones tell me we are already a match made by the Lady Lada. So I would ask what you desire. Try to fulfill this wish. Ooh. Show me your wares and fulfill my wish. Ooh. It's the merchant from Resident Evil. Thank them. Question 3. If you could. What will you change about yourself? Believe in tradition stalwart hard, and so I should not like to change anything at all. Ugh. Embrace change at every step. I would like to become stronger. I would like to eat the hearts of more enemies. Some tell me I should try to also invite more reflection into my heart. So maybe try that. Well, jealous skirts have said I should hide my pretty face so as not to offend the gods. So maybe I should do that? Three. It's a person! Fuck! Great choice, to be sure. But this is a Thea dating game, so you see, you will now share your fate with your new, new found, newly found love. Eat everlasting happiness or, well, death. I guess one dies, the other dies as well. Room changes. Oh my god, and I clicked my chosen. It's like this fucking dies, and the chosen dies. Uh -huh. Room changes, and you are thrown into an otherworldly arena, not knowing what challenge you will face. Still, the two of you must face it. What the fuck? Ugh! Human scavenger witch. It's a fucking. It's a shit tier witch. Maybe a scavenger, but her inner beauty shines through the worn exterior. In light of Lada herself, one criticizes gentle heart. Young witch is searching for love, but also seeks to better the hearts of others. She's got the fucking trash attack because she's a scavenger. She's got the fucking summon on living grad because it's the trash tier fucking witch skill. She's got poison dust. Got a weapon, which is a book. Good, good. Weakness, detached spirit, random blast two. Decent, decent. Okay. And she's got a pet dove that gives her a bunch of extra shit, which is nice, nice. No armor though. Ugh. She's naked. She's attractive, beautiful, and a magic user. Red train wield the weaves of magic. Which is with Triglove as well. Because she joined us. Great, now we have to fight shit. It's a physical attack, that's easy. My character can single that. Succeed and both of you are able to leave. And everybody else gets luck. Everybody gets luck. She gets 0.3 less luck for some reason. What's the music fucking stop? But that's okay, because I don't think I want to continue this, because... <laughs> Half of my group just fucking got snapped. The snappening. It's annoying, though, because it's, it's basically like starting from the, the very beginning, right? Because now we... And I can't even build a village anymore, so I guess I could... Actually, I can't. I can't do the achievement, because I did build a village. It got destroyed, but I technically built a village at some point, so... Achievement goes to shit. Which is great, I guess. Oh, now they're called Expedition 2. So... Uh, 
that's the music of this game, huh? <laughs> Nothing. It's rain. <laughs> so basically now I have to do the wandering motherfucking thing. Which puts us at a very disadvantage at this point. Uh, no buildings or nothing, so now we have to be scavengers. And it's even harder to get people now. What the fuck am I gonna do? I think I'm just gonna... Shove myself. Oh, fuck off, you weird ass motherfucking creature. Give us some permanent upgrade, but I don't care about that. I'm gonna shove ourselves into some dangerous face. Scout. Dash. Yeah, everybody's cool now. Oh, look at that. Now it's giving me cool shit. Scaled artifact. Look at that. Tier 2. <sighs> Man. What in the fuck? Oh, she's got a book. A leather codex. Armor. She got a cat. Pet dove. Made of diamonds and eggs. Wow. We could break it. But it's sweet, sweet thing. Yeah, this is definitely better. Actually, it's not better for her. She needs something with intelligence. What the fuck is intelligence on it? I think the two-handed artifact is the one with the intelligence on it. Because this is also just, yeah, wisdom and destiny. Better for her. Damn. Getting shafted. You know, this is only wisdom, right? But only destiny. So this wisdom and destiny. Three... Three, two. It's all three. Actually, better. Although I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm ending this. Uh, I'm giving up. Giving up on this life. I fucked up. I split them too early. There is a reason why you sit in the fucking village for a hundred turns. Nights are long and lonely, and the two true lovers who find each other during the dating game waste no time. But the ever vigilant and slightly ordinary stalk is the nearby assurance that the child is brought to you soon after. Where is the child? Ah, Bronia. Bronia! Child is a half breed, so they may carry very streets when they look more human. Half breed, but. I mean, it's a witch, but it's a human as well. Oh my god! Mm. Okay! You know what? Never mind. This might not be lost. <laughs> we might be scavengers now, but... Gah! She's a fucking baby witch! Wait, she's an apprentice warrior, but she has... Oh my god, look at this fucking mysticism. Destiny. Summon unliving grad. Off-breed. Different people of theory intermingle. Results can vary. For some, the child will be pure, become purely one of, of one race. But for humans, I'm gonna be a human, carrying only traits of the other parents. Magic user, and she got weakness. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And she leveled up. She got the intelligent. Eh? Does she need intelligence? She doesn't do intelligence with anything. Oh, actually, uh, trash attack is intelligence. <laughs> and poison dust is intelligence. Yeah, she can use intelligence. Okay, we might not be done yet. So what the fuck do we do? I've never done a no village run. So I'm gonna go back to Theodore. Because we can collect some wood and some materials. Because we can still craft. We just don't get the bonuses from buildings. No bonuses from... Oh my god. So children are going to... Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? An armed group. A starving wolf. And some random fucks. Die. So this will become more difficult now. But you know what? Let's see how long we can take this. Yes. Although, like five and a half hours, so I kind of want to stop at some point. Oh my god, never mind, the game is just giving us kids. Which is good and bad at the same time, because they they don't have a safe haven. Bogomislav and Dobrovona, Dobrovoya, who's supposed to be dead, made Petr. Rejoice. Patter. What do you have, Patter? Oh, that is Bronia. Bronia is gonna get a mustercrafted wooden spear. 
Of course you won't. <clears throat> Better we'll get that. Try to cox him into, you know, being a... Someone. Because now we got warrior, healer, scavenger witch. Who knows what this will become. Look at that shit, though. A hunter. And a gatherer. We don't have a craftsperson, so maybe Patter will just be on a craftsperson. Kill this rat nest. Oh, they had a weird creature, too. Nice. Also, now we don't have uh, herbs coming in constantly, so we have to destroy this fucking Lightbringer city to be able to peacefully gather herbs. The longer this lives, the higher level it will be. This natural progression is a thing. A secluded old hut that has been seen better days. Those are jar rattling in the wind and cobwebs and shrubbery have covered the most of the walls. Sense of presence. Observe. Friends faint fleeting, you see a lot of anger and confusion. It's a spirit. Go inside. Experience and step into the house, the doors and shutters slam shut, leaving you in darkness. The noise comes from above. As you light the torches, you see a ladder leading up to a small landing. Consider the spirit. Our spirit is clearly haunted. Our house is haunted. Try to cleanse it by facing the spirits on the ground. Or by ritual by this ritual may be dangerous. You can also attempt to find whatever binds the ghost and destroy it. Of course you could just try to force your way out too. That's pretty high. We do have a witch now, but they're badly equipped. Look. Oh fuck. You begin the search, creaking gets louder, menacing with every step. Like a rocking chair. A few times it's fair to see a figure clad in black doors. On the bottom floor, by the doors and shutters, you find the remains of some poor soul we're trying to get out. Shit. <clears throat> get up the ladder. Oh no, the children are going to die from low faith. They're going to just kill themselves. In the dim light of your torch, you see a wooden rocking chair moving on its own. The air here is cold and heavy. Well, it's only four now. The missing presence you felt throughout the house is much stronger here. It's pushing you away from the chair. Kill it! Oh no! What is that? Running like a crazy person. One tit hanging out. Your efforts to defeat this cursed house proved futile. We tried, it kept failing. Felt like you had been stuck here for weeks. Finally, you feel smoke. You start choking badly and you feel your spirit assaulted as you see that the house is on fire here. Burn, burn, you cursed house. Moment of clarity, you are able to run out. Whoever burned the house saved your skins. You did not stay to take the parries. You only got illness, that's nothing. You're fine. Only for like four turns, it's fine. Good. Oh shit, no! <laughs> Petter is going to kill himself. He's going to give up on life. He's losing faith. I was born yesterday. And I wanna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, completely safe pill. It's pretty strong. This guy gets more gathering, I guess. And she gets more trash attack. <laughs> Treasure deck. Better talk poison dust. Intelligence only. Your intelligence is pretty good. Brute force would only be good for yellows. This does life leech. But oh, it's poison. Poison dust. And we get a an advancement. Look at that. We need to go into crafting now. Because we need to craft. To be able to craft things from bone. Spiritual and mental challenges, dealing area of effect damage. Let's have basic skill. Two skills, two skill. Don't use bones in these, like fully bone. We get gold and bone artifacts. Uh, maybe artifact. Artifact. Armagird artifact. What is that? A ruin? Investigate. Shrubbery. Ancient ruins. These are old and decrepit. Likely already looted many times over, but you never know what hidden secrets you may yet uncover. 
South area seems less traversed, but also unstable. South. Oh, I got some shit. Is better going to die? You don't have... Well, actually, we have a healer. Like, 6% less chance of dying. Hell oh, yeah. Look at that, this one is leveling up. Ooh, destiny! Yeah, we got a lot of wood, not a lot of food. So we're gonna sit here, collect meat and go. Mm -hmm. Look at all the corpses, though. This one is lies. That's it. That's all. It kind of shows you when they died, what their thing was, how they looked like, and their name. It's not even true in the case of the first guy. Mm. Unless we had this, another one with the same picture and name. But we didn't. This is what we have to do. This is our life now. We gather. Not gonna gather iron though. I'm gonna research instead. Because if we craft golden things, I could craft crafting tools, it would be useless. What can I make out of gold? I should just put myself next to bones. The bones would be much better. Yeah, can't even use gold in anything. I can make crafting tools, but we don't need crafting tools. We lost all our shit when the village went, because those fucking spiders just ran through it when it was empty. It was like one turn away, that, that's the most annoying thing. Like, a hundred turns worth of collecting shit is gone. And then the game is like, no, please, don't give up yet, here's fucking magician people, two of them, haha. -ha. Fuck you. They can become so strong, though. If Petter dies, we... we is it. Petter is still in the balance. Fucking rats. Petter is still alive and we're getting gold. Oh, the gold is useless. Look, they have a fucking holic. I'm gonna actually put myself next to the, uh... A violent storm, many trees lie fallen. You see a swarm of crows circling one such tree, and when you get closer, you realize the nest has also fallen. Birds are trying to move what they can to another tree. Nests of giant crows may hide treasures. Loot them while they're alive. Sneak up on them, and then kill them. Sneak up on them and kill them. Good, elven wood and amber. Ugh. We're gonna, we're gonna farm, farm the bones instead. Although we don't have enough food. Ah, we gotta get food. What the fuck? Uh, gatherer. It's more gathering. Bronia. Nice lullaby, better weakness. And Petter, look, Petter is getting shit. Yes, get perception. Good, good. You'll become a gatherer instead. You don't actually need crafts people. Oh no, Yadviga as well. Now we're gonna get people. Oh no, Mace is cheating on uh, cheating on the scavenger bitch with Bogomislav. I mean, we can't really, can't really be, you know, choosing shit. I'm gonna give her wisdom because she needs that as well, right? Intelligence. Weakness needs wisdom only. Okay, if she's not getting wisdom, she's getting destiny. Yeah, detached spirit. Or I could give her intelligence, which would make trash attack and poison dust better. No. Destiny. It was fucking cheating. Oh no, these are tier 3. What are those even? Fucking bunch of holics. Alcoholics. <laughs> Got a new child though. Tiny little Jadwiga. Too weak to carry a fucking spear. Or javelins. 
fucking useless. They have reliable argument. Oh no. They know trade. Get some iron, I guess. You know, you fucking useless. Oh, look at all this shit. Just crawling. I have like more kids in my group than adults. Ugh. Why did they come? Spiders first. Spitting spider. Weirdos are going to attack. Getting the research done though. Holy fuck, spinning spiders, spinning spiders, but these are the big ones and small ones. The spider queen. Bunch of holics, we might die here. Oh, okay. Clarissa is getting hurt, but Clarissa is tanky. <clears throat> I could perform a ritual to uh, heal Pat here, but honestly, I don't know. Fucking this guy. Oh no, it's it's gonna fucking save Petter. Oh, actually it doesn't affect Faith. This mysticism and destiny. It's his destiny to die. Ooh, Saltair. Strong magic user can just demolish shit. Oh look, the child is leveling up. The child is getting uh, wits. The child is gonna become a... I don't know, something. Uh, what do we want to craft? Can we craft these out of bones? No. Only at level 3. Can we make golden thingy swords? Bone gold axe. I don't want shields though. Wood shield. I could get dark wood. It's right there. Move there. And also get the uh, terrain artifact. Sit on steel, we can get a bunch of shit. Oh, someone is dying now. What a shame. Who's dying? I have to look at the uh, character list that I never look at. This guy has low spirit or faith. Oh, Patrick is dying because he's got no fucking faith. He's like, I'm, I'm dying, my spirit is draining away, man. What the fuck? I want Patrick to die. So I can just end this. I'm, I'm deliberately not doing the, uh... Yes! Not doing the spirit restoration. Yes! Patrick died. Good. I, st I still have low faith alert. Still dying. Bogomislav is dying. Slowly, I guess. And it's gonna turn autumn as well. But we keep fighting on. Oh look, we got Lethe Amira. Bogomislav and Mace made another child. They're just prolific. Oh my fucking god! Look at this murderous thing! I think mysticism is more needed for witches. And this is going to turn her into a fucking scoundrel. I want to give her mysticism. I want to see what she grows up into. If she grows up into something cool, like an actual full-fledged, pure-blooded witch, I might not give up. How long does she take, though? Oh yeah, more strength. How long is she a child? Brony! How long are you going to take? Nine more turns. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that. I'm gonna power through this. We have food. We have wood. We got, we got the power. Hear howling of wolves, likely out on the pro prowl. Send firm and kill him. Some hungry wolves. Look at that. Plus one perception to Yadviga, the newcomer. 
Book of Islam got some gathering. Look at that. It's autumn now. Enemies are fa more aggressive during the day. Crafting is faster. I'm gonna get assaulted by daylight as well. Maybe I should have turned on that stealth thing so that my uh, village would still exist. You know, <laughs> gathering tools. You can make shadow gathering tools. They are pretty good. Look at that. Oh, rituals. Group carry multiplier. Okay. And don't burn. Don't burn that. Although, if we don't burn that. If we can burn the uh, dried wood. It's the worst of the three here. Get the fucking morale. Ash cancer. That armed people. I think those are Osaka's though. Holy shit. Okay, so world progression on normal. It cranks up real fast. Maybe I'm the one playing this game slowly. Oops. You might be dead now. Hello again. Have you felt it? Tingling disturbance? No? Yes. It's wonderful. Yes. Divine senses. Aha, bye. Um. Sure, strained. Strained. Strong child. This child will break bones. Waiting for the craft or the gathering materials. Which that stops the sale pitch. Just help us pay for one curse. Only have one curse guy, so. Sell that because it's garbage. Sell that because it's garbage. Sell that because it's garbage. Good. The physical curse. Yeah, he's healthier now. Not rid of all the garbage bomb, but I mean, it's ubiquitous. And it's garbage, and we can get better stuff. Okay, when is that goddamn crafting done? 21 turns! Are you fucking kidding me? You used to be good with crafting, even though you're a fucking gatherer. Yeah, three turns. Get the fuck out of here, child. Go into the fields. Gather gold. Actually, go with the other child. Fucking 20 turns. Don't leave crafting to kids. They suck. Ooh. Yeah, wisdom. Come on! Grow up already! Ah, oh, better on living rat? Or a double toss? You don't have perception. Just go with the on living rat. Oh, he did something. Oh, a bit of research. Cool. Yes! Mysticism, chance, and female. Child was born with the mark of a witch. Path is dark and dangerous. Do it. Do it. Enter the gray world and seek the destiny within. Yes! Oh no, wait. Oh no, it's not a real witch. It's a shit witch. Oh no, it's a shit witch. It's a young witch, not a full witch. All these youth in order to join the dark path of witchery, but not without paying great price for the dark arts. Minus one wisdom, minus 2.5 max health. Those are fine. It's less sanity. She got a curse on her. Actually, I think that these are the actual witch. You just reset the fucking thing. Yeah, I think this is the decent witch. You got throw pebbles. That's the ultimate weapon of a five-year-old. That's her new skill. Throw pebbles. She didn't get fucking spirit on the leash, just pebbles. Thus she failed. She got the bad roll. She didn't become a wretch. 
or anything. She's super strong. Who has the wand? Actually, better. Book would be perfect for her. Yeah. Can I have the She is good for for, for the spiritual stuff. It's good for physical. It's She's kind of okay for yellow, but not really. She's got weird shit, though. She's good for yellows. Although, actually, she's not. She needs something with intelligence as an attack. She... I mean, she has the... this, but it's only for yellows. Ugh! This child is... garbage. For physical, this child is garbage too. Spear. They have perception, I guess. And this one has good wisdom. So they are good for yellow. Bad for purple. Got nothing. Nah. I'm not feeling this one. Someone is still struggling with fucking. Oh, Clarissa is dying of uh, faith. Mace has low faith. And Bogomislav and Zadra is medium. I don't know. I don't know, man. I hate this. We fucked up. We fucked up big time. Attack. Uh, just melt it down. Fight. Kill the crows. Diamond! I at least want to do feel those thing. Or do the Lightbringer stuff. I'm the child though. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I was already upset that I didn't uh, explore the land before settling down. I immediately settled down as I saw something decent-ish, but it turned out it was shit because I realized we only had one crafting material and this was shit wood. Look at this one. It's so much better. And even up here. Look at that one. Even this would have been better than this. Because sure, a lot of food source, but that only makes our uh, morale go up high uh, faster. But look at this. This would have been better. Wood and scaled leather. Scaled leather is pretty nice as well. To have... So this could have been pretty decent, better than this. And this would have been the ultimate thing. Because malachite, granite, iron, it's kind of shit, but still, it's there. Wood, dried wood is close by, and all this food. And even if I just put it here, to get the granite, the dried wood, the malachite, and only one food source, later on that could get the, uh, the grain. Yeah, because three. Three is probably the max. Or maybe four is the max, I think. I don't know. But all we need to do is just send someone out with high gathering. Just gather up a bunch of food. Go back. That later on wouldn't have been a problem. But I put ourselves here. Look, it's like shit can come from here, here, here. This would have been so much better. I was upset. And look what happened. You come to a mount. Just like what the alchemist said, happened? the camp is well- ah! The bandits beat you badly, and for- As you escape, the alchemist- You again? Die! Ah! The bandits beat you badly- The dead. The red mountain bandits. The great Khans killed us. Oh no, the child. The wife. The witch, the other child. Hey, look, she leveled up. Get straight and attack again. You again? Die! Ah. The bandits beat you badly. My dog. Force you to. F they took my dog. <laughs> oh, 
no one died. You again? Die! Oh, there's Captain Bear. Bear is like, the I killed you. Oh, they are taking my clones. We don't have food either. Oh, now we're fucked. It's windy too. Sanity and faith is going down. <laughs> Come on, just die. Yay. Now that you're chosen to die without the divine bond, you will no longer have any power or influence over the world, as your reign will end. Thankfully, you have one more chance to remain in the game. Call upon the spirit of the cosmic tree itself, as for the soul of your chosen to be returned to you. But that shouldn't be allowed. I'm not with the death god. Remember, the price is high and it will get higher every time you abuse your divine power. You gave it two lives to return the one. Yes. I'm sorry. Ah! Wait, you're chosen. Ah! She's... Oh, I couldn't even read that. But she's back, baby. And she's ready to rumble. Look at that. She's ready for the final push. I see. Is she camping? Stop camping. You again? Die! Ah. The bandits beat you badly. Oh As she tried. Wonder. Dang it. Cannot pay. Chosen and their people are dead. You no longer hold any influence over the lands of the living. Look at this wretch getting struck by lightning. Or the light, actually. Already looks like some undead monstrosity. They were dancing on the fields when the fields kind of just broke away. Damn, show score. Oh, the golden heavy armor. Most powerful character. Nobody. I didn't even have a character that looked like this. <laughs> I got five god points. Hey, I can un unlock that uh, something. Okay. Anyways, that's... Five god points, because this was five day. So, happy five day, and uh, I'll, I'll definitely play more Thea 2 now that I started. I enjoyed it. Fucking six hours went by like nothing! Uh, so, yeah, so... By the way, I got the faster leveling mod. Lighter jewelry. Better equipped house demon. One-handed wands. And path visuals. And the building overhaul I'm not using because... Eh. It's not, not my cup of tea. I like how I can publish these. Like, I can just publish it as my own. Like, haha, I made this! That would be fucked up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm probably gonna do a different, uh, different god. Let's delete these saves. We don't talk about these saves. I'm gonna do a different god. I might do Swarog. Let's craft. Or someone completely new and random. Someone I don't do a lot. Maybe Morrowind. I don't know. Although, that's kind of shit. Eh, we'll see. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed me failing miserably after returning to the game after three years. Ah, uh, yeah, happy five day, goodbye.